f***ing toys, play with that. Go and stand in that f***ing corner. Stand over there, right? And do not move. Wake up and smell the cock. My word, dear Gary, this is truly an exquisite culinary delight. Pray, might you divulge the precise flavor of this culinary masterpiece? Indeed, it is none other than the illustrious All Hail Medium Roast Private Blend, a choice of unparalleled distinction, if I may say so. For those seeking further Epicurean adventures, I beseech you to peruse the Geek Grind Coffee Nodrotic Collection, allow me to recommend their opulent Feathers of Liberty, a delectable vanilla-infused flavored coffee that promises to tantalize the most discerning palate. Or if you're looking for something darker, try the Dark Roast f and Blend of the Fellowship. You know what? Just buy all three. GeekGrindCoffee.com Use discount code NERDROTIC There is nothing I love more Taking my headphones off, fuck that Bethesda, there is nothing I love more than to fire up a brand new RPG, lose myself Sorry, did you want to get immersed in our world? Yeah, well, guess what? Fucking pronouns! I love nothing more than to be dragged out at every fucking conceivable opportunity so you can fucking current day us! Current fucking day! Fuck off! We can't see past our own fucking reflection! That's the level of our narcissism here! It says the Western Game Company! Guess what? Twat waffle! That's all you fucking are! Fucking gender ambiguity! Fucking current day Californian shit! Cause that's all we fucking know! People are getting so fucking sick You take everything we love And you just can't help Shuffle, you are bullshit Fucking crap Ideology into everything Every single Surgery fucking thing Meanwhile Oh, yeah, que coisa mais linda Mais cheia de graça É fucking kill you, Dan Vos no doce balanço, caminho do mar. Pretty tune. You're better with your mouth than I would have figured.
Hey. <laughs> there we are. We're, we're not muted. <laughs> Where is everybody? <laughs> oh, there they are. Oh, no. there. <laughs> Look, looks like they were just finishing something up over there. <laughs> A bit of ye old circle jerk. <laughs> we are the new FMC boy band. Yes, we are. <laughs> is, is it Shad and the Nerd Rotics? Is that <laughs> oh, no. Shad Rotics? You're like you're like the FNT. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're like the FNT in sync, except you're all Lance Bass. Yeah. <laughs> this wasn't planned. We just rocked up wearing the same thing. So every <laughs> video was likely story. The, yeah. the best part of all of this is right before we went live, Gary says, I have to go brush my teeth because I'm around a bunch of dudes. <laughs> <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> what in the hell does that I would matter? No, I was I'm not down there. <laughs> <laughs> area all together. Okay, well, we're the best really area. close to each other. All right, and uh, I just had well, shit, I can't say this. I just had fun, guys. <laughs> you don't say. That's why Garrett's not here. Yeah, absolute anymore. worst thing to have. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. That's what I was looking for. (laughs) I think you've just uh, set a new precedent for gay or British. (laughs) (laughs) Good night, everybody. (laughs) (laughs) What can we say when we're in this country? Something just takes over us and we can't help us. Yeah, it's called class. Oh, is that what it's called? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Mm. Uh, welcome to Friday Night Tights, everybody. Uh, yes, we are in probably the neighborhood where m- the most terrorist plots come from in London right now. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it down, my window's open. <laughs> good. Just saying. <laughs> if someone comes in and attacks us, we're just preempting that. <laughs> you know why. A special uh, guest. I haven't seen a white guy for oh, months. Uh, except for us walking through the neighborhood, which stuck out like a sword. <laughs> <laughs> but the house is really nice. The house is exquisite. Uh, at, you know, at a time where there is a fugitive on the loose in the UK, they've closed it down. Have you seen the guy who got out of who got out of? I've jail? heard about it, but I haven't seen it. I've oh, heard I heard anything about this. What happened? Oh yeah, some twenty-one-year-old kid uh, hitched a ride under a food truck to get out of uh, military prison. Uh, oh, it was a military prison. It was a military prison uh-huh. because I guess he sold some secrets and uh, made some fake bombs or something, and uh, that's why he's on the run. But if you look at him, he looks like the most dangerous terrorist you've ever seen. If you can find a picture of him, X-ray girl. There we go. There we go. Now I'm we sorry. I, I do apologize. X-ray girl's feet might not make an appearance tonight. Uh, <laughs> it depends on one man. It yes. depends on one person. One yeah. person has that power. One person has that power. <laughs> Can we talk about that meetup poster for a second? Because awesome like I, 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 I've seen it in passing is whatever. But when it got popped up before we started the stream, I'm like, holy fuck. Look at how massive X-Ray Girl's tits are on that fucking poster. <laughs> <laughs> well, Vector Visual, um, you know, he knows where, where to focus. Uh, you know, he's got to focus as an artist, you know, and, and he, Took some interpretation and decided to run with it all, in, <laughs> all the way, all the way home, all the way home. Uh, go tit. That's right, chat. Go, go tit. tit. Go tit. Uh, welcome to Friday Night Tights from the UK. We made it. Yeah. We had a very successful, crowded, crazy meetup where people came from Luxembourg, Israel, America. People flew in from America. People That's even awesome. came to the UK to see us in like a lot of people. Well, nobody from London came to see us in London. That was the thing, is nobody was from London, which was <laughs> interesting. Well, to be uh, fair, most people from London are from London either. This is true. This is it's, actually true. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I can't, I can't name a single city in Somalia, so I don't know. <laughs> uh, right now it's called Wembley. Uh, that's where we are right now. <laughs> Sorry. That joke. Uh, <laughs> Somalia has come to Wembley. Get it? Uh, so yeah, it was a great meetup. There was a lot of people there. 
uh, more people than we expected. Uh, they kicked us out of the bar uh, and we kept it going for a little while across the street because they kicked us out in not just the bar, but in front of the bar. Who did we lose? Does it matter? Nah, it's just Garrett. It. it was yeah. Garrett. Zero power once we yeah. left the doors. But they were like, a... oh, we've got to move over there. Just like, no. We lost a little diversity, which isn't a bad thing. It yeah. isn't. It's not a bad thing at all. <laughs> not really. Uh, so it was tons of fun, and it was great. Thanks to the fellowship for showing up in strength. And, uh, you know, you just learn over the last couple of weeks, especially, you know, on our trip out there, this little event happened with uh, one of our co-hosts here. By the way, close personal friend of mine has got nothing to do with cloud chasing or anything. Uh, as uh, became like the most ha- hated man on the Internet uh, and the most beloved man on the Internet yeah. all in the same week. But the fellowship rallied around him. And you, you would think – that people would learn do not fuck with the fellowship it was great to see yeah. everyone it was really inspirational mm-hmm. i get fired up after every single one of these meetups there was lots of love for all you guys everybody except for uh, jeremy from gigs and gamers but everybody was <laughs> and uh well i mean everybody's like does jeremy make videos anymore i said no but that's all right uh no i'm just kidding uh <laughs> there was tons of love out there not for unless you can milk one of his own <laughs> <laughs> Coming over to, to the UK has been absolutely amazing, meeting all these incredible people in person. Gary is more of a punk rocker than people realise. He looks like a freaking biker in person and caught a black Garrett. He doesn't look very black. I, I felt like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he looks a lot more Hispanic. <laughs> yeah, he looks more Adam Mexican. keeps making sexual advances to me and it's very uncomfortable. Disprue is as based as you wouldn't believe. An X-ray girl is five times the drunk that you would expect. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's a lot. She's always, uh, she's always getting sloshed. The, yeah. the first time yeah, I met her, completely, that's not her statement. Usually the first knock. <laughs> Insane. She's not denying it. Notice. No. no. We, 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 yeah, we've been. We can't confirm. We've we've been to meetups with her before, and uh, yeah, it's pretty, she gets hammered. She shows yeah, up drunk. Bad. Yeah. 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 <laughs> her yeah. accent gets thicker the more the more she drinks as well. Like by the end, it's like you are Can- You sound so Canadian. I am Canadian. It's like yeah, you've never been this Canadian before. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to have another shot. Let's go. <laughs> But in all seriousness, X-Ray Girl is actually a huge sweetheart. It has uh, been the best time ever. We've been having so much fun. It's great. Yeah, running around uh, uh, London Tower today uh, oh, yeah. with uh, Shad. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did I just say it wrong? Yeah, because it's the correction. It was by it was by the ta- the Thames River. I think, River. I think, we, have a, I think oh. we have a video about that. We not, do. Yeah. Not London Tower. Can you From say London Bridge Tower no. <laughs> near the well, Thames I, River? The tower of we, we filmed something to you guys. So th- some yeah, it's near. Oh, now I'm fucking British. Now I'm fucking British. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey, I I stood up yeah, just, for you uh, about you your, your nationality. <laughs> we just want to let you know that look. It's it's the what how do you what is it's you, the Teams River. Yeah, We're at the oh, Teams yeah. River. I think it's the Teams. <laughs> is it the Teams? The Teams River. Is it Teams River? Or or, or Temis. The Temis <laughs> Temis River. Oh, yeah. It looks like processed sewage. It but it's <laughs> Teams River. It yes. is processed sewage. Or teams. Yeah. Teams. Yeah. I think I it's thought a, it was a thumb A. Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy. Wait, it's not, it's not times. Asian. Fucking Asian. Tim. 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 The Times. The Tams. The Tam 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 I'm pretty mad. Tamales. Themas. We got it. Themas. Themas River. Themas. 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 Was the X-ray girl right. drinking we at this point in time? We wish you could come yes. to England and see this one day, as <laughs> so, uh, maybe, maybe yes, someday. We'll see. Yeah. That was for us. Thank you. You're getting pushed down the stairs. <laughs> I couldn't even understand it. What is it called? Uh, it's called the Thames. The Thames River Thames. for some fucking reason. It's called the Thames, even though it's spelled Thames. Uh, I don't know. Is they that London Bridge? On here. They drive on the fucking wrong side of the road. They walk on the wrong side of the fucking sidewalk. They don't believe in any fucking ice in this country. It's been 95. It's been the, the fucking hot as the surface of the that, sun. Tower We're going to look like we came back from fucking Hawaii <laughs> after the fire in Maui. Except we're in the fucking UK. I don't Always think bring like sunscreen. Either. Yeah, and every cop looks like a lesbian. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Even the male ones. And that's just the, yeah, that's just the guy. By the way, my name is Disparu. Thank you. 
yeah, look, there's no point in having ice. Yeah, every time, everywhere we're at, have you got the ice? Have they got the ice? No. They thought this place would have air conditioning. Like, there is not a house in the UK that has air conditioning. You no. might, if you're lucky, get a portable one. I think there's something on the wall. That's for the central heating. Yeah. I mean, you could turn it up if you want, but otherwise. <laughs> So yeah, like, but how is there not ice, there. though? That's different than air conditioning. <laughs> like, everyone has a fucking refrigerator and a freezer, right? Like, yeah, but the best you're going to get is, like, a tray. <laughs> like, <laughs> use it. Yeah. Like, look, there, mine's already melted. Look, I've already oh, got that little it. fucking floater left. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, you know, I was... That was a TARDIS ten minutes ago. What was that? That was a TARDIS. That I, that ice cube was a TARDIS ten minutes ago. Oh, it was. Oh, that's yeah. great. I mean, as that doesn't look like an ice cube. <clears throat> no. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Let's get on with the fucking show. Enough about the UK. It's just the country <laughs> was filled with white people, except when you come to London in this name. So, uh, <laughs> where do you get, where do you get to your ship? <laughs> Don't take a tour. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, we took this fucking tour, Dude. and there it, it was like uh, you know in vacation when. Uh, Clark Griswold has to get the fuck out of there. So they, but they look at the Grand Canyon for like two seconds. Okay, Rusty, let's go. That was our tour <laughs> for Windsor. We were at Stonehenge for fucking ten minutes. Ten wow. minutes. It was brutal. It ten was brutal. minutes. It, it was, I mean, what else is there to see? I mean, it's a bunch of fucking rocks. Is piled. Hey, yeah. They're cool old rocks. All right, Ryan. I mean, the soak is made three episodes like, of that, so, you know. I, and that's just true. Ryan, that's just you're true. not wrong, all right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, I would be ready to go after 10, Don't to be honest with you. Right? Like, let me snap my selfie. Let me snap another picture. Wow, this looks kind of fucking weird. Well, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you going to uncover the secret? If you're there for an hour, are you going to uncover yeah. the secrets? Yes. <laughs> nah, it wasn't fun. But we're uh, tomorrow going to see Tolkien's grave, uh, going to Clarkson's farm. Going to have a good time. But let's well, get on. I heard, well, I heard that it might be crowded there because Amazon is currently digging up the body to uh, debase it. So I, I don't know. <laughs> they might. <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, I don't know if he'll be there or not, uh, but you know, well, well, wait till Disney gets a hold of George after he dies. Um, <laughs> Bro, I saw dude, a generator to his corpse so they could power the whole world. Yeah. yeah, I saw like the most sad reel the other day of George Lucas like getting out of a car and walking into a building, and there was a bunch of people that wanted autographs, and he was walking so slow, and like his security guards like, "Don't overwhelm him! Don't overwhelm him!" and like holding his arm, and it's like, oh man. I don't know how much longer he's going to be around. Yeah. Like, oh, dude, that's brutal. Here's what happens when, like, you drink Coke and fucking cafeteria food till you're 80. For one, it's a miracle you're still alive. And, uh, yeah, you hit the wall pretty hard. So, But I hope he lives to 1,000 years old. I do. Hopefully. Too. Hopefully. I love George. Jerry, who, who are you talking about? Um, you. Mr. Uh, Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello. Um, I got to say, this is – been one of the craziest weeks uh, I've ever seen, especially Sunday. And I think the two stars of the week are clearly Az and the Fellowship oh, Brady. And, oh. and the 199. Um, we have never seen anybody go oh, so yeah. viral with our in our community for and, and getting the hate mob after them. And it's a testament to every single person in this chat, every single person that follows each and every one of our channels. You all rallied together and you showed us all like there's nothing that we can face that you guys won't help us overcome. It, it really was something to see. And uh, we saw the act ma'am is now starting to break under the pressure, uh, mm -hmm. which has been fantastic, um, which I think will be the biggest clown uh, to come away from this entire situation, considering how so many people stood up for the act ma'am when he got demonetized unfairly and then uh, this dude's going to try to splice up videos. Um, but it really was <laughs> crazy. I, I truly have never seen anything like it. the reactions, the amount of people that were responding. But I think when it's all said and done, and I think we're already starting to see the pieces of that puzzle, like as is going to come out of this, you know, looking like the G that he is and he's going to have a lot more subs, a lot more followers and a lot more fans. And he's opened up a huge discussion that needed to be had. So yes, so shout out to you as and yeah. shout out to the chat. Shout out to awesome. the chat. Yeah. There, nobody, uh, you know, stuck their finger up to see which way the wind was blowing around here. We immediately had as his back as yep. we should. And as we no, my did. It, it wasn't even a, in question. Uh, and that's the big difference from the before times and now. This is what it's evolved into because, uh, like, nobody said the culture war is good. We're in the fucking culture war, whether we like it or not. Yes. We are in it, and it's going to last a while, and it was never going to be fucking easy. 
Yeah, and I would like to welcome Dan Vask uh, to the video game culture <laughs> war. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hi, hey, hey, Dan. <laughs> that, of, of all the tweets Dan sent this entire week, that was the dumbest. All right. <laughs> Come on, it spawned some great remix songs of as. I mean, there, there's some really amazing ones out there. Uh, Perry has the best banger, but yeah, there's been a lot of great work, and uh, people have been making a lot of money off of as. Unfortunately, as hasn't been making much money off of as. <laughs> <laughs> well. I just a rising ass lifts all boats. Well, well, here's how it was. So I legitimately, I, I never, I never bothered as to try to come on Tuesday night's main event because I know the time difference is so weird for him. So I messaged him because I wanted him to look at the video that we had edited together of kind of the context. So I was just like, yo. And he just responds Tuesday night's main event with a question mark. Cause he was getting bombarded with like, Hey, you want to come on my show? You want to, I was like, well, no, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's not why I was asking you, but I'd love to have you on. <laughs> I mean, he's essentially created a new meta. No one's known this since Rachel Zegler. Everyone going through his live streams in the past and trying to reimitate what Dan Vasquez has done. Just looking for the next banger. <laughs> far away from it, I want to comment on that bull crap video that the act man put together when he was trying to disingenuously frame as as a hypocrite which is such bull crap because mm. the video was pulling on, on you yeah, mean as yeah, yeah, was yeah. complaining about people wanting ideology injected into hogwarts that's been his stance and guess what he was complaining about with starfield ideology injected into starfield those are the same right. takes and he had the goal mm. to try and say that as was being a hypocrite it was friggin bull crap yeah well i mean with it, with the with the hogwarts i was actually uh, saying, I'm going to try the game and play it, and I'll judge it based off its own merits, as opposed to boycott it because J.K. Rowling thinks women are women. Right. You know. So, uh, so he tried to use that as a gotcha, and and they're not even remotely the same because I played twenty. Because of well, the funny thing is, of course, the first couple of days I was sort of like, uh, you know. This is going to be an interesting one. And then I, then, I, then I realized that all of these guys' breath stunk like corporate cum. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and, and it was that moment that I was sort of like, oh, this is fucking fine. These are absolute fucking morons. Uh, everyone was taking it out of context. Nobody was even looking for context, which was even more funny. Uh, so many of them were saying, oh, he, look, he goes to the menu screen and he sees pronouns and he, he launches this tirade. A tirade that was fucking seven hours into the fucking game, not yeah. not at the beginning of the game at all. There was people um, that were claiming you refunded it after this. There were people that completely no, had the story absolutely wrong. No, yeah. I, haven't, I haven't refunded it. Still got the game. You played uh, it the day after all this happened. Yeah, I've, I've, I've done five, <laughs> five fucking stuff streams that, that tick around twenty five hours or so. And so, yeah, particularly with the just people not doing anything out uh, in context and just trying to take it out of context, you, you just get to the point of just like, you, you, you're just a fucking idiot, you know? And and the, and the thing is, I've just sat back and, you know, obviously I've fired my volleys with my, my videos. I've done a couple of videos and, uh, you know, I've had uh, amazing people just, just fucking shield wall up. Uh, in front of me, which which I felt, I felt every single every single <clears> bit, <throat> not just you guys, you know, Eric July, Razor Fist, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, wonderful people, uh, but just the the way that the um, the fellowship here, uh, the the way that they just uh, just rallied, and I'm just sort of sat there, and I, I'm I'll be totally honest because you know I try to be as much as possible. I'm just sat there like two or two maybe three days in, and I'm just like. I'm being fucking nuked by channels with millions of fucking subscribers. Millions. Seven point something million moods. You know, do da for million da. Angry fucking cum face. All of those fucking people. Just bombs coming in. And I'm just stood there like... The Fellowship's just like fucking shields everywhere. Just these bombs are like bouncing off. And I'm just like, holy fucking shit. Uh, so it's, and then Actman's like, you know, there's a lot of people saying I changed out there. <laughs> I didn't yeah. change. Like, <laughs> Whatever. It's like, it's bro, so, dude. You, you, oh, he's, you're bra sorry, dude. Are you feeling the heat? I'm fucking standing in the blast of fucking nuclear bombs and I'm walking out with a fucking suntan. That's what I'm doing. And you're just there, guy. Uh, people are saying change. Do you, do you know what I never heard once? 
Never heard once as you've changed. Do you know what I've no. heard time <laughs> and time and time again? Never change as never change. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, and and yep. so yeah, the 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 outpouring of support has just been incredible. And uh, it, it's funny how many people rip their mask off. Uh, and it's just it's just funny now because now you just got like the skeptic. I, I, I mean, I don't even keep up with these fucking people anyway, so I don't know who half of these fucking retards are. But it, it's the, I think the, the septic community are just there sniffing their own farts. Oh, yeah. yeah. The septic community. Community. Thank you. Community, well, like, yeah. like some black guy. I mean, years ago, he would have basically said the same thing you would have said. And he's like done, saying the opposite now. It's like, what the fuck has happened to you guys? The only people that really stayed true was like Shoe on Head, Sargon, and there's like a few others. But like Chris Raygun and a lot of the other skeptics, not worth watching anymore. They Wait, pretend honestly, like they, they, they would have made fun of this. Sorry, I'm trying to like go me for, for I the I thought you didn't change, but I, didn't. I saw a change. You lost a lot Wait, of weight. Okay, all right. Off of the way. <laughs> all right. That's true. Can't count it. You have that Chris Reagan, that, that, you know, oh my goodness, what a, you know, what a moral. I don't even know who that fucking prick is. Anyway, and then a is. couple of months before, he told somebody to go fucking kill themselves with a gun on Twitter. And he's just like, wait a minute. The guy who tells somebody to kill themselves with a gun on fucking social media is trying to preach because I'm sick and tired of fucking. Uh, ideology being rammed into every single facet of our media and obviously out you know we, we all know the context of the run isn't just the video game it's everything yep. it's just a compounding matter because yeah. that's yes. the first time i've ever had a rant yeah Batman actually has already made this jokes before about <laughs> Revan and someone posted a screenshot as well where you didn't post the entire video so the entire points were done it's like it's on oh, the screen oh, really well, you exactly mean, what you, you said context about something oh, matters yeah, like, oh, yeah. I, 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 I mean that, that, yeah, yeah yeah that I mean you're on about ideology I, I think, I think he, has to, he has to deal with himself now you know he has to deal with himself now because uh if he ever puts a foot wrong, uh, he's going to find himself in a very fucking lonely place. Oh, there's place. a ton of screenshots oh. from him saying a lot of stuff the, that the, all the people that are defending well, him yeah. are going to cancel him. Yeah, yeah, so imagine that's, that's, having a, an entire career where you're criticizing video games and then you criticize as for criticizing <laughs> video games. That's so <laughs> ironic. Bro. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't care that... Like in 2017, Ackman was just using the F slur repeatedly on Twitter. Doesn't bother me at all. No, in nope. fact, I, I think it's either. fucking based, and I love it. I don't but obviously, it. this was not just about video games, though, because as oh, is yeah. in this circle that you guys talk about everything and this ideology that he's talking about and referring to in his rant, it's not just video games. Mm. It was just like the match on the powder keg that lit as up, you know. So that's, they're just taking that little thing and just assuming it's pronouns. But instead that, of understanding that that's as the spin at them, that's what they're trying to spin it as. Yeah, exactly, oh, it's triggered, lazy, triggered of a pronouns. But it, it gets yeah, but, to a point though when it, when you're being targeted by these people. Yeah, I said these people. When you have an eleven and a half year body of work on YouTube, going from World of Warcraft into into general video games, into pop culture, uh, and you have these absolute fucking millions of million subscriber window lickers trying to condense you into a two and a half minute run. And I'm just like, if that's what you're trying to do, I ain't got fucking any time. I can't be pissed. I can't be like mad or shit like that because you're just showing you are a fucking idiot. That's all you're showing. So guys, you know, since about Wednesday, I've been feeling pretty damn good, to be honest. Yeah, there you go. There's another side to this. There's another side to this as that I think is really significant because I know your rant wasn't just about pronouns and pronouns sure. and the actual fact, like you were very clear. Another thing that really is happening in media everywhere is, you know, um, uh, ambiguity, you know, what, like, mm. what was it, sexual ambiguity? Gen- gender um, ambiguity, gender. yeah. Uh, everyone forgot that. But in terms of the pronouns, right, you were basically uh, threw a spear right at one of their sacred cows and yeah. they flipped out. But what's really significant about this in particular is once upon a time, not too long ago, if you said something as tame as there are only two genders, you'd be banned off Twitter completely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? And there has been not a lot of options for people who want to push back against this type of stuff to have a voice. 
And suddenly when your um, uh, rant went viral, that actually, to me, was almost like a water break moment. Well, pronouns was trending and it wasn't trending Mm -hmm. on like a couple thousand. It was 45,000 tweets. Mm -hmm. It it was uh, here in the UK. It was on 104,000. Yeah. Yeah. And it's that level where they tried to reframe it. So... He, uh, Ackman was talking about as if you wanted your ideology into the game. And I don't like, want any, yeah, I don't have, my, ideolo- ideolo- my ideology teams. is entertainment. That's yeah. my ideology. My ideology is entertain me. That's what it is. Oh, I don't even I fucking know. I, I'm friends with Az. I don't know his fucking politics. So for somebody to accuse him of wanting his ideology in the game, <laughs> what retarded. is his ideology? He's, Please uh, tell he's me. A, a, Tory. Out. a Tory. A <laughs> Tory. <laughs> I've never been this in my it. fucking life. That I don't even know what it means. <laughs> if, if you're just arguing for things to say the same, by reframing it to an ideology, it puts you both on a level playing field, which means you're now in a debate. Whereas if you just stand by and go, this is the way it's always been, I just want things to be the same, and you're ruining it, it's a stronger argument. And he loses his whole hypocrite thing, which was absolutely absurd. Yeah, he needs to okay. kind of look that up. Yeah, the and- tweet that he put out about, um, I'm trying to prevent people from inserting their... It, that was just such a massive mask off moment and that's that's when i think a lot of people i mean he was getting the likes from the fucking pronoun posse mm-hmm. but that was the moment i think that people who actually knew him the ones that would w- watch his contact as uh, content as opposed to the people who are just clicking that like because he's he said the thing we do uh that was a big mask off mm-hmm. moment for them and i i think they they saw exactly uh yeah yep. where and he as was you could feel it because you you saw him in his own replies going well i i agree with the sentiment, but not with the uh, 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 backtrack, backtrack, you know, backtrack, he, backtrack. He agreed with Bethesda. He did his work for fucking Bethesda. Yeah, and, and then he had the, yeah, he was job, pompous buddy. enough to go out. I am guarding our hobby. Well, oh, good for you, uh, Mr. Hobby Guard. Uh, wait, did he just say he's gatekeeping? Did he just say he's gatekeeping? Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Mm. And as and just like as said. Nobody told as he changed, meaning nope, his fans, nope. people that have followed him, people that, but Actman himself said people were telling him he changed. The only mm-hmm. people that can tell you you're changing are people that have been paying attention to you. So that yeah. means your own fans were telling you you've changed, and no one's telling as that he changed. That says a lot about what's happening with you, Actman. So maybe yeah, you yeah Actman, uh, if you tuned into any of our live streams at any time, you would hear a as rant like that. There's there's hundreds of pretty them. much every week. Literally like forty yeah. percent of the show is as ranting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and hail again, hail uh, Razor Fist, uh, uh, Dan Vosk. Yep. And uh, Eric July and Eric July, but but I I cannot I I seriously uh, cannot even begin to describe just the fucking suit of armor I felt with the fellowship around me. I really cannot even begin to describe it. Uh, not trying to sound pompous, but there are times when you know I'm just getting all this everywhere. I just felt invulnerable. I just felt <laughs> absolutely invulnerable because uh, I'm not going to mention names. Uh, but it, I even had some people uh, who I was talking to, and I was like, "No, I'm going to do this," uh, and then it just like, "No, you, you just, you just step back. You let you let the soldiers take over the job now." Yep. Okay. You just you just take a step back, and that and that was kind of like um, that's that's when you know you've got amazing people around you. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, but what was more important than that wasn't just that people had my back or is any sort of confirmation bias it was people who believe in what we're fucking saying and and that's what made it so so sort of profound for me is that people just like uh, one of the biggest messages that i've got and and i'll tell you i'll be again i'll be completely honest i have had way more positive messages sent to me instagram email all of that then then negative messages way more and uh the the majority of these messages have been saying thank you for fucking speaking up thank you for saying something i you know we 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 have been voiceless and to hear somebody just go off and get it all out there and uh i you know i didn't think when dan vass fucked me up the ass it was gonna go viral (laughs) (laughs) as as that's dan bosk by the way (laughs) 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 (laughs)
Hey, I, well, listen. Speaking speaking of getting uh, fucked in the ass, uh, all of you guys in that house right now, look. I'm sharing my screen. You might wanna you might wanna explain this one, okay? Uh, <laughs> Exposed. Adam Krigler looks real happy. I'm just saying. <laughs> He's hitting the spot. He's hitting the front. The legion of the legion. <laughs> right there. Right. There. Gary, we're still in the intros, but what was that? Gary looks like he's like, guys, just just go to another place. <laughs> you know, just, just look again. <laughs> Gary's like, so this so this is London. <laughs> it looks like our neighborhood. It's indicative of where we Honestly, are. Honestly, right yeah. Um, uh, real quick, to your point, as since we're still in introductions, um, that's what I heard the most at the meetup. You were brought up a lot because it was happening while we were at the meetup. It was still going down <laughs> and everybody was talking about it. But like any and Ger, uh, Jeremy, you've heard it. Uh, everybody's heard it. Who's who's been uh, comics division. Every meetup you go to. What do you hear the most? I thought I was alone. I thought yeah, I was yeah, alone. I mean, that's I that's true. Yep. You're not crazy. They want you to think you're crazy. We are still the, the common sense is still the majority. Uh, and if you go and look at any of these meetups, it's not what anybody tries to make it out to be. And that's why, you know, when some 2015 skeptics step into something that's not Anita Sarkeesian, they're out of their fucking element. They have no fucking idea what they're talking about, including uh, Chris Gayrun. But uh, oh, I'm sorry. I said it <laughs> <laughs> um, that, that was the sentiment I noticed. I'm as like, well. yeah, I'm like, dude, why, why are all these people? My oldest son was watching five years ago, popping off at ass. What the hell's going on? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. But yeah. for whatever reason, either they got scared or changed or whatever, or they got infiltrated. I don't know. They're not the same people as they were back in 2015 because no, they know, should you know be what they got calling shit out, too. Do you know what they got? What? They, they got no views. Yeah. yeah. That's what they got. Yeah. Yep. I, so, I also uh, do what? think for, for the average person, not necessarily talking about some of these bigger content creators, I think for the average person, if they stumble upon that, they have no idea who we are, no idea who Az is, and it's being presented as if this guy lost his mind over pronouns in a menu selection screen, and mm -hmm. that's it. Like, I, I can understand why a lot of people who aren't sensitive to this shit would immediately be like, well, that's a little bit of an overreaction. Right. <laughs> right? But I think this has no, done, it, this, this is expensive. And if they, well, and if you listen to the whole thing and you're yeah. not just assuming one thing, you might come out with a different opinion. But I do think this is a big eye opening moment for a lot of people. Yes, that's and what's my impression. For, that's what's for, really great for about me. It. I didn't, I didn't have too much to add to the Twitter conversation. I came to it late, so I simply just defended as his nationality. Um, <laughs> when when Hassan <laughs> tweeted out this weird British guy's going off needs a lobotomy, yeah, I just said. <laughs> He's from New Zealand, you fucking retard. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, well, that's why that's why I've kind of focused in on the act member because, like Hassan, okay, whatever he reacts, who can, of course, yeah, you know, he's gonna find he's anything. Brain dead. Uh, yes, yes, exactly. Yeah. Angry Joe, not a surprise. You know, like yeah, the the, the, the normal people, but it's like when someone like the act man, who I'm not gonna say I was a fan of the guy, but I do remember when he got demonetized, yep. and I do and remember that a lot of people, mm -hmm. and not just us, so it wasn't just like our but every no, everybody body, yeah every fucking body were like the act man doesn't deserve this and i didn't know a lot about him i just looked at a couple of his videos i was like i've never heard a bad thing about the guy he just covers gaming and he's passionate about it and so when that's why i focus on him because like you're the one that will come away with the looking like the clown when this is all said and done it's you um because he went in so hard because hey i mean look credit where credit's due you were getting a ton of traction on twitter when you were talking about ads so you you talked about it more okay fine but then you became mega disingenuous with it mm, when you decided yeah. to clip when you tried to when you tried to take his video and literally twisted it and manipulated it and i'm still not sure why it hasn't been community noted maybe it's because i don't know i don't know how community notes works but yeah. uh that 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 was a that was a tweet that deserved community i mean hell as got like five community notes in a row for saying literally nothing wrong well uh, <laughs> so, so, two, two and they took one away yeah. did they take one away ah yeah. there we go um so yeah that was so, right so, that's what I take away from this is like the normal clowns. Uh, that's fine. Let them react to it. But Act Man, I think, is going to be the one that comes away looking. The people that you'd expect to do the the research, the you get that context, never did. 
they just took it well, at face value and said, they, look, they this guy's overreacting. Context. They never wanted they never, context. Right. they never wanted context. Right. And that's what's so shocking about a lot of these people, because I think even with like Chris Raygun and whatnot, you'd expect because back in the day they would go and get context and present that. They just did not at all. They just wanted to react and make fun of somebody. Mm -hmm. and well, just, and that's the thing is, is, is Jeremy's brought this up before too. It's somebody went after as as simply had an had an opinion on the internet. It, the person's name that I went after him is Dan Bask, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm totally not, way, I'm totally not <laughs> butthurt that I put up a clip way before Dan, but that's me. It's, it's, but it's, hey, it's Perry, Perry Chance <laughs> intro when it went to Brazil. <laughs> On the end, so so exactly nice what story. I assume that shit looks like. <laughs> that's ex that's it. we doxed him. I'm sorry, but we do we doxed Dan Bass. No, uh, what, what Jeremy's brought up before is we're counter punchers. We don't like. We're not going to go after Act Man or or even fucking Angry Joe or anything. But if somebody goes after fucking As and they're they're doing it over and over again, and these are the same. Mm, I won't say it. We'll call them uh, British sausage balls. Uh, film actor guild members will say you're punching down you're punching down if we like and th that was a serious punch down according to their fucking logic yeah with, with the well, act man and, you know three hundred and fifty thousand subs yeah angry cum face four point something million muta yeah. five point something million act man 1.8 million it was safe. I've never seen so many cowards, cowards in my fucking life. And when you, when you start, you know, like I said, the first couple of days, you're sort of like, oh, this is going to get spicy. And you're sort of like wondering how you're going to play it. But when you realize you're just dealing with a bunch of fucking cowards, because yep. because they got a safe, yep. we got, oh my God, yes, we got a fucking straight white male we can go for that's, yes. that's, dare, had a, that's dare to have a go at the far left sacred ideology. We're on a platform like Twitter. And Twitter is still massively skewed to that one side. Yes, this is, is the safest fucking thing I can ever do. This is the easiest content I can ever fucking make. Pile, pile, pile. Cowardice. Yeah. Cowardice. Yes. That's why they you, don't you want context. So right. still blinkered. That's why they don't want context. Yeah, because and you're, I, I can't remember if it was your stream or your video. You make the point. If I was a black female lesbian, they would be like, maybe she has a point. Yeah. But because you're a straight white male... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big old fucking balls on your forehead. It's the same, it's the same with the punching down. It. Like, it's mm. not a principle. They just say whatever they need to to gain power. Yeah, exactly. And so yeah. they tell you, you can't do it, and then they do it themselves. That's why no one cared about the context. It fit like the story that, exactly like you said, like the story that they wanted to tell. And that's all they, that they needed because they yeah. know they've got every single person on their side. Yes. And so they will never be held accountable for their actions, no matter what they say about anybody. Right. Right. I, I, I replied to Muda. I, I like Muda. I, I'm a fan of his content. Yeah, I, like I replied, I replied in, his, in his thing. I said hey look there's more context to this muda but you know internet's got an internet and hit in somebody in his chat so bold of you to ex to think that muda wouldn't do the research and find right. the context i was like bro he i know as. <laughs> i know the context they just weren't interested at all yeah this really felt works. like your, your rant as it felt like tip of a spear in something that had to, you know it was waiting too long this needed to happen and uh, what you did because you were so outspoken and you just did not give a crap you were just being absolutely truthful in yourself it's given a lot of people courage to actually say yeah i agree this has gone too far um uh, before people have been afraid to get cancelled to, because they they attack everything but you've been taking a lot of the heat which has enabled i reckon a lot of people to have a voice to say look you can have whatever pronouns you want. You can believe what you want. Just don't force it on me. All right. I have my beliefs. You have your beliefs. Let's mm -hmm. have our own beliefs. And you can you can think my beliefs are ridiculous. I can think your pronouns are ridiculous. That's where it ends. It doesn't have to ruin your world. All right. Uh, and that's kind of the takeaway that I hope a lot of people can take away from this pushback where it's saying, look, have your pronouns, but that's you. That's your belief. Don't force it on us. Don't you know, know, this, uh, one thing I, uh, from the incessant attacks, uh, along with the wonderful, wonderful sport, but with the incessant attack, particularly on, on Twitter, it was so funny to constantly see go, it's just, it's just fucking pronouns. It's just, right? It's yes. Just oh, yes. yes. And, and, and it was just English it's language. Just, it's just, it's just. And then yeah. you, and then they try to uh, confuse uh, pronouns, of course, weren't with what we're discussing, which is actually. Uh, uh, brain's gone dead. 
um, for yeah. compelled yeah. speech. Yeah. And, and we're, we're not we're also it's, it's, there's it's, gas it's, it's pushing to compel yeah. speech, but it's preferred. Sorry, preferred pronouns. Yes. So we just say pronouns because it's just it's just quicker to to say that than instead of preferred mm. pronouns. And then you know I I just done a couple of a uh, couple of people have sent me some stuff and I've retweeted it today or or I've done my own sort of reply to it today. Where like stupid Netflix shows where you got these kids kids uh who who were who were oh no i'm i'm fucking five years old but i identify as this and you're just like oh it's, it's just pronouns you know it's just pronouns bro right, why pronouns. are you getting so upset bro why are, 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 are you are you fucking mad bro you know you just accept it bro just come you know and, it, and it, this is all leading towards compelled speech. The, oh, yeah. the end, yeah. It's not about the pronouns. Speech. It's what's coming down the road. Because once yeah, you accept this, what yes. else will you accept? Well, they, 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 they tried to compel it, speech. It, they tried is, to compel speech yeah. several years ago, and it didn't work. So now mm -hmm. they're doing with this. It's preferred pronouns. So they're trying to ease it in. And yes. they're dropping it in video games. Yep. They're dropping it in all these spaces. And then they're just going, well, it's, it's the English language. That, that Why are you so triggered? It, right. Go it ahead, Ryan. It is about the pronouns, right? Because yeah. this idea of preferred pronouns, it's not about referring to someone. It's about the idea of gender nonconformity. Mm. That's yes. what the entire principle of preferred pronouns is all about. Because guess what? For the first couple fucking thousand years or whatever, we haven't needed to pick our pronouns. Because guess what? If we're a man, it's he, him. If you're yeah. a girl, mm -hmm. it's she, her, whatever. That's how we refer to people. You don't choose them. They're chosen for you like by the way that you were born. Yes. So the idea that you can have a preferred means that you're getting away from the gender binary. Yes. You're getting away from gender, like normal gender conformity. And the entire thing is an effort to normalize that which is inherently fucking abnormal. So it, it, like the pronouns are a big deal. Yeah, yes. that's the key. The, the insidious thing about... Um, just even playing along with this preferred pronoun ideology, right? Even just having them in video games, the, even just doing that much, right? Mm -hmm. Acknowledges or, or normalizes the idea that gender pronouns are optional, which guess what? They're not. Your, no. your sex is your sex. Well, yeah, exactly. The, what, like, what about my this? fucking pronouns? The one I've been using for 54 mm -hmm. years, do they not count anymore? Oh, guess that what they do, because I don't give a fuck. And yeah. also, I'm not gonna shit. They, they tried to pass that law where it would be a felony if you uh, misgender somebody. That's yeah. ridiculous. Like you can't even call a police a woman a lesbian. Already. We've had kids kicked out of school over here for not doing using and so. so it's not just in actual fact people's lives are being attacked people get kicked out of school people being cancelled and everything like that it is not just pronouns and it's all to try and shift what we consider to be acceptable like, I, I, um, I would say which I, I think for people to fully understand this all of you out there if you have not read 1984 Please do so, because that is the ultimate goal for, with a lot of this stuff. It is the denial of reality. It is basically saying, looking at something and saying, two plus two equals five. And in your mind, deep down, you know that is not the truth. But you are compelled, forced to say so. If you haven't read it in a couple of years, I highly suggest it. If you've never read it, you need to read it to fully understand the context of what is going on in our world. That or, or if world. you want a geeky version from Star Trek The Next Generation, there are four lights. There yes. are four lights. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the drum head, that's another good one too. The drum head, the drum head is, is a perfect example that you can watch right now today about cancel culture. Yes. yes. Absolutely. That is the drumhead, it, 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 and it's just yes. like the prisoner back in the prison, 1967, mm -hmm. unmutual. It's about council culture because I don't know if you're aware of this, folks, but if you don't pay attention to history, you're doomed to repeat it. Pretty much. And history, uh, right now, how they change history, how they change the, how they create the narrative, is through our stories, and that's what we are trying to protect every fucking day and it's going to take a long time some people are going to get tired of it i don't blame you i don't blame you nobody wants to battle all day long every day i'm happy to do it i'll be here till i croak probably hopefully the culture war ends someday but it's being done because a lot of people couldn't pay attention because they were too busy didn't pay attention because they just black pilled and they're a bunch of fucking pussies and they just said oh well you know they took over so we're just going to abandon this thing uh, uh, we don't have that choice. Guess what? Like it or not, Hollywood's an institution in this country. 
It is a huge part of our fucking culture, not pop culture, our culture. It decides who presidents are now. Memes decide who presidents are now. And we're fighting this all the time. And thank God memes do, by the way. Memes won a presidency. Uh, and we, we need to keep that going. But uh, to, to abandon it or to say it's just this silly little thing. Sure, in isolation, anything we rant on sounds fucking insane because it's fucking insane. <laughs> yeah. But if you look at everything, yeah. it's good because the world has gone insane. So hail ass. By the way, we, uh, we're in the introductions. Hi, Ryan. All right. Hi. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk about Ahsoka. <laughs> yeah. But I, I'd love to just add one thing when you're saying about how they – win this culture war one of the other things they do is to try and lull people into complacency yes it's just pronouns why are you getting mad at it why are you getting mad at yep. the barbie movie why can't you just let us change culture have comp compelled speech do all these things where they force their ideology and they don't want people to push back and so they try and make it like this is normal it's uh, just you know just go along with it and you'll be yeah. fine and before you know it gaslighting one on one it's moral yeah. blackmail is what it comes down to it's like everybody else is for it why aren't you yeah it's that yeah. peer yeah. pressure yeah. moral blackmail i just i got message after message about trying to shame me oh why would you do this oh look at you how old are you oh look at those toys behind you and you're shouting it it was all about trying to shame you into silence that's how they operate well, and, 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 and the reason why they're trying to shame me into silence is because i fucking roared that's why they're trying to shame into silence. Mm. Fucking roared like a silver like an ape. Ant Man. You Ant -Man, colored Ant -Man. outside the lines, ass. Marvel that's not why. You call yourself Gorilla Shape Man. Silver Own that back, shit. baby. Silverback, baby. That's Gorillas what. Are awesome, bro. <laughs> you need to run with it, man. Gorilla that's back. the one thing they don't want you to do. They don't want you to talk. The they one thing silent and complicit. Mm -hmm. The one thing we all have in common: there is no shame to our game. Period. None. None. I have no shame about it. I have thousands of action figures hanging on my wall. That is not normal. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. Yeah. And as has more stuff, he doesn't even show. He keeps it in boxes. That is kind of shameful. He doesn't give a shit. People <laughs> 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 does have power. That's why they use it. And I remember in the '90s there was a huge push. You shouldn't shame people. You shouldn't judge people. And even now, you well, that you do this. I'm not going to judge you though. It's like it didn't go away. It's just one side stopped doing it, and it allowed the encroachment to go on bit by bit. They don't feel shame. Do you, do you remember? Do you remember when they they, um, they said you know doing what you used to. You, you shouldn't you shouldn't shame people and and, and you know should accept everyone i've i don't think i've heard uh, you know uh been called fat bald ugly uh all this kind of stuff as, as much as i have in this last week it's one side like, mm, other than every single it? friday yeah that's exactly what i was gonna say ryan yeah <laughs> other than on fridays other than that he hasn't been called that at all yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like uh, i'm on the show ryan <laughs> would like to thank as by the way before well, he already said hi but <clears throat> because the, the whole taco thing had like kind of cycled through me and then through Chrissy, and then they finally figured out that Ryan was the guy who said the worst <laughs> shit, and all that he yeah. was over with. Not uh, even though I see a lot of people on Twitter that day, but you know, <laughs> yeah, like that. That was on the tail end. The Blue Beetle fiasco. I'd like just. I, I had like recorded something on stream of a Blue Beetle. These people want me fucking dead thing, and then I, I had to put it out the night as was getting all this fucking hate. So I had to put out as, people want as dead the next morning. But yes, yeah. finally that's over. Yeah, uh, they've, they've found something else to do. Target shifted, or maybe somebody called fucking immigration on him. I don't know what happened. But, uh, <laughs> they, they moved on to something else. All right, so we got uh, comics division. Say hi. Hello, everyone. Next. Next. Yeah, we found your armor today. Yeah, I saw. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, oh. Very cute. Uh, yeah, did, did we did we ignore the fact that Gary said the taco ran through me and then it ran through Chrissy? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what hell a taco. And it finally ran through Ryan. You know, I do yeah. a lot of stuff nobody notices, like putting it settled on Ryan. as is ran, you know, Yeah, sorry. it took all these it took all these woke Latin Latinx people a long time to figure out that I've said a lot worse shit than the Blue Beetle review. <laughs> oh. You should see my Batman review. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you should see my trip to Universal. No. no. Well, they they brought it up like they're the ones that found it. I'm they like, did. it's on my fucking channel. Like, what, what do you, yeah. you want? I'm like hiding it. from it. Yeah. Hey Garrett, you still alive? I am in my dungeon. It's actually pretty good. I have a fan up here. I so aren't I you upstairs? Yeah, upstairs? upstairs? Yeah, I'm upstairs. Yeah. So I spent all the time in Texas. Yeah, you know, it's super hot. 
And I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go to the UK where it's always raining. As is always posting these raining. I get in the airplane. It rains in Dallas. I get here. It's hot as fuck. <laughs> man, what's wrong with you? And there's no AC here, man. It's so freaking hot. Hey, but, Garrett, do hey. you have your in bed this time? Do I, uh, do I, I don't know. Does Garrett have Garrett. his own bed? He was sharing with Adam in the last. They place, were sharing. So. No, I had my own beautiful little one yeah, bed own bed. in a corner. <laughs> yeah, they were just fucking <laughs> two <laughs> men and one bed sweating together. <laughs> Look, you're no, we had AC. I can't we had the AC. Good. It was nice. It was we nice. Did, we did uh, have as I, I love you, bro. I think I we need you. we need a meme that's just like the Donald Trump meme. They're not coming for me. They're coming for you. I'm just in the way. Yeah. But instead of as it's a big silverback gorilla. Silverback gorilla. gorilla. That's what yeah. we need. Yes. Yeah. A meme. The memers will make it happen. Uh, oh, right. By the way, have... hold on. Just the one. Just the one thing. Nothing says it doesn't matter than a massive fucking freak out <laughs> campaign, <laughs> council culture attempt by channels with millions of subscribers and millions of other people to tell me it doesn't matter. Just pronouns, bro. Just pronouns. Sorry. Look at this guy. Dude, uh, I mean, Twitter has changed, though, because uh, I put up a couple salty tweets that, I mean, not the saltiest, but like for me. And uh, that would have gotten me in trouble a couple of years ago, like easily. Like yeah. basically calling, uh, you know, anybody, any chick who dresses up like a dude is still a, is still a chick, you know, and vice versa. Uh, but it's just pronouns, bro. Don't get so excited about it, bro. Just pronouns. I did roast I'm, the fuck out of Mark Hamill, and I'm going to quit Twitter after that. because I'll. Dude, that was the greatest tweet of all time. That was the greatest tweet of all time. No, dude, nothing really. Right. No, I missed that one. That oh, too. my gosh. That was so funny. No, did you see it, though? That. Mark Hamill said, you miss me, and Gary replied with, uh, your, your granddaughter, granddaughter does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did he say, like, you miss me? No, he said, does anybody miss? Did anybody miss me? And I said, your granddaughter. <laughs> Dude. Deep cuts. <laughs> uh, Twitter's been pretty damn fun. It's been pretty damn fun. I've been posting a lot of uh, uh, some spicy memes and yeah, those things you couldn't post uh, a year and a half ago. And for I know Elon's got his flaws, but it's a much better platform. Yeah, you can see retarded. Was. Yeah, I yeah. Know. yeah, this is actually important. This is why As Is Rant was at a very crucial time because. Before, a lot of people who wanted to push back would have just been banned. That's a great guys. point. That's a great yeah, point. If this would have yeah. happened to as a year and a half ago, you probably would have gotten crushed because mm -hmm. we wouldn't be able to defend you to the point that, uh, that people were. So that's a great point. He would have gotten banned. As, as would have easily been banned off yeah. Twitter. Like, yeah. I mean, he got banned for far he less. Did get banned. <laughs> he got did get banned. Game of Thrones. <laughs> <quote from Dallas. laughs> All men must die. Uh, to my right, your left, but he's based, is Disparu. Look at this Disparu. guy. Hello. Um, yeah. Hey, the meetup was absolutely insane. I didn't expect anything. Obviously, the first time I went. And uh, I had the stupid idea that I could just walk around. No, I got stuck between two benches for like, <laughs> I don't know how long we were there, but for like 75% of the time. Then at yeah. one point I escaped and got mobbed before I got around the <laughs> other bench. And so I basically <laughs> stood there for like six hours. My legs were killing me. Welcome to meetups, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. Aren't they awesome? Dude, it was great. great. But there was loads of people coming up and going, I really want to thank you for what you're doing. It's like, no. I want to thank you for watching. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I just sit in my room. I don't know why. You're like next thing you're signing posters, and it's like, okay, this is this is very bizarre, but it was absolutely awesome. Everyone was great to talk to. Hell yeah. um, someone came in like a Mozza T-shirt. No one will know Mozza, but he <laughs> was the one guy to do it. It was great. I mean, Mozza Con's I, going on right now, from what I understand. Yes. So uh, okay, okay, <laughs> okay, okay, hang on. Who's Mozza? You'd, wow. you'd probably better off not knowing. Okay. <laughs> that is a good question. There was a lot of uh, the nine point. There, hail the one nine nine. Okay, I just want to shut that up. There's the nine point nine, which is part of the one nine nine, which is the female audience here at uh, Nerdrotic. There was a lot of the nine point nine there. A lot of like, the ladies showed up, probably for drinker. I mean, you know, or Adam, but uh, it was it was nice to see that we did have some female representation there. So hail.
Speaking of the 199, uh, Disney Plus, you want to have a conversation about your latest price point? Uh, what's going on? 199, bro. 199. 199. Oh, what's that? What's that? Please, please, watch, please. Ahsoka. <laughs> <Yeah>. please <laughs> watch Ahsoka. Yeah. Please watch Ahsoka. Want to have want to have a conversation about that when they're Disney? What? Please watch a safe Star Wars 10 out of 10. <laughs> Fucking A. Oh, that last man. episode. I saw your review, Ryan. You were very nice. You are very kind. Well, I mean, <laughs> still it said is, it sucked, I, I, well, it does <laughs> suck, but it is the best episode because yeah. there's so much really mediocre and dumb because com- combat, lights, but there's, there's not, a, there's not it? enough time for the <laughs> absolutely <laughs> dreadful fucking dialogue, right? You guys remember lightsaber battles? Member. Member. And also, <laughs> Ray, Ray Stevenson as Balon is probably, he's, he's, he's probably good. the good. best, he's good. like legitimately, he's probably the best Disney Star Wars antagonist villain, whatever that we've seen in, in mm. over a decade of Disney Star Wars. Legitimately, um, he's intimidating. He's mysterious. He's owning the role. You actually want to know more about him. Uh, so, like, you know, that was kind of his first time he really had a chance to shine. But yeah, it was the best episode. Of the okay. Pretty big I'll make sure you're hydrated, <laughs> young Dispo. <laughs> it's the only thing that actually mattered. Uh, to most people, I, I can't believe we're in a place where we're what two years removed from people overlooking a weak plot and poor dialogue and terrible writing for Mandalorian season two because of the show up of Luke Skywalker, the yeah. end. dead eyes, Luke Skywalker, who didn't really feel like Luke Skywalker, but it got people hyped. And then you were immediately disappointed with everything they did <laughs> after that. I can't <laughs> believe we're in the same fucking situation. Um, when it comes to Anakin's appearance at the end of Ahsoka. Well, you can, you can blame Pablo and Algo for that, though. <laughs> uh, how many people are actually watching Ahsoka to even give a crap? Not many. I, probably Dude, the nobody. same amount of people who watch Rebels. Us? That's it. No, yeah. so, uh, uh, so, like, listen, the premiere viewership, we talked about it a lot, was about half of that of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Yep. And about 30% less than that of Mandalorian Season 3. The and Disney put out their 14 million view. That could be accurate globally over a week. But it doesn't mean anything because we have literally nothing to compare it to. But everything we've seen so far tells us those Samba numbers are stacking up exactly right. I yeah, think it's a very passionate fan base um, that are going to be very active on social media, and you're seeing that. But this is uh, the general audience. I don't think they know what's going on, and I don't think they're super invested in the character, which explains kind of those low premiere viewerships. Ryan, the bullshit is over, right? I mean, with the, we're going to talk about Rotten Tomatoes a little bit, which is the tip of the fucking iceberg, ladies and gentlemen. But uh, it, interaction on the internet means jack fucking squat. Nobody's watching this fucking show. It's uh, the first episode was equal with Secret Invasion. Will it get a little bump from the second? From uh, I, I think it will. Velvet painting fucking Anakin Skywalker. That was the best. That was the best <laughs> description. Velvet painting Anakin Skywalker was pathetic. At the end. <sighs> yeah, it was so fucking. It looked pathetic. so uncanny. As soon as his mouth moved, it was like, oh, it what looks, am I, I know it, it, it looked fucking terrible. fake as hell. Well, I, so I. I'm willing to forgive that a little bit because this is Why? about to be a fake Anakin Skywalker. Yeah, yeah. This is probably. not a real Anakin Skywalker. This is mm. not a Force Ghost. This is not him in the world. This is, in my opinion, a either all in Ahsoka's head because she's having a near-death experience mm-hmm. or like a manifestation of the sun, which, again, if you didn't watch the Mortis arc in Rebels, you probably have no idea what we're fucking talking about. Or, sorry, in Clone Wars, you probably have no idea what that is. Yeah, if no you idea. didn't watch Rebels, you probably have no fucking idea where Ahsoka's at and what this means right now. Yeah. Uh, like, how did but, she get there? She fell off a cliff. She should then, be dead. Well, she uh, be wait, wait for episode five, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. And to, to talk about the viewership real quick, because we talked about this on uh, Geeks and Gamers Daily, but uh, One Piece just came out on Netflix. By, by the way, fucking awesome! Uh, the live action One Piece. I watched the uh, first I two episodes. Fucking loved it. I did. I've only seen a little bit of the anime, and now I'm more interested in the anime. Um, so I'm going to be watching the anime, but I love the live action. But if you look at the, uh, and this is just a small sample size, but it's it's a sample size. Uh, One Piece has over ten thousand fan reviews on Rotten Tomatoes. Ahsoka has twenty five hundred fan reviews. Yeah. That that speaks wow. volumes. And <laughs> One Piece has a ninety six percent audience rating with ten thousand reviews. Well, so it's down fair, to like Jeremy, high seventies uh, with twenty five hundred now. 
uh, twenty five hundred probably got deleted by Rotten Tomatoes of Ahsoka because <laughs> yeah, they, they weren't acceptable ratings. That so. is true. That is true. Yeah, and Rotten Tomatoes completely got exposed for the oh, trash yeah. fire that it is. But oh, just talking about the sample size, if you if you if you look at the just taking that one piece thing versus the the Ahsoka deal, the reaction to one, people are talking about one piece like crazy. Nobody's talking about Ahsoka, really. Like a few people. I'm not saying it's completely dead, but well, compared to who, who talked about Mandalorian, compared to who talked about Obi Wan Kenobi, the discussion about Ahsoka is not there. It just isn't. Go ahead, Ryan. I will say there there is pockets of it. There's a lot of pockets of it. Like I said, I think that the this is based off animated shows. That's what you. This is what this entire thing is built on. Yep. And the audience for the animated shows is much smaller than the general audience for Star Wars. Yes. Clone Wars was bigger. Rebels was smaller. Yep. But um, but it is a very passionate fan base that's going to speak out a lot. Obviously, the Anakin reveal got a lot of people talking. Um, that was a moment that was literally made for Twitter. That was made yes. for yeah, social yeah, media yeah, to yeah, get yeah. people talking. Trend. There's a reason that they did a preview of episodes one and two at Disneyland with a fan casting or with fans there. There's a reason they're doing it in select theaters just a few hours before Ahsoka debuts next Tuesday. Because they want audio, they want people out there talking on Twitter to scream about it. That's how what the marketing has been for this. Here's the reality: uh, there was a time. I'm actually doing a video on this. There was a time up until very recently where Hollywood didn't think word of mouth mattered anymore. They just didn't, and they were trying to manufacture it. And they're manufacturing it rarely works, if ever. There's a couple of times marketing wise where it's really mar Hollywood marketing has worked. Black Panther and Barbie. Yeah. Those are two of the greatest marketed <laughs> movies of all fucking time. Mm -hmm. Batman. Uh, but you know what helped Barbie and Oppenheimer? Word of mouth. So yeah. that's starting to change. It's, it's all false shit. They can release all the fucking shit they want in the theaters. They can uh, manipulate Twitter as much as they want. They can manipulate R Rotten Tomatoes, which marketing groups have been doing for each studio uh, up until this very second. Uh, it's not working. It's not great, working. I got a good example of that. I mean, One Piece, I haven't seen a single poster. We've been walking around London for four days. I see a Ahsoka shit oh, everywhere. Yeah. Yep. It's everywhere. But One Piece, nothing. But I hear all sorts of awesome stuff about One Piece from all of you guys and from the internet. Right. The reason word why mouth, word of mouth matters so much now is because they did all of that stuff. You can't trust the journalists. You can't trust the critics. You can't trust the websites that do the reviews because they polluted all of them by trying to be fake in the first place. So now nobody pays attention to those. All they care about is whoever they know that has seen it, and then they trust their opinion more, which yep. is at least they're going to be honest. And then maybe over time, certain critics decide that they want to sell out as well, but then they quickly get found out by their own audience. Yeah. You know, what, what, this is a point I've made. It was amazing. How many of them said The Force Awakens was amazing? They've lost all, you know, faith in them. And so we don't listen to those shills anymore. And it's the word of mouth that really sells people. And it's how I judge a movie. You know what got me interested in One Piece? It was, it was Jeremy and Yellow Flash online yep. saying... This is actually pretty decent. Give it a go. That's why I watched it. Mm -hmm. we, even, we and, it, it and it gets even better. Uh, yeah, we fired it up season. before the show, Jeremy, and it was based on you and Yellow Flash saying, hey, watch it. I'm like, all right, I'll give it a shot because normally I, I wouldn't care. I'd, I'd probably watch the anime before I watched the show. Uh, and it was it was all right. You know, I don't hate it. I, I haven't seen enough of and it I, yet. I need but, to watch it closer to really. Yeah. And I, I know that there's like a discussion about because there is a couple of. Uh, uh, well, there's a certain like, character. Lower. Yeah, yeah, there's, yeah, a, couple there's a couple in, in there. Shop. And you know, uh, so so was Perry White and Man of Steel. I don't hear anybody complaining about that ruin in the movie. Um, I, so was Nick Fury, and no one complained about that until he started making it as well. No, no, there's, race. A, there's a, well, and, and so, Garrett did some researching, and there was a character that might yeah. have uh, had a, a preteen uh, transmission. Well, um, there's a so the character that, if I'm to my understanding, and again, I'm no expert on any of this, but, but um. The character that plays Kobe apparently in real life is a transgender. In real yes. life, I don't give a shit. It didn't play into the role of the character and how the character was portrayed in the film uh, or the the series. But if you watch the animated version, 
the live action version of that character is pretty much exactly like the animated version and that's all i really cared about from that i, I wish that he was shorter though because i've only seen a couple episodes of one piece he has yeah it should have been a little shorter the guy is tiny and well, so one of the things though is like there's a lot of like again i have watched i watched a little bit of one piece anime before i watched the live action mm -hmm. now i've watched more of the anime after the live action and there's a lot of whimsical fucking weird characters in the anime yeah. version clearly I, I actually I, yeah i read the manga mm -hmm. i didn't watch the Mm -hmm. yeah, no and way. so you you can't always it's not always a good idea to try to mimic those characters in live action uh just from how they are in the animated version so to make them a little more believable and realistic to the live action world i think is a, a good step um but th this is more about ahsoka right now and i wanted to say like going back to ahsoka ahsoka is not supposed to be a character that is supposed to be the center of the fucking Star Wars universe. She was yeah. never meant to be that. She was never supposed to be that. And she there are reasons dead. that people have certain roles in life. There are certain roles in universes, certain roles in stories. Ahsoka was never meant to be a central fucking figure. People liked her when she was a supporting character. The force now is you have, now, Jeremy. I know. And now you have tried to intertwine her to make her the Luke Skywalker of the universe that you already had a Luke Skywalker in. And you decided that that guy needed to turn into an old hermit that, that was on an island and angry and you've killed him off. It's never going to work. You are trying to make her something she was never supposed to be, and it's not going to work. Yeah, you know? let me ask you. If you're a Spider-Man fan, uh, they make Spider-Man a whiny old bitch fucking on an island, and he quits, and then Spider-Gwen takes over. Does she become the amazing Spider-Man? Does she take over? Does she become Luke Skywalker or become Spider-Man of that universe? No. Miles Morales can't even be Spider-Man. Miles Morales <laughs> is Miles Morales. <laughs> so you're trying to do this shit with Star Wars when Star Wars is fucking Luke well, Skywalker. It's it would the, be the like this, thing is, oh, Go ahead, Ryan. Go ahead. Uh, the funny thing is, Ahsoka knows right where Luke is, I uh, like we're, we're very confused about the timeline, whether it's still in the point where Grogu would be with Luke or whether Grogu's gone and Luke's just sitting there jerking off in a stone hut. Right. But he still is there. And Ahsoka knows who he is and knows where he's at. This is like the fate of the universe is on the line. I better get Sabine uh, to help me do this. <laughs> you know I mean? yeah, but, uh, like, Ryan, Sabine's hey, a really, uh, really powerful for. Oh, no, no, she can read a fucking Rub a round Rubik's cube because she's a graffiti artist. That's why they went and got her. <laughs> well, yeah. and I just want to throw and I want to clarify that I'm throwing out a hypothetical because we know this is too crazy to happen. All right, I'm talking oh, about like a character, uh, it's too crazy uh, to happen. All right, but like it would be like bringing a Ghostbusters movie out and making an all female Ghostbusters. We know it wouldn't work. <laughs> we know it wouldn't work. But that's like the, that's how crazy it is trying to force these characters that don't belong in universes into a universe that already established. So, but that would never happen. But that's kind of what we're seeing with the Sokas. They're trying to elevate her into a universe. And I got a better cool. idea. We need to give Spock a black foster sister who's human. <laughs> yeah. Hey, who do you, you think the Inquisitor is? A fart cloud. Do you think it could be Ezra or maybe maybe Starkiller oh, yeah. or, or a big fart fucking cloud of green smoke? <laughs> I'm going a fart cloud. What, one of the things that I, 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 I hate that there's like no resolution on that because is the implication that he was created by Morgan, right? Morgan's a night yeah. sister. Morgan has magic. One, why didn't we see her use... I don't know any of that shit when she was fighting Ahsoka in a retarded, <laughs> slow fucking, oh, let's pretend this is a samurai movie. Yes, George was inspired by samurai movies. It doesn't mean that Star Wars is samurai shit. Yeah. Um, and, like an incredibly slow fight between her and Ahsoka. She doesn't use any of her Night Sister stuff. She just uses a Beskar pole. Um, and she doesn't also use any of that stuff to potentially escape from the ship that she's on for who knows how long. So there were, there I don't know if they outside. retconned her into a Night Sister or not. <laughs> There were men outside talking, though. <laughs> that was the while while the women scene. were doing the fighting, the guys were outside having a chat. They had an entire scene where they have the robot droid tell them, You're, you two are better together. Whatever you do, don't oh, separate. God, first, thing they do, first time they meet anyone, they split up because they know better than the droid and immediately <laughs> fail at everything. Yeah, I so thought he was just telling them not to break up. Yeah. It was it was dumb because and, and the reason that's dumb because obviously him saying stick together like you're that's a premonition hey there's going to be something where they have to decide whether to stay together or not it, it shouldn't have just been 
hey, you're 10 meters away from me. I could come help you finish this person off and then we could both go. No, but it should have been, hey, there's like a, a fucking big hole like collapses in the ground. It's being get stuck under there. There's not like there's there's a million other ways you can tell the story to make it have to not be an easy choice whether to just stick mm. together or not. Well, it's even more funny, right? When Ahsoka is seeing the dark Jedi whatever lady fighting Sabine, right? And she's like, oh, you handle him. When Ahsoka actually is confronted with that lady Jedi, she just throws her into a rock and takes her out with one move. Right. She, that means when she, <laughs> she could have just thrown her away for Sabine. And then they, I was just like, well, no, she, that, I mean, wait, the, wait, the wait, fact wait, that she's okay, fighting I, a Force I, user, that Force user should armor. dominate the shit out of her. Yeah. Ahsoka does have the Force. Right? Yes. She, she yeah. could have gotten that I'll fucking ball mat MacGuffin anytime ah. she wanted to. That's what <laughs> I point. I think that's that too. I think she could have swiped at it with her lightsaber. Obviously, we then found out it takes a little longer to like destroy it with a lightsaber. But um, yeah. The the combat itself, I will say I think the Shin Sabine combat is better than the Ahsoka versus anybody combat. I think that Rosaria Dawson as Ahsoka is the the weak point of all of yes. the combat yeah it, especially when you're trying to take her character from live action who obviously she's older now but her fighting style is just so quick um even compared to other people within the the cartoon universe it, she just looks very slow, slow. Yeah. and i she, loved how i love balon's kind of and i think they're pro probably trying to go for like a form five type of thing with him but the slow, like powerful, super yeah. overpowering strikes. I'm cool with that. that um, actually, very nightly almost. Yes. They conveyed that he had a lot more power and strength in his moveset, and he was actually blowing past her guard. I was like, oh, okay, that, that's actually something I appreciate. That they yeah. Yeah. She's she's dominating. Dominating. Did, did you see what that lightsaber strong. did to the rocks? Holy shit, just imagine if that impaled somebody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was the issue. They made him stronger than the entire fight until her lightsaber was over her neck and he could kill her whenever he wanted. Uh -huh. And then she actually broke his guard just because he insulted her. So she got more powerful and like leveled up just because he did a speech. So it, I, I really like, I, I did like how they, um, they built him up to be more, more powerful, but you can't just then immediately break your own rules that you spent for the entire fight following. Yes. I mean, a good example is when Sabine is fighting the, the pale, you know, Sith lady, that Sith lady just, Forced pup pushes her into a tree and almost knocks her out, and then she never does it again. I mean, yeah. Sabine has no force ability to stop that. She could have just picked her up like a ragdoll, threw her around. She what's, forced her What's just stopping her from force choking her? That was the thing that pissed me off. It's like, dude, you demonstrate the fact you have force choke. You could have just done, boom, fight over. It, that, it's that, that that in the first fucking episode. Yeah. It's another, I mean, it, it's another kind of Kylo Ren uh, first Finn scenario. Yes. Where it's there, there's no reasonable explanation, even if Kylo Ren's been shot in the gut by Chewie's bowcaster, there's no reasonable explanation as to why this dude doesn't just pick someone up and throttle them. Yeah. And you'd have to go into, oh, I have something to prove type of bullshit. But I, I think but that takes the, assumptions, and that it takes, takes assumptions, and, and I think dialogue. it takes writing and it takes something yeah. to you know actually show that. And it also is not the thing they would probably do in that moment um, it, when Ahsoka I, just took off. Agree. She would try to finish her off as quick as possible. Well, this is the shit that uh, we've been getting from the writers who are on strike and who can stay on strike till the end of fucking time. Uh, they can't keep track of their own continuity within their own episodes. And this mm -hmm. might be too many cooks in the kitchen. I don't even give a fuck what the reason is. To miss that is amateur. It, it's fucking amateur. When like everybody, even the people who like the show are like, why isn't she using the force to grab the ball? Like what the fuck? It'd be the easiest thing to do, or explain why you can't. Which is yes, probably like just just one, one just shot. one scene yeah. of her trying to grab it, and whether it she can't or whether Balon does something to counter it, right? Yeah. Like something, right? It, but there was and no that explanation. Would have taken just a couple of seconds to show. Right. The Sabine and uh, Chihuahua fight is I I'm a, I can use my suspension of disbelief. To, to to say that the Chihuahua doesn't want to use her force powers because she doesn't know if Sabine can counter and she's already shown that she's better as a lightsaber fighter. So I'm willing to believe that she, she her tactic is let's just beat her again with a lightsaber. But as soon as she realized that Sabine didn't have the force, I'm even willing to believe that she confused Ahsoka's force powers with both of them. 
uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm even willing to really, really sort of sp uh, extend this uh, suspension of my disbelief. But as soon as she realized that, that Sabine had no force powers and she threw down the gas pellet, it was game over. Yes. In every conceivable possible way. Strike in, force choke, push, anything and everything. And she turns and runs because Sabine is plot armored up to the eyeball. Yes. Mm -hmm. But that's what she was doing at first. I still don't know why the person with the lightsaber in melee range is running away from the person with blasters at range. And the range guns are chasing the person who does melee until eventually she catches her and then she almost dies. And way too close, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Th there's another thing they do throughout this entire episode multiple times is that something interrupts the fight and they all focus their attention to what's going on. It's like one of you, I, I, I find this absolutely hard to believe. No one's going to take advantage of that situation to strike down their opponent. That's a, see, that's where a, a Quentin Tarantino film would set up a scene like that and then and somebody then would just get up and shoot him in the back of the head. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just like, that's what they do. Uh, it, real it's, quick. It's, go ahead. Uh, hi, Adam. Hey, what's up? What's going on? <laughs> and hi, I, Chad. I, I, I love hanging hi, out. Hi, hi, Gary. It's great to be here. Okay, that was officially our longest introduction. So. <laughs> <laughs> One hour, 20 minutes. Right, Ryan, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, I, I forget what exactly that was. You forgot what exists. Yeah. Yeah. I've done that to him. There's a lot to old, talk about. The, getting the, old, Ryan. I, I think that one of the biggest flaws of this entire, regardless of whether you think it's good or not, which I don't think it's good, I think it's really bad, but I, I think that regardless, almost everyone should be able to unanimously agree that for the general audience, I don't think they have any idea what the fuck is going on. I don't think they understand why, Agreed. like, mm. really who Ezra is at all and why he's important. Mm. I don't think they understand yep. who the fuck Thrawn is and why anyone should be scared of him or where the fuck he at or where he is. I, I, I think there's so much that they needed. I'm not saying they need to hold your hand and, like, explain everything, but I, there needs to be a little more exposition on Ryan, Brian. things that are relevant from these animated shows that had a very small audience. He's, yeah. he's the heir to the Empire. Oh God! <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> like, what even does that mean? I, that's, that's, I mean, the thing is, even the characters that they have introduced, He's like reckless. Sabine, they've made Sabine an arsehole. The first time we were introduced yeah. to her, she was a thief that didn't do her yeah. duty and went home to feed her cat when everyone else was relying on her. Yeah. <laughs> and then she met Ahsoka, but, immediately screwed her to, over. To be fair, that is consistent with Sabine in then Rebels. I she's oh. I, I can't stand her character. She's kind of a bitch. Um, <laughs> So Don't there become it is. a hero if yeah. they're just going to be hated. That's the thing. Dude, she's the she's most a consistent. 16 SJW yeah. fucking Tumblr girl. That's what she it's always kinda, was and always will yeah. be. Uh, like the most consistent characters in this entire show are undoubtedly the droids. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Chopper <laughs> and Hu Yang are 100%. And of course, Hu Yang's David Tennant, right? Yes. Is great voice actor for this role. But um, those are the most two cons the two most consistent carryovers from animation. Everybody else is really tough. I don't even remember um, who Yang. He was in he was in a Clone Wars episode, like in season four or five. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Like probably yeah. Hera, Hera is well, un unrecognizable. Unrecognizable. Yeah. Who Yang is like there it is. Who Yang has been around for thousands of fucking years. Yes. Who Yang has been like training Jedi for thousands of years. This dude is this cornucopia of knowledge about everything Jedi and he's just wow. traveling around with Ahsoka who is no Jedi. Like mm -hmm. why isn't Hu Yang with Luke fucking Skywalker? Well, I, I, they I, constantly I, brush I, him I, off too. It's clear he knows what the hell he's talking about. Like oh whatever man. But it's it is it's a man. Even yeah. though it's a droid, it's a male it's voice, man. so it's it's still a man. And uh, and Luke Skywalker doesn't have a vagina. Well, I mean Disney Star Wars Luke Skywalker does. Mark but, Hamill does too, by the way. Yeah, Mark Hamill does, Hamill. yeah. But uh, but Luke Skywalker doesn't have a vagina, so uh, he's not the Force's female. It is true. I actually, I, I think we need to make a stand right here to not, we don't need to pick on Mark Hamill anymore after what Gary did to him. So let's make a truce. <laughs> no punching down now. It, it is literally punching There's nothing down. left of him to make fun There's of. Nothing, really? man. It's, it is over. God. It is over. <laughs> did you see the headline where it's like, Mark Hamill's granddaughter born despite abortion request. Oh, yes. Oh, and I just said, sorry oh. for your gain, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> that makes Christmas awkward. Awkward. <laughs> oh. God. Yeah, did he, did he cut off like he cut off? 
yeah, money like, and everything. Have, yeah, from what from, from not reports, included from in the will. Reports. So, yeah, he's a he's a terrible human being. He's a terrible human being. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's so weird that people with TDS always end up kind of like that. It's just a weird coinky dink. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. But uh, scum is scum. Yeah. It doesn't matter where you what you try and veil yourself in. Scum always reveals itself. Yep. It what? really does. For for anybody who had no idea what the fuck a world between worlds is what were you thinking at the end there when anakin shows up i i didn't know what to think i was like okay did she fall through a portal somehow what the hell is going on is is she having a delusion it made no sense no sense is it palpatine projecting i, I don't fucking he, he's still alive so still alive, yeah. so and that's the thing from rebels and this is all tiny the sequels by the way we fucking yep. know that mando season three very explicitly laid all that out even how thrawn is involved with a group of people who are um you know helping the emperor return to power all this shit oh i thought you're gonna go right wing extremists <laughs> oh maybe um yeah. but palpatine had been it, there was a whole plot line in Rebels for Palpatine to get access to the world between worlds and to try to use Ezra to do it. Yes. And so that's reasonable that that could be something to do with it. Somehow Palpatine returned to the world between worlds. Um, but there's also other things that could happen too. I, I just, for general audiences, I don't know what they were thinking. I have no idea. So do you think that they're going to use the world between worlds to rewrite the Disney Star Wars and no. at all? No, no. no like, what, I'll, I'll tell you what they're going to the do. I, I tell you what they're going to do. They're going to use the world between worlds because essentially it, it, it allows you connections to all these different things throughout different times in different spaces uh, and you can almost view them. I think what's going to happen is Ahsoka and Anakin maybe or fake Anakin are going to walk through this and you are going to witness things that could have been like if Ahsoka had been on Mustafar with Obi-Wan Kenobi to face Anakin, what would have happened? I think there's a decent chance we see uh, Kanan Jarrus make her turn, whether it's his death scene, whether it's just something, some moment between them. I think that's what we're going to do for this. There is some and background noise right now, guys. I don't. It's a true. fucking fan in their dog shit Airbnb. Okay. <laughs> um, so, I, I, so I think that that's, it's just going to be an entire nostalgia trip but nothing's actually going to be changed. That's what I think episode five is going to be. So, and then, uh, I cannot wait for this trope to fucking die. Yeah. This has got to be the last one, right? We no. have it's the Star Wars multiverse. <laughs> <laughs> and what, what so I think tired of multiverses, dude. Is three more episodes of filler till we finally get the meat of the last episode. Well, and meet, and meet uh, Elon Thrawn. Yes, and meet Elon Thrawn. Yeah. I'm so glad I'm not watching this fucking show. <sighs> You're... So Better off for it, Jeremy. Yeah. Hey, it's yeah. halfway over. It's halfway over. It's halfway over. So nothing's happened. happened. Why hasn't yeah. Ray Stevenson just cut the fucking witch in half? I don't know. I, it's, but it's uh, no. She's a woman. I, you can't I love that the map was so important, and yeah, she's like, it's so important, I need to piss off and sit on a ship and do nothing, and you yeah. can just depend on your own. When I know we're going to outnumber them if we just all stay here and do it together. She literally just occupies space. That's all yes. she does. Yes, that is a really good way of putting it, to be honest. Yeah, the, 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 the long silences between dialogue returned. Oh. And uh, thank God Ahsoka crossed her arms because I was worried we'd have an episode where a woman didn't cross her arms. <laughs> that the dialogue at that beginning Holy section between shit. Sabine and Ahsoka was some of the worst dialogue I've ever fucking heard. It was, it was fucking embarrassing to listen to it. It was one word. Pause. Another word. Pause. But word. Word. Oh my, my favorite is like, are you not, someone... she's not like participating in the conversation. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Are you sure? What are we talking about? It's like, it's yeah, like I, I, I don't, I don't have any issue with Ahsoka crossing her arms because that's actually like character does all the fucking time. Um, the, the problem is that that's about the only way she acts like a Okay, <laughs> She crosses her arm, Sabine crosses her arm, and then uh, Morgan yeah. Elsbeth like, holds her arms like fucking uh, on her back. <laughs> like Grandma Tarkin uh, uh, behind the back, like see some Nazi girl boss uh, who's intimidating when she's like four mm. foot two. She's like shorter than the Shih Tzu, like a lot shorter than the Shih Tzu. It's fuck. It's a joke, dude. It's a piece. So, listen. You like what you like. You're not going to hear us saying ban this, 
boycott like if life is too short if you like something don't let us ruin your good time but there's also the reality that if you keep supporting this shit you're going to get more of it yeah that's it. the, the only mean, thing that's good about it is ray stevenson and he brought so much gravitas to that episode well what's sad and, what's sad comics is people did like Andor, whatever. Like I thought it was boring mm-hmm. as shit. But more people liked Andor that didn't like Andor. But unfortunately, not enough of the Soka fans went and supported it, which probably would have made Star Wars fucking better. Uh, I don't know about that. It, I don't it, think it Ahsoka has enough fans. An improvement. Oh, well, okay. If they, they if they supported it like they're supporting it online, I don't know if it gets a season two. It's fucking, but it's better. If you want something to improve, you 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 back the improvement. For example, Picard season three isn't yes. going to improve anything. It's not going to change anything because what happened was old Star Trek fans came back and then they followed it up with shit. And those old Star Trek fans left again. They're like, mm-hmm. okay, fuck yeah. you, we're out, you know? And that's exactly what whatever goodwill Andor had. And I'm just playing devil's advocate here because I didn't like the fucking show. Uh, whatever it had died the first second Ahsoka came out, and everybody lightsabers and the seal clapping started again. <laughs> well, dude, like, it, it, Adam um, just said yeah. that you guys are seeing Ahsoka advertisements all over the place. Yes, they're, they're like, all so, over the place here. There was no, there was no marketing for Andor. None. The, 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 I, I don't remember seeing any I, heavy marketing. Heavy marketing. Not like <laughs> Mandalorian. Not like Ahsoka. Uh, not like Obi Wan. I mean, I to be I fair, know. I didn't go outside very much, so <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't. I just don't feel like Andor got a lot of marketing push from Disney at all. They didn't build it up to be anything special. And I'm not sure that would have made a difference or not, but it, it would have put more eyes onto it and given it more weight. It just seemed very kind of run of the mill. It kind of came and went. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's the fact like that this is uh, um, what's his name, um, Dave Filoni is attached to it. And maybe that's the reason why we're getting all this marketing because it's his crap. Well, it, th- there is a reason. Th- this yeah. entire show is a lead up to people are going to be really disappointed because Thrawn's not going to be in this thing barely at all. Yeah. But it's a lead up to introduce Thrawn to set up a movie that's supposed to come out in like 2027. So we'll see if that fucking happens. We'll see if that happens. (laughs) But that would be a reason why they obviously they're putting a lot behind this. They're doing these special screenings. They're bringing the characters out in Galaxy's Edge. Hera is now out in Galaxy's Edge. Ahsoka is at Galaxy's Edge. They're they moved up the fucking time slot. Time time. 9 p.m. Yeah. to try to get people to talk about this. They are putting everything into Ahsoka because they know a lot of what they want to do in the future is riding on the success of this show. Oh, I, and I just I, think right. <laughs> this this is where Star Wars is so fucked up right now. We have taken a cinematic franchise, a massive cinematic franchise. Thanks we have reduced world. it. Ever. Big one, certainly one of. Certainly, no, one of you know, Lord of the Rings most like, fan- franchise when it comes to movies and and uh, merchandising and toys ever, not even close. Oh, or, yeah, or, not even close. And yeah. then you you've taken that and you put it on the small screen, and then when you've put it onto the small screen, which is hidden behind a paywall on a streaming service, you're making a show about a fucking cartoon that nobody fucking watched to lead into a fucking movie that nobody's going to know what the fuck is going on. That's the typical Disney Plus way, man. It's fucking retarded. It is. Yes, it is. <laughs> Sorry, if you maybe that's why. For your aunt, man, if you want to fuck, send me a dress, I'll send you some fucking tissues. Uh, yeah, and then maybe that has something to do with uh, their little offer on uh, Disney Plus. I saw your video today, Ryan, uh, and it's coincidentally, it's one nine nine. It's really weird. It is one nine nine per month for three months of Disney Plus. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, And then it's and then it jumped up to seven ninety nine. I also think they want to hook people on that ad based tier. Uh, They're desperate to pump up their subscriber numbers after losing nearly twenty million over the past year. Like there's a lot of reasons they're doing it, but one the the way they're doing is, hey, come watch the Little Mermaid and Ahsoka uh, for a dollar ninety nine. They're basically giving Disney Plus away again. You know, you know how much money uh, Disney has into Disney Plus? I'm going to ballpark it here. The financial analysts can uh, can correct me. Uh, Twelve I'm, billion. Yes, I might be off by a billion, but it's twelve or thirteen billion dollars. Oh, Damn. Well, I, I, I'm I've been looking at a Flip Five phone, potentially getting a Flip Five, and if I if I get a Flip Five, I get a whole year of Disney Plus for free. 
Can you opt out? <laughs> Are they torturing you or something? Is there? Is there like you go? I'll buy this phone, but get that Disney Plus shit off yeah, my phone. Like, it's, it's wild because that's how we saw it during the pandemic. Disney stock crashed, just like nearly every entertainment stock did. But they were it was a double whammy because of the theme parks. Then they came out and said, "Hey guys, we're going to focus completely on streaming. Don't worry." <laughs> And they somehow convinced shareholders to believe in what they were doing. And the stock price shot to an all-time high of like 190 points. But unfortunately, the, the way they grew that subscriber base was shit like that. It was, hey, for three years, only $30 for three years of Disney Plus, we promise. Oh, by the way, you're a Verizon customer? You get a year for free. And like all this stuff that didn't bring in any revenue. And a lot when those things come up, People don't resubscribe to Disney Plus and their subscribers fall off. So they're doing the same exact thing again for another juice of those numbers. And it, at, at the same time, while they're being sued for being very disingenuous about the success of Disney Plus, Three, weird, isn't it? Third lawsuit. Third lawsuit. And you, you can feel it in the air. This is why the act man probably felt a little heat. He had that, he thought as was low hanging fruit. And so did all the other nope. uh, skeptics out there, uh, of course, you with the exception of, you know, Sargon shoe and uh, razor fist. Uh, but uh, yeah, they thought it was low hanging fruit and they had no, I no idea that there's clap back to this. Like this is we're woke. Hollywood is dying before our eyes. Mm. And it's glorious. Well, Disney is the front runner in the, in the dying. And it is also, I was looking at the comments in your video, uh, Ryan, and they all pretty much said, Oh, this is so great. Watching Disney die is so fun. Where's my popcorn? Do, 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 do. Everybody's so happy about it. This is a company failing miserably. Thousands of jobs will be lost. Investors are going to lose millions of dollars collectively because they were fucking lied to. And people are happy. They're genuinely, this is good for the world. Because it is. Because it's know, actually well, good. Well, 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 but then this Apple are going to buy it also up. also came out and was calling all the fans racist, sexist, misogynist for not liking their stuff. They're the ones that made the enemy, the, the division, right? They're the ones who said, okay, you're, you're like, you're not watching our stuff. You're a bad person. Yeah. And so, all right, you're going to die now. And we're going to dance on the grave of this company as it burns because yep. you hated us first. And, and that's and Pablo Hidalgo. He that's is a what? massive, massive negative uh, person there at Disney Star Wars that has done nothing but cause division between uh disney star wars and fans yes and he, he's just a fucking troglodyte might have been one of the main Bloody. architects to get rid of gina carano fucking asshole really? Really? Yeah, that's interesting it might, it might have chat said it's interesting how uh act man didn't go after dr disrespect pretty interesting how he didn't go after doc because he didn't see he didn't think it would you know like i said he thought as was the yep. easy so. as, as eric july said hail ripper Yep. He said, that's why the incrementalism they saw the easy target. Yep. That's all he none did. Of them, man. None of them went in on Dr. Disrespect. By, Not by the fucking way, I one. Got, I got one of those. Um, I've gotten a few times. I've seen like I got like some kind of let me I got the email folder familiar, but uh, a German law notice yeah, on my lot, on yeah. my yeah. Act, on the act I've gotten uh, that meme. before. Yeah, I, I got that oh, this yeah, morning. Yeah. Um that, that's happened a few times. Uh, Germany to, Germany are known for Yeah. <laughs> going back to the point yeah, you were making earlier. Really funny to say okay. something quickly. Oh but, my but bad, go ahead. That's why the incrementalism had like stopped working because yeah, people don't notice and then it moves slowly over time. But then you hit their franchise that they care about. And once you piss these people off, they they watch you for every other thing. And so you're like going, it's snowballing all the time. Like it, with me, it was Wheel of Time. You pissed me off with Wheel of Time and I've covered all of your stuff. And I think that's happening with everybody else. So they'd like, yeah, well, I don't really care about Ahsoka. And then I do this. And then you go after one of the main characters and suddenly you've got a horde after you. And the, the people that were going after Az won't have known that because they don't care about any of these franchises. It didn't mean exactly. anything to them. Exactly. And so until something comes for something they love, they won't really get it. And just on the Wheel of Time thing, like Amazon, they have no idea the beast they unleashed when they went after Wheel of Time. Because Disparu, that was the thing that made you just explode. <laughs> I my channel. Yes! <laughs> like, Disparu just like, I will do everything I can to destroy you. And it's exploded now. They have created a monster. And it's just yeah. now Wheel of Time Season 2 is out. And I'm like, Oh boy, this brew is in a stronger position now. <laughs> so, this is such a garbage uh, show, too. Argue that, and there has been some hints to it. Not really sure when the production was done, but like the approach to one, I know Dick about either of these franchises uh, intimately, like I do, like Lord of the Rings and stuff. But 
uh, basic knowledge that I know is uh, Amazon or Netflix took a very different approach uh, to One Piece than from to Cowboy Bebop. There was well, the, the creator uh, was involved. The creator, the creator was, yeah, the creator was heavily involved no. with One Piece. So, and, he, and I wonder if that had anything to do with the feedback they received from Cowboy Bebop. Yeah, you yeah, know, I mean, they learned did. from their mistakes. That's why you don't shut up about that. Oh, these things don't matter, Jeremy. We oh, we help it, Jeremy. Mm -hmm. We've helped Disney Star Wars, even though they haven't put a fucking movie in the theater since 2019. But somehow we're helping. Disney Star Wars. By I, I want to say that they actually came out and admitted that they learned from their mistakes with with Bebop. We, we I, I will see with things. Last Airbender. At Last I think it's all. It, I think out. it's, just, it's, I gonna, think it's all going to be knows? isolated. It's all isolated. Anime is not one overarching thing like Hollywood. Anime is mm -hmm. just. It's a. It's a lot of different. Well, Hollywood isn't. But, no, though, but, but Netflix. Is. Well, but, 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 but Hollywood. No, but there, yeah. there are people in Hollywood that'll be cast out for having an opinion. You will get blackballed from Hollywood in general if you support trump or whatever like anime it, there's no one box you can put anime in. there's like fucked up anime there's innocent anime there's action-packed anime it, it's just all types. Yeah, there's of like wild shit boxes so, like i, there, I just no, view like, it like amazon right based on what amazon show you get it could be something that's pretty cool and they really take a lot from the source material whoever the showrunner is maybe it's something like reacher or you know change of the source material but still a really quality show in terminalist or you get Wheel of Time, Rings of Power. Like I think a lot just depends on yeah. who's in charge and Anime how you feel about it. Animation that comes from Japan. Yes, that's I'm all it is. The obvious with multiple genres. Yes, it's yes. like comic books. There's multiple genres within a medium. Yes. But uh, one entire industry, the publishing industry for comics, was taken over by SJWs and by fucking woke retards. Hollywood has been taken over by woke retards. Social media has been mostly taken over by woke retards. Mm. Woke retards have not taken over anima anime yet. And hopefully they won't. Probably because most Japan. of the content. Well, they're is, trying. Is, they're trying. Well, well wait. Right. Most of the mm -hmm. content is based in an ethno state, and yep. it's going to be a little fucking harder. Okay, uh, an ethno state that really likes being an ethno state. Yeah, there are th certain things that Japan likes, and uh, they're not probably going to give up anytime soon. And a lot of the for this ideology is it's based on language and morphing language to mean something new that they can have hold power over you with, and so it doesn't really translate language barriers that well. And so it's very difficult to break Japan. They're a very traditional country. Well, they, uh, they don't uh, need to. All they need to do is infiltrate the translation houses and that's how they yes. yeah they kind of weave this shit in and japan's going through a terrible um population crisis at the minute yes i'm willing to come over there and do my part <laughs> <laughs> so proud of you i think our best <laughs> silverback, silverback. 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 uh go back to what you were saying earlier about star wars and yeah like you, you said Star Wars is the biggest entertainment property ever. It's the biggest movie franchise ever. The biggest entertainment is Pokemon by a fucking galaxy. It ain't even fucking close. But Star Wars is the biggest movie property ever. It ain't going to remain that way much longer if they keep fucking up because Harry Potter is probably going to catch it. Um, if Harry Potter comes out with some good stuff over the next 10 years, it's going to catch it. The fact yeah. that Star Wars is the biggest movie property of all time and it's got a pretty big gap on like anything like Harry Potter, MCU, all that shit. But um, for now, P Potter's going to pass it up. I think Potter will pass it up over the next decade, Very soon. probably. Yeah. yeah. Um, if it's good. Yeah, it if, depends how good the show is. If, Harry, if Harry Potter doesn't produce another fucking thing, it will become bigger than Star Wars. It will. Yeah, like, and I, I see no mm. signs that Star Wars is going to improve. I just don't yeah. see any sign. I, there's no sign that it's going to improve. It's only getting worse. And what can they do? Th this is they can't fix what they've done. It, it, you're not going to get back the 40 years worth of fans that you have pissed off. You're just not going to do it. I don't know. I don't see any scenario where it gets fixed. A realistic scenario. Yeah, we can come up with all the hypotheticals of what they could, you know you know publicly shame kathleen kennedy for the next five years that's never going to happen so realistically you've killed off luke skywalker you've ruined the opportunity to have the big three together on screen um you know carrie fisher's no longer with us harrison ford hates guts uh there, there's just nothing mark hamill's crazy mark hamill's a psychopath <laughs> um and i don't see any scenario where you can actually repair this universe um and and that's just I think Star Wars is. I, got it. I just think it's dead. I, do. I got it. I got it. Bring back Ray Palpatine. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do it. That'll do it. Jeremy's old.
<laughs> the only chance it has and and is putting it on ice for a decade and trying again but that means remaking the original trilogy which they're gonna do they're gonna that's the last card they have to play and they will fucking play it i promise as long as i get my acolyte show acolyte show oh oh, sorry i forgot about that heart uh former harvey weinstein assistant leslie harvey Harvey weinstein's former personal assistant who uh made a lot of phone calls uh, set up a bunch of meetings with him and young women. Uh, never had any opinions on what was going on there, Leslie Headland, until after the fact, where you basically pulled your, I guess that was her O.J. Simpson uh, play of like, if I did it, you know, <laughs> like, hey, I witnessed, yeah. <laughs> if I witnessed this this tycoon in Hollywood sexually assaulting women, never she happened. Wrote, she but, wrote a play about yeah, it. Yeah. For some yeah. Sake. Oh. I still <laughs> wish we could have seen those, you know, 200 tweets that she deleted right before Lucasfilm announced that she was yeah. going to be working for them. And we uh, every time, every time she gets brought up, it's the uh, I think quarter black Garrett gets credit. Oh yeah, for baby, it. too ugly to be assaulted, Leslie Headland. <laughs> so <laughs> I mean, like a foot. Yeah, and again, congrats to Harvey and Jennifer I and, their, and their children. Congrats. She likes she likes like the daughter of Ron Perlman and Ron Perlman. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> oh shit! Uh, don't say gay. <laughs> don't say gay. Uh, <laughs> Listen up, you Nazi fucking pig. <laughs> hey, do you leave my thumb brother alone? <laughs> he acts so hard, but I bet he's a big sissy in real life. You know, I, I, there's a story. There's a story. Uh, I read this a long time ago. I'm a huge fan of Sons of Anarchy. Uh, you know, Ron Perlman was in it. He played Clay Morrow. Uh, Charlie Hunnam played Jack Steller. I, apparently, there was like it, within the storyline, there's a lot of um, there's a there's a lot of tension between Jax and Clay in the in the the series. And there was a story that Charlie Hunnam was basically like during the script. It was like there's got to be this really kind of intense stuff between him and Clay all season. So Charlie Hunnam basically made a decision to go on to set every day not say good morning to him, to, to Ron Perlman, not acknowledge him, not be nice to him, just so he could kind of, you know, get in the mode of it. And apparently that really bothered Ron Perlman. And he had to go, Charlie, 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 did I do something wrong? And I, I remember that was a story I'd read, but he gets on Twitter and he acts like this fucking badass who doesn't put up with no bullshit. He is a total bitch. Ron Perlman is a total bitch made loser. I hate that dude so much. Um, but he was good as Clay Morrow. I will say that. Hey, he was good as Hellboy. He's just a bitch, <laughs> <laughs> just a biatch. Hey, what, what do you got there? Well, I just I, I felt a little uh, out of place without something, so I'm just gonna. Yeah, yeah. Oh, do you hear what she just said? She's gonna grab it. Gonna grab Mark, it. Wow. did you hear that, Mark? Uh oh. Uh oh. Chat, calm down. Uh, did you want one, Gary? <laughs> yeah. Ah, this feels better. Yeah. yeah. Right here. Right here. Very good All ball. right. Ah, yeah, this is not going to end well. <laughs> Who was calling us a boy band earlier? <laughs> uh, well, 15,000 people in the chat. Now you're crossing your swords. They, uh, cross we are the crossing. Streams. Yeah, we're sword fighting right now. What's up, Garrett? I bet you are. Okay, at all. <laughs> you didn't get to hold my sword yet. No, I'm holding yeah, your sword. Now you're holding now. my sword now. But how, this is these are proper swords. These are, proper these are proper swords. swords. Yeah, you have feel, a proper sword hilt. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. yeah. You feel the weight in them. You feel like, the weight of the shaft. And, and these are made and, to uh, like, like yes. smack, right? Do you, want, do you want to smack our swords together? Yeah. Like these are made to like. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. X ray oh. Guild are calling you to make lunch. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and she heard that. You heard that. I mean, I could use a sandwich right now. But Mrs. Nandrotic, she's upstairs. I could, she can make me a sandwich. <laughs> yeah, good, 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 sandwich luck, Harry. good luck with that one. Oh man, I'm I'm dead the rest of this trip. <laughs> I'm screwed. Oh uh, guys, uh yeah, Ahsoka um 10 out of 10. Obviously, we loved it. Yeah. Yeah. Can't you tell? <laughs> would, would watch again. Star Wars is absolutely Wars saved. Is hey, b- uh, before uh we uh, could you pull up mm, find the yellow flashes. No, r- when Ryan comes back from his wank. Um, <laughs> we have some video. Yeah, he saw you two holding swords and was like, oh yeah, he's on that <laughs> off cam. 
Let me oh, whip okay. this thing out. Excuse me. I'll eat a couple <laughs> soups, and then we're gonna uh, show an actor getting upset about ask, being asked about diversity oh, in a God. in a Danish film. Was I got it. it. Yeah, I think so. It's one of those fucking Scandinavian blorgy blorg countries. I can't remember them all. Finland, Netherlands. No, I'm kidding. Hey, we have people from the Netherlands show up. The Netherlands, uh, Israel, uh, yeah, Germany. Some- guy from sweden who's an american uh luxembourg uh yeah great talking about you. Not it's fantastic about you, it's that okay. was real steel <laughs> you know we we uh shad was in his element today in the tower of london it was freaking oh, great he, he, he was better than he was the tour guide other people stopped and listen to him <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> he would stop and other people would just gather around and listen to fucking shad go <laughs> off on uh that was so good it was so good. I like Did you get tips? Uh, he, uh, you should have gotten some tips, actually. Uh, we did have our own tour guide. What the fuck is Ryan do? Is he recording a video right now? He's recording a video. That son of a bitch. He's right back. Here. Yeah, I say he's back. What are you talking about? I, I, li- I went to fucking heat up food, you cocksuckers. <laughs> you wanked in your bowl. That's what you did. Well, l- listen, I know you guys are probably full from sucking off each other and all that. <laughs> but I am hungry right now. Hey, can I can I share my screen for a minute? Because I know a lot of you are probably aware. Attacked, I, I, I know mm-hmm. a lot of you are probably aware of what happened on Drinker's stream a few days ago, but he just tweeted oh, yeah. an update. Um, update very happy to report this individual has since reached. So, someone sent a super yeah. chat. Someone yes. sent a super chat during Drinker Stream. Um, very concerning. I, I wasn't there, I didn't see it, but I'm, I'm just putting the piece together. They basically alluded to they're gonna uh, self harm. Uh, and so, Drinker edited that part out, reached out to YouTube to try to get the local authorities involved. And he says, update, I'm very happy to report that this individual has since reached out to me uh, by email and confirmed that he's okay and that he appreciated all the support from the panel and the chat last night. Obviously, he has a lot of work um, through, and uh, but the important thing is that he is still here to do it. So if anyone reading this has faced similar situation, always remember that you're not alone. You matter, and there's always someone out there that has your yeah. back. I agree with that 100%. So shout out to the critical drinker and to everybody involved. So there we go. Good update. Well, right reaching here. out for help, however, it does. I mean, there's normal way. There's no normal way to reach out for help. Reaching out for help is fine. Just ask for it in any way, shape, or form. And uh, it's great that Will did that. Uh, he's such a good dude. Yep. Yeah, it was a very like it was a it was a shocking moment in the stream because they were reading super chats. A big super chat comes in and it's like this guy saying, "Hey, thanks for all the laughs you've given me. It's been really awesome getting to know all you guys. Uh, here's my money before I, you know, yeah, do whatever." And so like everyone's like, "Holy shit!" So it was a you know obviously we're not fucking therapists, we're not experts or anything like that. We've just been living life the same as everybody else. So a tough thing to handle on a stream, but I think they did a really good job and it's great to hear there's some good resolution. Yeah, 100%. And just remember, you're not alone. And if you need help, reach out to somebody, please. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. You know, there's a lot of people struggling right now and, I, and the meetup was phenomenal. Yeah. But it actually kind of uh, humbled me a bit by there was more than one. There was a couple of people who were saying that things are tough, you know, and uh, and that they're struggling. But it's connecting with other people that was helping him get through it. And uh, it makes me really happy to be part of FNT that uh, we're just regular guys, regular guys like many people watching us. And uh, we can see what's happening in the world and uh, keep going, right? We're, we're rooting for everyone. We're wishing you all the best to just keep going because I do honestly believe that life can get better. And uh, we're seeing things kind of change, even in society, bit by bit, that, you know, we offer our support and uh, we keep trying to push to make the world a bit better a bit at a time hopefully things will get better so we just want you guys to keep keep going all right don't give up that's the key yeah we the we world's heard, better with you in it yes yeah, it is. yeah absolutely uh, we heard a lot of um you got us through a hard time and we've heard that throughout the the meetups, always yeah right mm-hmm. and uh, and I, my response to that and i know your guys is is too is you helped us a hard time mm-hmm. like it's reciprocal we helped each other the covid was fucked absolutely fucked and I, I, i'll never forget you know jeremy and i talked about like right when the 
when they closed everything down, when the NBA canceled, Jeremy and I were like, oh, shit. Because, mm-hmm. like, we knew right then this thing's not stopping in two weeks. Yep. Um, I know. They started up the WNBA. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, uh, WNBA was the only WNBA uh, when they shut down uh, all of the, uh, you know, uh, stadiums and everything. They're the actual only sports league that actually saw an increase in attendance. <laughs> so, I, great job, women. Great job. Uh, so that, but that's the that's just an outlier. Uh, but obviously, it destroyed. Yeah, everybody. yeah. The, when that happened, I don't know though, if you that remember, like, Jeremy. What we talked about is like you know we're going to need laughs. Everybody's going to need laughs, and I don't know how much how many laughs are going to be provided, right? Because uh, this is going to be crazy. This is like people are not used to being confined. Uh, They're going to be losing. You know, we didn't know how bad it would be. Like, I would never say that. I never thought my wife would lose her business. And uh, we talked to people who lost their jobs and it took them, you know, a year to get back. It, you know, people getting sober now and people are getting healthy and it's good. I think it's really inspiring. You know, we got ass going to the gym all the time. Uh, it, it was it was just something I just like, hey, I, I need, I'm going to need to laugh. And I know Jeremy is going to need to laugh. We're gonna, you know, and so I, we made we made this conscious decision. Of, well, I said, well, I'm going to fucking stream all the time because I'm going to have nothing better to do, obviously. So and I thought yeah, he goes to the gym still enough to watch your shitty shows. You keep oh. signing everyone. <laughs> <laughs> True checks out like i'm not going to deny that but no it was, it was uh it, yeah i never thought it would turn out like this but the hearing from people hearing what a hard time you had and how you got through it and if we helped in any way just help you laugh for a second that's great but like again you helped us like just as much if not more just by you know, and each other you know uh, part half the, the fun of a meetup is is not you know meeting oh maybe meeting drinkers cool or disbrew <laughs> definitely not me uh but it's well, like you guys talking to each other and getting to know each other and that was pretty fucking rad so thank you very much we can't thank you enough super humbling and uh that's why you had so many people have as is back because as is real you know as is jeremy's real they, they know it's real it's authentic this isn't some fucking act we're just a bunch of idiots in yes. our room doing this show and we are truly idiots like there, there's no <laughs> doubt um, having met them, we're just, just, we just madmen with boxes. Yes, <laughs> Dispro's legs are real. Yes, <laughs> although there's a weird rumor going around that I'm short. I'm like, I still don't get that. But apparently, at least comic division is, division is still smaller than me. So that's something. <laughs> oh. He's smaller than Fuck everybody. you too, buddy. <laughs> Fuck you too. <laughs> Pretty low bar. Hey, X-ray girl, you want to pull a picture of his armor? It's real cute. Uh. Pull up a picture of his armor. Yeah, cover the big armor. Yeah, it's really cute. Got some, somebody, <laughs> got some special comic <laughs> armor. Yeah, we found you, man. Yeah. Hey, you know, I don't know why Christians come on FNT at all. It's, uh, yeah. it's yeah, weird, you spend any right? Time and here. Mormons uh, and Christians. It's just like so weird. We should just, you know, let you, uh, you know, burn in hell and just. All you know, I'm seeing is spinning. Are you guys seeing it up? Our internet kind of sucks. So. Yeah, it's. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he looks like Lord Farquaad from. It Shrek. does. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to <laughs> the Just remember the picture. We saw it in person. Uh, <laughs> Oh, exactly. I, I know drunk three PS out there. I'm sorry. It's like you're not sorry, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Stop lying. Just ah. fucking own it. <laughs> we can't see it. He's wearing it. Down now. He's wearing it. Oh, wait, we, we saw it. It's good. <laughs> yeah, we saw it. <laughs> We're, we're seeing it. I'm seeing a spinning circle, but you guys saw it, so that's yeah, all. Yeah, I saw it. There, there was we we found comics division. I'm glad. Armor. I'm glad everyone noticed Garrett's face in the crotch. Good, good. That, shit, was, that, that was <laughs> perfect timing. Was so funny. I was dying when I saw that. <laughs> I didn't know I did that, uh, but it worked out great. I'm sure the Legion, Legion of Memers will do nothing with that at all, though. <laughs> Not the slightest. <laughs> hey, Ryan, since you're back, oh, oh, Odin's here. Yeah. The Christians here. We better not talk about things because Christians here. No cursing. No naughty language. Oh fuck off! Yeah, I, I really, I really think that every denomination of any religion ever should just stay to themselves. Never interact with anyone. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Muslims just talk to right, Muslims. Guys, Jews just talk to Jews. 
Catholics, hey, Catholics, Methodist, Methodist, Baptist, Baptist. You know, that's the way it's meant to be, I think. <laughs> lefties, lefties. According to some. Well, I mean, uh, uh, you know, the dogma of uh, progressive wacky leftism would just cancel all religion. They just don't. They don't. Think yeah. well, I, I, I would say it all so, out. Science okay. is settled. Didn't well, you know? Well, they are. It's, it's I'm just personally. Religion, bro. Why are you so worked up, bro? You fucking mad, bro? Just Come on, bro. Just I, bro. Come on, bro. I am personally of the mindset that these fucking clowns that uh, don't have any interaction whatsoever and constantly talk about us, we should just stop talking about them because they are fucking irrelevant. But with that said, um, the, <laughs> right, right. the the, the right, idea right. calm down. The, the, right. the idea the idea that uh, the question of why would so you're if you're saying why would Christians come on Friday night tights, you're implying that there's different opinions on Friday night tights, and we allow. Di- Different people with different no. opinions to come mm. on. Uh oh, wouldn't that so weird? Wow. Uh oh. Hmm. So yeah, thank but you, my, my but, but we're also an echo chamber. We're also an echo auntie chamber. You wouldn't watch this. Oh yeah. yeah. Would Jesus put pineapple on pizza? Oh no, never. Oh, that no. is heresy. It is heresy. Uh, yes, he would because the pineapple pizza is a creation of God. Okay. <laughs> so it's, to, it's to deny God. Right, and I would so. also so can, can, can not, no. yes, and like I would lower yeah, so is Vegemite, but I mean, come on, how far are we gonna go with this? <laughs> I also would like to know which of the people on FNT are and aren't Christians, since you, these people know everything. Because uh, I don't think I've ever even talked about my religion whatsoever. Um, but hey, thanks for playing. I guess. Yeah. Um, why would they bring people on with different opinions? I'm making a rosary right now, echo just just for him, just for him. Yeah, well, I, I mean, people like well, Odin and Melon are obviously very open with their faith. Not not everybody on here necessarily is, but mm-hmm. uh, hey, those yeah. guys know everything. Well, and the, I, I know one also, thing that the dude with the pronouns in the bios and shit like that. It, I mean, that dude definitely would have burned Sodom and Gomorrah. I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, the other thing too, it's funny because we actually have a Catholic priest that likes watching our show. So, uh, yeah, who that is sends true. me. We need all the prayers we can get. Yeah. And he sends the most savage means. Oh, he does. DM. <laughs> Such a good dude. He's freaking great. He's, he's the chaplain <laughs> of the channel. He is. <laughs> dude, I believe in Atlanta, so I, I don't give a fuck. You guys believe what you want. I don't care. I'm right, though. Um, <laughs> and so is Graham Hancock. Uh, hey, Gary, I think we found your suit of armor. That God piece, man. Yeah. <laughs> you got testicular cancer, Gary. Yeah, yeah, it looks, yeah. it looks very painful. There's something yeah. wrong. <laughs> Screaming at Chaco. Listen, we found Gary's arm. It's all today. about the girth, all right? Yeah. That's all we're talking about here. It's not really about the Don't care about that, mate. I really <laughs> the things we find at the Tower of London, it was it was Gary's armor. What can we say? Yeah, that was that was mine. Thanks. That's not girth, that's an infection. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Reminds me of Randy Marsh, Buffalo Soldier. Uh, oh oh goodness. goodness! What even is that? What? Oh my god! Why? That's why I want to know why. He's milking him for content, maybe. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think it was for a previous comment. <laughs> Okay, with that. I stole the stuff, my stuff from your video. I know. <laughs> so, <laughs> literally, like, I wake up and I, I was like, he's like, hey, are you awake? And then uh, hours later, I'm like, hey, I'm up. He says, hey, I stole, I stole uh, some of your video from my video. I'm like, you mean the video I stole from you? <laughs> <laughs> what makes this meme is the expression on Az's face. Uh, I think the term we came up with before the stream was Griffception. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. yeah that's, that's right. right. You put Don Bosk in that, and uh, it, yeah. Don Bosk. Don I, 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 I'm, I'm gonna be so mad when he gets that money. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah let's let's let, let, yeah, let's not let Dan off the hook here. He's the one that started all this shit just so he could get monetized on Twitter. <laughs> I <just> <laughs> <have> <laughs> this me, my thought was. Might hey, bring you some heat, and it's just a soldier dropping a fucking hey, Dan, live Dan Boss. Uh The funny thing is, it probably would have done much better on YouTube. You got what, 15 million views? Yeah. On uh, Twitter, you get about a thousand bucks. So, uh, I mean, that's a, that's a millionaire in Brazil. Let's be real. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna be living high on the hog. Yeah, just keep the money in the bank. But don't put any of that in your pocket to go. You know, get, pay your sister's ransom. Congrats on getting uh, out of the thing. <laughs> yeah, don't get mugged. Uh, yeah. So when you float on trash down the river to go pay your sister's ransom. <laughs> 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 oh man i love brazil my bring Hello, you brazil. Uh, ryan Hola. did you pull up that video we discussed earlier 
Mr. Um, Mickelson. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Mickelson. I find that I got shit. It. Not Nicholson, Mickelson. Oh, the madman. It's, it's, it's in the private chat. The madman, Maz Mickelson, huh? I got it. You got you pull the video because X-ray girl does it. We won't be able to see it. I, I think it's better. At, <laughs> I, I don't want to play this one, Garrett, because this is it's not actually the whole is thing in context. Okay. It's also a the terrible contact. freeze on his face. It is. Um, here we'll do this yeah, one. Put that on Twitter. <laughs> this is about a two-minute clip. Now, Mads Mickelson and Nikolai Arcel. I, I don't know if it's Arcel or Arkel. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but um, he's he's done a lot of shit. He's even worked with Mads before, but. <laughs> they have a new movie that just is coming out at Venice Film Festival. Matt that is Nicholson Ryan. I, I don't. I, I am not fucking Dutch or whatever, so <laughs> I, I don't know exactly Danish. how to say these. Things. Danish. Whatever What's the, the fuck it is. I'm not talking about breakfast ads. I know you're fucking hungry because you've been dieting and shit. Calm the fuck down. Um, but. This, this, <laughs> they're coming out with a new movie called The Promised Land, which is a Danish story set in the 1750s. And they get a question about the cast being predominantly fucking white. And Mads has a great reaction to this. Hello. Uh, I'm yeah, see it. Oh, they'll be able to see it. We can't for some reason. Okay. Yeah, we can see it. Yeah, we can see it. Low, see it. quiet. Don't fucking say anything because it's just the audio is just low. Yeah, it's a pleasure to be here. So you're a little bit into it. Uh, this is a cast and Danish production, which is entirely Nordic. It uh, therefore has some lack of diversity. You can say has also. So he says the entire cast is Nordic, so there's a little lack of diversity. <laughs> and watch Mad's response. You rules are implied what? in Hollywood. Are you on to? <laughs> yeah, sorry, but from the get go, uh, from the get go, there is set some rules of diversity in across the Atlantic uh, for competing in the best uh. picture, the equivalent to this competition. Uh. As I see, you don't live up to these standards with this broad cast um, and there is just a uh, curious it's not because of artistic reasons it's because of lack of diversity that this can't compete in that competition it's, are you worried about that? are you <gasps> oh great response that is isn't it so yes yeah. we're, 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 we're aware it. of the fan is destroying the sound so. <laughs> hey so if if you're having trouble hearing it basically we this are reporter, muted it is not the it fan was not us it is not Suck us that. it was oh, definitely man. the fan yeah. <laughs> yeah. black then uh, no, i'm muted too oh, um, but, yeah, but anyway it's not you garrett so right, let ryan explain it yeah what what this reporter's asking is saying hey oh, with all the rules in hollywood nice. you know if you don't have a certain if oh, you don't have a certain amount of diversity, good. you're not able. What the fuck is going on back here? <laughs> gay. Ryan, go on. Lots, lots and lots of gay stuff. That's Ryan, 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 go on. I'm going to mute us. All right, perfect. So what he's saying is, hey, with all these new rules in Hollywood, this doesn't meet the diversity quota. Not because it's not a good movie, but it can't be eligible for like Hollywood or American awards because of the diversity requirements. Does that bother you guys at all? Are you worried about that? Did you think about that? And Mads basically, basically says, does it bother you? Do you have a problem with that? <laughs> I'm, I'm, on, I'm, I'm sure uh, honest because I, I'm, you're, I'm, you're, I'm, you're putting I'm, us on the spot. So, so yeah, you sure, answer the uh, question. No, because I have in comparison, Parasite, which is great. What, what do you think? But I was thinking that Parasite was a great movie coming from South Korea, had the same level of diversity. But coming from South Korea, this was actually still eligible for the competition. You as a Danish movie with an all Nordic cast is not. And that's what I think is a little bit conundrum. I, I don't understand the question. Okay. Well, first of all, the, the film <laughs> takes place in Denmark in the 1750s. Yeah. We <laughs> 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 like the film so takes good. place in Denmark in the 1750s. You really don't need another answer, do you? No, you really yeah. don't. Not the tone right there. You're retarded. You, are you retarded? It's this is obviously not going to be. It's 1700s. What do you expect? Oh my god, that's oh. funny. And, right. and he he would go on to explain there is like one character they have in the story that's a person of color that at that time was probably the only person of color in fucking Denmark, right? But it's a historical piece. And I love that Mads immediately clearly got upset about even the idea of him asking that fucking question. But it just shows how ridiculous things are. And it's true. The fact that Parasite, which is just all what Korean, like there's no diversity in that movie. It's just Korean people. That's eligible under those new awards because... To them, that means you are including a minority story. 
but something like not, this, would, which is funny. That's actually kind of really interesting because it, it actually that literally explains something that we've been saying a lot of time. Like their version of diversity means no white people. That's yes, exactly. That's, yeah. that's <laughs> yes. confirmation. If, if Parasite is considered diverse, which is mostly Korean, and this film is not, which is mostly white people, that's literally what that means. They said the same thing about Black Panther too. Oh, it's so diverse. It's like when you're, you have a very homogenous group of people in a film, it's not diversity. Martin Freeman's in the movie. I say Bilbo was in the movie? About, come on, oh. man. That's diversity. Yeah, it, what, what it's gonna do, well, that's why they had to change the language to underrepresented groups, which is a nebulous fucking thing yes, because it, it was not white. They couldn't come out and say, well, we just want to make shit less white. Uh, the problem yeah. is uh, Oppenheimer's out, and it has to be up for best picture. And as far as the cast is concerned, it does not fall under Remy Malik. Remy Malik, baby, he's Egyptian. He's Egyptian, <laughs> but he's not 30%. Uh, yeah. so it, what it, but it can be an and or, and that's why they changed it. That's why they dialed it back for best picture, but it's still ap ap or applicable for other movies. I think it's the other way around. They're, they're I said it could be in gay movie, too, right? Because they're going to find out that it's actually discriminatory and they actually mm -hmm. could go to court over it. And I'm, I'm confused if it's underrepresented groups. I didn't know Koreans were underrepresented in Korea. Exactly. <laughs> right. Um, you didn't know that? And, and I do think the entire point of the questioner, who was Dutch, was like trying to point out the hypocrisy and how ridiculous yeah. it was. No, I, yeah. I, I think what I was kind of getting is just wasn't a fuck. Good. I, I, I still think he was question. presenting it as like a moral imperative. He's like, well, he doesn't have diversity. And they're like, and? He's like, yeah, but diversity. It was like, you have to do this. Everybody does this. How dare you? He was, I think it was two seconds away from going, how dare you do this? Um, bro, bro, just put them in, bro. What's wrong, and, and, bro? You mad, bro? Why, why yeah. are you making a big deal of it, bro? Just do it, bro. bro. Just comply, that, bro. That's why, I didn't, that's why I didn't like his response of, well, it's the 1750s, because it implies if it was now, he would have to do that. And yeah. so I'd rather they actually stand against it and go, no, we don't have to do this. There's no need to do this. But if you play it back and you're like, well, why? Why do we have to do this? What is your reasoning for it? He can only ever bring it down to race and then he loses. So that's why he's hinting. And every time they confronted him, he hinted a bit more. It's like, well, but the, the thing, you have to do the thing because he didn't really have any reason for it himself. And he couldn't say it if he did. So I, you have to I've got an idea. All right, check this out. We got a movie set in London, all white people. And it's the, the biggest minority here. Perfect. Well, hey, uh, they can't I, complain. Picture. I went to the Tower of London. I haven't seen any. No, I went I to the Tower. Of, I went to the Tower of London. I learned from Shad, Shad that uh, Amblan uh, is black. Uh, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> According, yeah. Slander Henry the uh, What's wrong, bro? What's wrong, bro? Just shit. What, what, what's a good problem with it, bro? It's just it's history, bro. Just take it, bro. Just take just it, bro. Why are you so mad, bro? You fucking just growing, bro. You mad child, bro? Bro, just fucking take it, bro. We're just gonna put you in re-education camps, bro. You know, hey, come yeah. on. Nothing big. Lie, bro. 1984. The, the best thing to do is if you're a film uh, film director is to not adhere to these rules and you create the best picture that you possibly can and then you make a, a mockery and humiliate the Oscars. And that is the only way that they'll change stuff like that is, is some, because they have no humility whatsoever, is to humiliate them. So the best films, potentially the best films, uh, don't even get a mention and when that's going to happen and if that starts to happen with regularity people are going to go why aren't these films being recognized and the oscar committee has to turn around and say because we're fucking racist racist yep. yes <clears throat> i i still don't see i don't think oppenheimer wins it would probably get a nomination they're not going to give it to oppenheimer i'm i'm saying it right what now they're going to give it to don't barbie. be surprised if barbie oh, right. makes a run i'm just saying bar. Yeah, I, mean, well, I wouldn't be surprised. It's got the female director. <laughs> it's got the box. It's got all the things wait, that they tick off wait, all their boxes. Wait, you, you guys are being serious? No, I'm calling it right wait, now. Barbie yeah. wins best yeah. picture. I agree. No, no I, I agree. I think agree. you're right. Sure. I was talking about rules. that a month ago. <laughs> I, I I don't know about that, but I just don't think Oppenheimer will get it. They they go out of their way to not give. They're not. They Nolan goes against all of their shit in terms. He doesn't actively go against anything. I don't think Nolan's sitting there going, "I'm watching Friday Night Tights." You're fucking based. He doesn't give a shit about it. all he, he cares should. about is the art of like, what he's <laughs> fucking doing. And he doesn't do all the diversity bullshit and all of that. Go back to Dunkirk and how they were bitching about that. Uh, you know, and they're not, but if they give it to Oppenheimer, that actively destroys their narrative that diversity is our strength and it's important. And we, you know, we have to recognize 
uh, films that have, uh, you know, 75% black people or whatever. Oscar, so why? Yeah, I, 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 was, I was disappointed at the lack of trans representation in Dunkirk. <laughs> we know you were. We know you were. They should be well, on the front lines. Is it is it the characters represented or is it the actors that have to fit it? Because you could argue that probably a third at least of that cast is probably you're gay. A, you're asking way too many in-depth questions now. Like, they <laughs> actually saying. have an answer for that. <laughs> that might be how they get around it. Well, a third of our cast is gay, so yeah. hey, we're good. I know. I don't know. I, having been a awesome gay, gay people, I know. in <laughs> California, I remember there was a time like it would like, I would get the shit suit out of me if I asked somebody if they were fucking gay or not during an interview. Yeah. But now now it's totally okay. And 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 that should never be okay. That shouldn't be a factor in anybody's fucking interview at all ever. This is how crazy this is. But again, well, it's just movies, bro. It's just everything you love, bro. It's just comics, bro. It's just the education system bro it's just, it's just our just government bro it's just, it's just a space just wizard everything. movie bro it's just your yeah. kids bro come on bro yeah <laughs> just comply bro just comply bro and the point with all the that changes tell you what to do you don't have to think energy. about it it takes energy to change something and so it must matter to you otherwise you'd leave it how it was yeah. like nobody does anything without a reason because it requires effort and people are lazy <laughs> that's yep. the one thing you can rely True. on yep that's right. Hey, let's read some super chats. You guys really think Barbie's gonna win best fucking? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Without, without, oh, it's, it's, all this, uh, it will get the most nominations, if anything else. It, it plays into effort. Are Where's you willing my, to bet on that? Boy Gore, he'll back me up on this. <laughs> it's got all the buzz. I just didn't. I, I just didn't yeah. think it would be on the radar of it. I mean, I just. I do. Well, it's got the proper representation, role. Jeremy. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Greta Gerwig is a darling got, of Hollywood. All the fucking check boxes checked. Yeah. Female. What? And this is the most prominent female directed film ever made and all that so they can tie it to that mm -hmm. bullshit and all yep. that so okay it's got the narrative that's sure. the only reason why is because it's got the narrative uh, going but, and let's remind them not adjusted for inflation okay yes Everybody's exactly it's, but it's not adjusted Always. for inflation okay Always. and we've got these massively uh inflated movie ticket prices mm -hmm. uh that aren't, aren't even close to uh, but the ticket sales are still down hey. way down Let's just point out Oppenheimer is pushing nine hundred million. Yeah, if it makes a billion, that that's phenomenal. That's brilliant. It's, it's already phenomenal. I mean, I, I, yeah. the fact that it's at nine hundred, the fact that it's the third biggest film of the year, is stupid. Yeah. A rated R biopic, three hour drama, full dialogue. <laughs> it's, it, I it is, it is phenomenal. That film you should is have bet me. Yeah. Oppenheimer is phenomenal. I did. Yeah. Barbie was going to beat Super Mario, and then you'd have to eat an entire pineapple pizza. Dude, slowly. Barbie has a chance of it. passing up uh, Top Gun Maverick from last year. I, oh, I mean, yeah. I totally like Barbie. Barbie, Barbie, and Oppenheimer both. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Barbie, Barbie, and I, Oppenheimer both got an initial bump from from the memes. No doubt about that. I mean, I, I, the inflation I, is bad this but, year. So, it's but so after bad. after after the opening weekend or two, word of mouth for those films has just been phenomenal. Um, mm -hmm. It really has. Uh, see, if Odin would have lost that bet, he would have had to eat the pineapple pizza slow. I would have had to fly. Flow to, music. to Hawaii, okay, to and then Hawaii. get a pizza there. <laughs> Take the actual pineapple that will go on no, pizza. Gotta, gotta I would have to get the pineapple myself, it. slice it, and put it on pizza, the uh, a Hawaiian pizza. Now is a burnt pizza, so yeah. <laughs> By the way, can I can I can I make a point? Wawa pizza just had Wawa pizza for the first time ever last week. Wawa food, holy fuck! Dude, Wawa's what is this, this? Jam. bro. Wawa, Wawa pizza with the garlic crust. Mm. is banging probably better than any uh national chain pizza or you know like domino's papa john's all that wait something beat domino's and papa john's well, i'm just saying <laughs> well, i'm just saying well, how is that possible lessons. i'm just saying the national chains that you'd standard like, round table's better wawa wawa pizza garlic crust incredible wow and I I, I, it, it makes no sense that wawa has such good food it really doesn't but it does uh oh, oh boy let's see if i can pull up another window and i don't think they have pineapple on pizza because they're based as fuck they <laughs> whatever i went to an italian pizza like an italian restaurant and got a hawaiian pizza yesterday you also brush your teeth because you were around men okay <laughs> <laughs> so many questions <laughs> how, how was your london tacos <laughs> you, london, you mean you mean my fish and chips <laughs> in, in oh a yeah. yeah yeah now did yeah. they catch it from the thames <laughs> the, 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 <laughs> he did have five guys before I had some <laughs> <laughs> he did have some five guys huh <laughs> 
the whole thing. <laughs> I did. Uh, no, it was, the, 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 so the British taco was like the same fish you get in fish and chips in a tor- in a tortilla. <laughs> it's so bad. It's like calling it a tortilla is kind of an insult to tortillas. I was gonna say it's very kind pale. of a crime. <laughs> All right, uh, Sir Clive, calculator for uh, ninety nine ninety nine. That's this is uh, British pounds, proper money. By the way, nine nine. Oh, this is for you, X Ray girl. Thank you, X-Ray Girl, for making sure I was feeling okay the other day. Wonderful lady. She is a wonderful. Yeah, she is. Even when she's lying drunk. Was that the guy who, oh, (laughs) hey, hey, Sir Clive, I'm glad you're okay. He he passed out uh, in line. Was it because of heat or was it because of booze? He was drunk. Maybe both. A little bit of both? Or a little bit of both, maybe? Hey, either way, I'm glad you're okay. Uh, And uh, you made it home safe. And yes, X-Ray Girl did. Take care of you, Mark. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Smooth DJ has gifted 12 neurotic memberships for $60. Hell. <laughs> well, it's not like he's going to chase me down or anything. So. <laughs> <laughs> like crawl after you bite your ankles. Sing. Uh, Ryan, uh, proper Ryan. This isn't, uh, you know, um. the racist DEI Ryan. Um, <laughs> uh, for 100 British pounds. As this outburst is not about Starfield, it resulted from a decade of creators uh, crowbarring uh, their social. Okay, I got it. I can read uh, crowbarring <laughs> their socio-political ideology into entertainment. As simply experienced his breaking point. By the way, this added pronoun feature was not to exchange gameplay or attract market share. It was there to make you comply and exactly yes, just a little thing bro it's just a little mask it's just two weeks just comply yeah. bro it's fine it's just comply. Fine. Even though do what some, you're told obey somebody created a uh female character with or with a male walk and they them pronouns and got mad because all through the game she they kept getting referred to as she <clears throat> She. So, so by putting they them, it didn't even fucking work anyway. What, th- yeah, th- there was also that one character. Character I, I screen capped it. I didn't tweet it out though. That was a straight up fucking dude, like a dude, and all of a sudden starts talking with a woman's voice. I'm like, what the fuck, you know? And it's that more of that gender amb- ambiguity, and it's trying to force it on you, and it's about compliance. This isn't about anything else. It's about forcing behavior. That's Great jumpsuits right. and shaved heads. That's the future. Just for, I know it's a video game, but just from a logical point of view, right? You, I want I, I, I'm a female character, and I want to identify with he, him pronouns. Okay, only your character fucking knows that. When you go and meet some fucking stranger in space, and they see you, they see a fucking chick. Mm-hmm. So and they'll the thing- call you she. They won't call you he. Do what? Do they fucking magically know what you fucking wanted to be identified as? They should ask. That is what the they should. That's what they want. In Harry Potter yeah. as well, with the bar mage had a different voice, um, and people actually people actually <laughs> mocked it to have the like the voice that how the actual model looks. And Nexus mod started banning it. Yeah, so if yeah. it's only a small thing, how come it has such a harsh reaction? Exactly. The moment if, it's if this isn't about being forced on people. Why would Nexus mods ban people for modding out the pronoun, the, the you know preferred pronouns from Starfield? Yeah, but it's not being forced on us. Of course. No, just comply. And listen, we we all know the truth. A lot of people. I mean, yes, there's some brainwashed idiots who actually believe this, but uh, a lot of the normies uh, just comply to get by. But then they feel shame, and when they see other people not complying, they project their shame on you. Yep. For, for standing mm-hmm. up because they were cowards and they couldn't stand up for whatever reason. Uh, and, and this, you know, goes way beyond COVID. I mean, saving oh. your job, one that's one thing. But we're talking about language in a video game. It's just a video game has people. Uh, that sounds like you just described out. manipulation, Gary. Yes, yeah. it's, it's disingenuous. It's manipulation. It's propaganda. That's what it is. Uh, and I'm glad more people are waking up to it. And as mm-hmm. uh, and this this little brouhaha woke a lot of people yeah, up to like it. as yeah. props mm-hmm. to you for being the tip of the spear in this one. Yeah, yeah. You, know, you might not have intended it to go as viral as it did, but it it has. 
You've handled it like an absolute champ. I might even say the silverback. In this <laughs> <end>. <laughs> this oh, yeah, yeah. This is a great Here, one. This is a great one. Oh. He's like, I'm safe. Everyone's going to be mad at him. <laughs> and you know what? Yeah, this, again, this isn't like being forced to take a jab to keep your job. This is yeah. just simply going, no, two plus two doesn't need equal five. Uh, like Shad said, keep your fucking pronouns, but start, you start telling me what to say or what to do. Fuck off. So hey, I want to say something about this video I have real Black quick. Rock up. This black came out a couple years ago, black and this is the quote. ultimate goal of what they want to do. They want you yes. to force to comply, force mm -hmm. compliance. Coming from Larry Fink, the guy who runs BlackRock, and he's agreeing with the guy. I think he runs was it Mastercard, Citibank. Uh, I'll, I'll remember. It. He, they might mention the video. There's actually a longer version of it. I suggest you watch the entire thing. But this is the ultimate goal, and he lays it all out. You you now make a point. This is the unelected president of the United States, by the way, yep. the CEO of BlackRock. Yep. Change. This is what is a point. You you now make a point of that's that's an investment criteria. I can mute us, but it's not us. Well, behaviors are going to have to change, and this is one thing we're going we're asking companies. Uh, you have to force behaviors, and at BlackRock we are forcing behaviors. Oof. Fifty-four percent of the incoming class are women. We we added four more points in terms of diverse uh, employment this year. And it worked if it, it's, you know, what we're doing internally is if you don't achieve these levels of impact, it, your compensation could be impacted. Okay. We're doing the same. Thing. And so it's just, it, you have to force behaviors. And if you don't force behaviors, whether it's gender or race or just any way you want to say the composition of your team, you're going to be impacted. And that's not just not recruiting it is development as ken said and ultimately it's still going to take time but i am just as much shocked as ken is that we have not seen more opportunities and we're going to have to force change so it starts in business and what they do is obviously it's going to get rolled out to everybody else because that's the big issue right is that ESG started with business, but it gets rolled down to the household through your credit it, score, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. It's Jeremy. He's oh, muted. No, I, I, every time as mutes is when I don't hear it. No, but, no, as muted during no, that, I'm still yeah, going on. Everybody. I, my my I guess is it's... that it's something with you guys set up probably. Like some weird oh, are you muting all the microphones or are you just muting? Yeah, I went through each senior. person. And okay. It's, there's something else going on. It's fucking British internet. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy internet we're on. Now, yeah. That clip, seriously, is insane. I like mm -hmm. forced behavior from uh, this is a group of shadow elite, unelected, unelected. people that are purposely mm -hmm. trying to engineer society according to the how they see fit. That is a super villain yeah, it, 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 on top of that they, they want to have influence villain. on policy they, they want to have these people involved in the un and be able to influence laws that's the scary part and these people are not elected and that's what's so dangerous about it this is the same kind of people like the wef where yes they just i think it was like three months ago one of their bioengineers was talking about the world needs to eat less meat Yes. And that, yeah. oh man but there are going to be so many people that don't want to eat it because it's so good i'm one of those people but then goes on to say that they could take ticks and like have bioengineer them so that when they bite humans, they don't want, they get allergic to eating meat. And guess what the CDC just came out with like three days ago. There's an uptick, pun unintended, with ticks biting humans and they're becoming allergic to eating meat. That is ridiculous. Three months later. This is James Bond villain plot yeah. stuff. Seriously. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, he's, that, yeah that, well, he's, he's a fucking Nazi. He's, he's, so yes, that does fucking add up, you know? Like no one that's elected should have this power. That no, they shouldn't. Limits in place. And if you ask people what they want in the streets, they'll say, stay out of my business. So mm -hmm. it doesn't matter whether they're elected or not. They're, they, it, this shouldn't be happening in the first place. Yeah. Looking, this, looking this, for an article, Adam, yeah. on, that, on the tick, mm -hmm. this is an article I found from Canada. Warming planet fueling the growth of tick populations in the U.S. <laughs> During <course>. summer, because <laughs> sure, there's more okay, how this. fucking convenient, right? Yep. How there's more ticks and fleas and mosquitoes during summer and warmer months? Crazy. <laughs> Two mm. years. Mm. Climate. Yeah. Fucking a man. It, it's. Gosh. 
You know what? Uh, conspiracy theorists are the ones who came out looking the best after the last couple of years. Uh, uh, two people who are, I mean, were considered pretty fucking crazy. David Icke and Alex Jones. A lot of people listen to him. David Icke, believe it or not, that guy sold out like Wembley. Wembley fucking stadium. To, Let's be, to have a talk. Let's, let's be so, real. The only real conspiracy theorists out there are fucking mainstream media. That's yep, the only real yeah. conspiracy <laughs> theorists. Yep. yep. Sadly. Those to preach uh, the loudest have the most to hide. The curmudgeonist, which is a damn good name, by the way. Mm-hmm. That's a proper name for fifty dollars. Hit the yellow button, Chad. You can do that. Oh, for hit me. it. Yeah. Thank you. It's amazing, Gary. Cheers. Doesn't it feel good? It feels good to do that. You're like, oh, wow. I need they to love us. I might need a cold shower. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna need a cold shower. Yeah, I just need a shower. Period. I'm just getting a Did long I shower. <laughs> I'm gonna. I need a Karen Silkwood shower after this. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> You're gonna get run off the road. Uh, the only thing Jimmy Kimmel should be allowed to host is our parasites. Ah, that's good. Hey, I like that. Put them. Um, didn't uh, Jimmy Fallon, one of the Jimmys, uh, get called out by his writing staff and then immediately apologize like a little? So they must, uh, he's a little bitch, but they must have been pretty close to the target at that point. Well, right? this was a big expose by Rolling Stone. Yeah. That that included 14 former employees and two current employees. When was so that? not even necessarily writers, not, not even necessarily current writers. But yeah, they came out with a big laundry list of shit. Oh, he's abusive. Oh, he's a drama queen. Oh, he yelled at me. A toxic work environment. He came there drunk in 2017. And I smelled alcohol in his breath in 2020. Yeah, I, like, listen, I'm not a fan of Jimmy Kimmel. I could certainly see all the stuff in that article being Fallon? completely totally true. Or yeah, sorry, Jimmy Fallon. Fallon. Yeah. Um, I'm not a fan of Jimmy Fallon he's or Danish. Jimmy Kimmel. But yeah. uh, I hate Jimmy <laughs> Kimmel, I just really don't care about Jimmy Fallon. Um, <laughs> he's Dutch. But I think that there's just as equal of a chance that every single one of these pussies in that interview is just a big fucking bitch. Yes. Like, to yes. be honest with you, like, just absolute fucking piece of shit that's never been told no in their lives. Oh, my God, I have a boss that's demanding of me. So I both of them can fuck off. Did that's he, all I feel he, about. Uh, it. Did he not yeah. comply hard enough? What was his, you know, what was his sin? I, I don't know. Was it, was it that they, getting, was it that they eat their, their own? own? Was it that getting, one? Probably getting upset at people who didn't do their fucking job because you are supposed to be on a talk show. You're supposed to be kind of the best of the best as a writer, especially when you have 25 fucking writers writing for this clown and you can't even like show up to work or something. You probably got They probably got yelled at. Yelling is so bad, right, Jeremy? It's so terrible. Oh, yeah, no. I mean, this shit pisses me off. But, like, I have no sympathy for Jimmy Fallon because he is a complete controlled piece of shit. Um, But I also have no sympathy for the people crying about being yelled at. Um, You all deserve each other. Uh, I have no sympathy for these people. But Jimmy Fallon getting eaten alive by the the propaganda that he's been spewing. So (laughs) they they, they deserve each other. They deserve each other. But no sympathy for these clowns crying. No, not in the slightest. I just, I just what saw they, somebody call as a red coat in chat, and it just made me laugh because it's yes. like, bro, we, we, that's an insult that has lasted for centuries. Like you're <laughs> centuries old with that one. Holy fuck! Yep. Wait, somebody yeah. put yeah. it. It was kind of am, so you're technically it's right as well. Yeah. Yeah. British? Yeah. So, so that, that wouldn't that be a compliment? Oh, right. Right. Yeah. Right. Huh? So somebody pointed out that dropping of that article was rather convenient with the news coming out of Disney. So I don't know if it was conveniently timed. Oh, you know, yeah. Or, well, Rolling, you know, Rolling Stone put out a music video with Sydney Sweeney. That Maybe that's why. I, I just think it's an article they've been working on for some time mm-hmm. and they fucking dropped it. I have to wonder what it's going to do for, you know, because Jimmy Fallon has literally nothing to do with Disney. Um, and obviously this article is in the work for a long time. I do wonder what will happen with Strike Force 5. If they're going to discuss it on their cringe fucking late night podcast, is that something we can do? Like, that's right. Can we do a live reaction to that? Like, is there going to be like an uploaded version of that? There's no video, it's audio only on Spotify. Uh So, I did it. I did a reaction with Chrissy the other day. It's very boring. 
Yeah, so I wouldn't recommend. It would be really fucking boring, or I would have pulled clips for this show. Yeah, but those, they, they say nothing. Those they, guys rely on their writers to be funny. Yeah, and they're not talented. Writers, yeah, their writers aren't that great either. They're good at delivering a script on air, but left to their Dude, own they're devices. They're in our world. Yeah, we have yeah. the five quote unquote top talk show hosts in the fucking uh, in the country. I won't say on the planet, but in the country, except for Greg Gutfeld, right? On a podcast together, that sounded like a bunch of fucking rookies in a Zoom call. <laughs> <laughs> they, they came into our world and they sucked. Yes, they that just shows sucked. you, man. These guys, these guys are not talented at all. They are completely controlled. The fact that they can't do their show because they don't have someone writing their material for them is so pathetic and hilarious. But yeah, like you could just like I, I don't what we do. I think it's easy to call it easy for us and even because we are just talking about the shit that we're into and we're hanging out with friends. That's always easy mm -hmm. when it's authentic. But when you're not authentic and like yes. you're trying to like these guys, like you can't force this shit and they are not. You can't entertain in this business if you are not authentic. You just YouTube is not going to be for you. Uh, panel shows like this are not going to be for you if you're a fake cringe person that has to have a team of writers and studio lights and production and all of that shit it won't last and that's what you're seeing with these Kimmels and Fallons and all these guys they are not talented and they are not authentic they are bought and paid for and mm. the, the reason that they say that the stuff they're saying is because whatever advertisers are putting the money into their shows are telling the writers what to write, and then the 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 monkey is just going to dance. That's all that happens. Put them on a panel show like this; they're so boring we couldn't even roast them. Gary, <laughs> Gary is doing everything he can to get to a million subs, and he couldn't even find roast worthy material to go after these clowns. That That's so how bad sad. it was. <laughs> They did this whole next week. There's always next week. They did this whole <laughs> that they put out, and it was obviously scripted because they were waiting each person to do their next thing. But with the Zoom delay, it was all, it was like one person says something, wait, one person says something, wait, and they could, didn't couldn't even be bothered to edit out the gaps when they released the video. <laughs> it was the laziest thing they could have done. Oh, Vaccine. Pfizer <laughs> force. <laughs> Pfizer Force, that's what they Ooh. fucking are. Uh, the Arc Spartan has gifted 10 neurotic memberships for $50. Hell! The members, thank you. Hey, I got a couple of member videos going up, including an Aussie coping over getting his ass kicked by emos. All right. This is not true. It was fucking okay. cope. No, the whole thing was cope. I was there. It was, I, I was there. It was absolutely cope. Cope delicious. No, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it was. It was cope. It was a discovery of British collaboration with the enemy. That's what it was, okay? <laughs> As thank you for your service. Coping. Thank thank you for the Brit Brit thank the British for joining with the emus. Well, yeah, I mean, we dumped on that fucking piece of shit, so yeah. You see, he outs himself as a traitorous bastard. Bastard. Wait, uh, a, a traitor to who? Well, Shad, he is a red coat. I'm, I'm part of the Commonwealth, as I thought we were allies. No, you Dude, were a criminal. That's no, like no, 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 you don't understand the Commonwealth. The Commonwealth is Great Britain and bitches. <laughs> <laughs> And that's why the U.S. is not a part of that. I'll give you that one. That was gold. Oh, dude, uh, Adam was pointing I, I out. I need some eyes for that. Bird. At the Tower of London, you guys are very proud of showing all the stuff you straight up fucking stole. You're like, we stole this in 1839 yeah. from these bitches. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. I like yeah, it. The British Museum Liberated. is basically one big trophy case. <laughs> basically, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, the thing is, if, if we gave them back to the countries we stole them from, they fucking they'll destroy them or sell them to a private fucking collector. We're actually no, doing the world a favor, mate. That one of those diamonds they had, they the, the British w took the time to show you, like we are like the eighth people who have stolen this diamond. Okay, <laughs> 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 and we didn't like keep it for ourselves. We gave it to the people. So uh, there, there's a whole video chronicling like who stole this fucking diamond before the British. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. It's so good. Uh, Vulgar Lou for 50 British pounds. Proper British money. Hey, Gary. Two cherries popped this week for a super chat. Now, oh, wait. 
No, nope. that's not it. I want a different soundboard. I'm traveling. Wait, we'll do it again. One makes sense. Pink one. Pink one. Uh, now, and first time meetup on Wednesday, my partner and I had a blast meeting all you friendly and welcoming, beautiful bigots. Uh, big love from the fellow Justice for All fan, Hail FNT. Nice. Thank you. Robert, it was a pleasure. Vulgar, I'm sorry, Vulgar, it was a pleasure. Robert McDonald uh, says something about Alzheimer's that's got to comply, apply to me because it's kicking in. For 100. Loved how the Asheimer rant broke their pronoun minds. Too bad he was wearing a G and G. Oh, he was wearing a G and G shirt shirt instead of an F and T shirt. I think that it was a it was universal. Kinda, right? Well, it, it, yeah, it was, was a Orlando. Yeah, it was the Orlando. So G G Nerdrotic. So, 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 yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm fine with that. Yeah. <laughs> but you fucking uh <laughs> I should have been wearing my, my merch. <laughs> yeah, you should have been repping your own fucking merch, idiot. But I mean in reality, you should have been wearing damn Vasque's merch according to Dan. <laughs> <laughs> I've been wearing Eric July's merch for like three weeks in a row on everything. So Dan's I'm, wearing my fucking wallet right now. That's <laughs> <laughs> Listen, the best thing was I knew exactly what you were doing when you put that clip of Dan singing in your in your video just you're like fuck y'all bitches that's my boy right there <laughs> <laughs> ladies exactly. look there's dad come, come on I knew exactly come, in, come, come on come on come on now come on come on that's it in we Go, come on, come on, on. seven-year-old Christian ladies. <laughs> I'm your man. <laughs> I don't discriminate. <laughs> well, <laughs> do apart, from, apart from Asian women who were in the new 50 as it's all good. Uh, they can go. They can go. They can go. According to Tulsa King. Uh, <laughs> uh, Ministry of Wrong Thing for $49.99. Nice. 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 You know what's fucked up on the plane, though? I'll get to that in just a second. They had Tulsa King in there. I'm like, oh, shit. I got a nine-hour flight. I can watch every episode of Tulsa King. It was three fucking episodes. Fuck you, Paramount Plus, you piece of shit. No wonder why you're losing a bunch of money, you fucking retards. <laughs> I watched the rest of it on my phone. I think that's more the airline's fault for cheaping out. Probably. probably. Uh, yeah. Well, I, at first class, probably got the whole se season. Probably. I was in business class. What is first class? If that was bu if that was business class, well, first class must get like hand jobs and it has a brothel <laughs> in there. Hookers and blow. Yeah, yeah, business classes. Would you like some cocaine, sir? <laughs> <laughs> Would you like a bump? Uh, someone on Twitter called out Actman for having complained about pronouns in KOTOR. And I kid you not, he literally complained about it being taken out of context mm -hmm. from a longer video. Hail F and T. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh yeah. funny oh, that. that. Interesting. Who would do that? Who funny how that works. Full clips from yeah. an older yeah. video and not give the full context to try and present something different. Hmm, I wonder who would do that. Hmm. I, I, ironically, I with that command. <laughs> <laughs> Ironically, we reacted to that video on uh, The Daily Show and we gave it a fair shake mm -hmm. and even discussed kind of you could see where he was coming from, but that he was still talking about specifically they, them pronouns or non binary yeah. pronouns for Revan. So, man. Well, no offense, there's no such thing. Uh, never mind. Anyway, come on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, because the galaxy far, far away would have the same constructs as we do. Mm -hmm. The act, ma'am. That's all. Yeah, ma'am. Ma'am. Not another dime is gifted 15 neurotic memberships for $75. That's a hell of a lot of dimes. Yeah. How many dimes is that, X-ray girl? <laughs> wow. She's, fired. Yeah. she's already drunk, probably. <laughs> she was drunk before she got here. Mark so bought a lot of beers. <laughs> You're so tired of the UK? No, no, no. I, did you, I heard no. you heard that. I am I am so tired. It is like 11 something I know. right now. I, I'm yeah, exhausted. It's getting so it's late. Pretty, it's pretty, uh, pretty late. late. I don't know <laughs> what you're doing. It's so <laughs> late. <laughs> I don't know how we could go on. It's, it's, you know, yeah, it's I really love tough doing this. Show. Expression. Please, please. And Gary, I just want to say, I, I do appreciate you making the sacrifice. Thanks for I, staying I, up this late. I, I know. know. Fucking yes! Three and a half fucking yes! <laughs> You know, What's got your nipples tweaked there, big guy? 
it's you're gonna just do a rant about it. It's a three hour show. <laughs> just take it. Yeah. Just accept it. Yeah. It's just it's just take it, bro. Just do it. Are you fucking are you fucking yeah. gay, bro? What's up, bro? <laughs> What's up, bro? <laughs> just a giant cock in your mouth. <laughs> I, I, I like what, one of the one of the owns that I got was you take Doctor Disrespect's cock in your mouth. I was like. Wait a minute, isn't that a little bit bigoted coming from your side? You know? <laughs> yep. Because uh, anyway, I stood with Dr. Disrespect. <laughs> oh, God, I can't wait till December. I'm never going to fucking see the view again. <laughs> <laughs> what? You're never going to what again? See any of you again. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening in Damn. December? Well, I'm taking December off, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> But you're coming back. Not if I die. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, we can come back to die so we can get super chats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if, I, if I die before I come back, please exploit me for every penny oh, you can. I will. There'll be a, a memorial beat real BBC <laughs> every day. There'll be a memorial FNT. We'll do the first weekly like a uh, FNT. Uh, bro, FNT. if you die as, I will make up so many every wonderful day. stories about helping me behind the scenes and never, <laughs> ever like he never wanted credit, guys. He never wanted credit as as paid off all of my debt. All of my strike videos <laughs> as wrote them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, said, he, said, he said before he went the last thing he said to me was Jeremy, Jeremy, I just want you to be rich and successful yes, yes. <laughs> the last thing before he died he said I could have all his hot toys <laughs> 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 very, very dream, 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 yes. <laughs> oh. and throw my body in the trash <laughs> his final words were I love man titties <laughs> 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 I've just re I just orchestrated a whole fucking scheme manipulating online fucking viral scheme to deflect people away from the fucking man scheme. <laughs> <laughs> you telling me it's not fucking working? <laughs> Dog comes back full circle. Everybody knows what this is about. Uh... Yes. Oh, oh man, my God. <laughs> dude! It's like there was a bunch of shit going on on Twitter, and it all ended overnight. With <laughs> as it was so funny. Yeah. Uh, where's Chrissy? I just noticed she was. Going. <laughs> She's doing a. Oh my God! She's just Jimmy <laughs> doing a stream. stream. I didn't know she was gone. She was. <laughs> you, I noticed. I was so <laughs> she. She's doing a set in L.A. or something right now, right? <laughs> yeah. Where's where did Chrissy go? We're Damn. literally three yep. hours into this show. <laughs> Damn, man, that's brutal. <laughs> Oh, what happened to that lady that's always here? She's real funny. <laughs> I think she has She's her hair. Pretty on the eyes. And he didn't know. He didn't. Where's that sexy show. blonde that's always here? <laughs> that's what I want to know. I think somebody was like trying to defend. It was like a veto, Ricada, Chrissy thing ended overnight. There was some other guy who went after um, Mr. Beast. Ended overnight, dude. As, as that guy's so pissed, dude. <laughs> what was his was name? Jack Septicai. Jack Septicai must be yeah. fucking oh, furious guy. with me. <laughs> Oh, uh, man. I fucking have this whole thing shut up to take down Mr. Beast, the fucking fat fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I need you. Uh, I don't know your past. Quick, somebody pass me a fucking potential. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I went, I went pontificating too long. Sorry. Uh, guy incognito for 50 Canadian pesos. <laughs> Chad loves Vegemite. I do. You gotta that try is that. true. And I'm going to make something very nice for these gentlemen. And Shad loves all things night. Uh, yeah, really? Yeah. Uh, so why don't you call him the veggie, the veggie night? <laughs> <laughs> I am the veggie night. It's, it's not works. the worst thing. It's not the, yeah, it's not, it's not bad. Legion of memers, get on that one. I like brown shitty paste on my crackers. Um, so you're so calling a cracker. Manly at night. <laughs> Vitamin D. Yeah. Uh, he would probably prefer that to bear fucker. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, Elephant D, the fellowship, continue scanning the 199. 
and swords are fun. Yes, they are. Absolutely, sir. Jared, uh, before the end, you gotta let me wait, let me hit them. Whoa, 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 whoa. I thought you did that before the stream. Hmm, my uh, goodness. Yeah. Wait, so, somebody's back on the crack. Uh, uh, <laughs> you gotta let me hit that again. Oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> when, it, when in the UK do as the Romans do. <laughs> <laughs> and build Hadrian's Wall. Yes. Yes. Keep them fucking uh, Scottish people out. Force, force through the trees for $50. There you go. Wales, your neck. Tell Dan Bosk to step back. The world needs an as rant rap album. Bravo on the edit. That's uh, Perry, by the way. Uh, very mm. As his rant was dialed up to 11 firm handshakes to all involved. Cheers and thank you. We love Perry. Uh, Perry did the uh, thumbnail for today's video, by the way. Oh, he did? Yeah. Oh, that's what he's fucking doing when I needed him to do. I'm just kidding. You took him 10 <laughs> minutes, Perry. 10 fucking minutes. Dude, it's, I haven't given him any work. I've been. Okay. So I recorded part of a video here in the UK uh, on the noisiest fucking street ever. <laughs> Like, even this mic was picking up the trash can that decided to hang out in front of my room for, like, an hour. And then the construction workers were throwing down, I think, kitchen fucking sinks from the 10th floor or whatever the fuck they were doing. So I'm like, oh, well, I'm not recording a video. So it's going to get Do recorded. Do you even British, bro? Fucking hell. At the meetup, I told someone that I was recording in my hotel room. And at the Ahsoka video will have the worst audio ever. And he just went, well, no one will notice on your channel. It's always the same. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't as long as you get the point across i don't know i'm just a little anal about that stuff but, uh, oh. uh, i'll record it sunday I'm, i had to, we had to change our checkout date for it but that's okay that's all right Maybe I'm, my next video i'll record in france when they'll, there'll be a revolution going on and some shit burning down that'll be fun <laughs> Uh, Patrick, no, it's France. It's like every other week. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, like they'll, they'll they'll raise the retirement age by one year, and they'll burn the fucking country down. You gotta kind of <laughs> love that, though. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Patrick Ells for fifty dollars. Fifty. You guys should each get a rant turned into a song and release it all as part of an FNT record. I pay money for it. In fact, I already did. Yes, you did. <laughs> we wouldn't want it to be taken out of context now, would we? No, no. <laughs> That's the album should be called Taken Out of Context. Yeah. There you go. Uh Horror Armorata. Oh my god, <laughs> god damn, <laughs> man. That was we tried on that one. Oh, <laughs> no, <laughs> <back on the, laughs> fucking hell. Yeah, mumble <laughs> fist here. Really late. Getting really late. The sun's going down. Oh, <laughs> man, <it's okay. laughs> hey, they have jet lag ass. Give them a break. I breathe no! my <laughs> He was trying to not even fucking fruit. close. <laughs> <laughs> I've been here for nearly four weeks. Yeah, I've been here for a week. I'm, I was good oh, on the I'm second day. Definitely the worst jet lag out of all of them, though. Uh, you you wait, fucking you swam across a fucking pond. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not like big pond. No, he no, skied. He's the way. He, he skied and then he, he swam. literally jumped from his country into the fucking UK. <laughs> <laughs> All right, true. But the time uh, zone. I reached my goal of 500 YouTube subscribers. All right. Nice. Oh, I'm around. Oh, nice. I can do it. Uh, it's time to plan my 12 hour Halloween stream. Why? Uh, I need to thank the fellowship for all of its support. You are the epitome of kindness. Now to work on those watch hours. Yikes. Oh, you got it. No worries. We got you. 12 hour live stream. Well. No help. Spooky, mm -hmm. uh, anonymous on the Streamlabs side for $62.32. That's very specific. Mm -hmm. Wine shirts and shades here from the meetup. Oh, uh, it was uh, far out as hell. Thank you all for coming to the UK. And I hope you do a tour again with Geeks and Gamers and as next year, maybe. Uh, hope to see some US meetup soon. Stay rocking. Much love. Much love to you too. Thank you, Anonymous. 
my shirt, by the way. And yes, you were rocking sunglasses at night. Uh, but so is Will, the critical drinker, who is just uh, what a what a nice guy. He's a great guy. Mm-hmm. He's just a nice guy. Very tall. He's tall. He's really tall. And he hung out and uh, had the he had a really good time and uh, got drunk. Yeah. I did not see him without a drink in his hand. Like the yeah, whole but night. he can he's Scottish, so he can handle. It. Okay, funny story. <laughs> a guy who runs the Scottish Comic Con came over and started talking to me and Melissa. It was loud in there, but he's like <clears throat> full thick. Scottish accent. I, I got Comic Con, and after that, it was a beep, doop, beep, doop, beep. I couldn't fucking understand. <laughs> what he was saying. Like, hey, this guy wants to invite us to a Comic Con, and I, and I needed Will to come over and interpret without saying I needed him to interpret, and he did. It was great. Couldn't understand a fucking word that guy was saying. He's like, We need you to Can- come. Oh, no, 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 no. What? <laughs> Can I like Brad Pitt Sorry, and Snatch? Was, it, was, it, was yes. he a Jamaican <laughs> Scottish person? <laughs> <laughs> Jamaican. He did say that. Come on, like, gonna, gonna come on, 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 come on. Well, if, if, if Jamaicans are white and pasty with red hair and yes. Scottish accents, sure. Yes, they are. <laughs> yeah. He identifies as Jamaican, you fucking bigot. Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, Logan, uh, my son, has donated fifty dollars on the stream Streamlabs side. I miss you, son. I miss you. It'll be on the fucking school. Uh, hey, Dad, I wanted to give you a, sh- a shout out to As, my favorite silverback gorilla. Congrats on the Starfield scalp. You can toss that agenda into the garbage with the Vegemite and man buns. <laughs> then not just get mad at you. Just remember, fuck them. Hail FNT. Yes. I'm so proud of my boy. Yeah. Logan. Mm-hmm. Good, Logan's good boy. Uh, yeah, a- fucking has been a great phrase this week. It really has. Or boring. Yeah, boring! It's so oh, fucking boring! boring. <laughs> uh, a Cameron uh, on the stream outside for $50. Hey, welcome to the UK. Is there an informal side to the UK meetup? And if so, where do I find the info? Yes, I am an idiot. Uh, oh, well, then you'll fit right in here. I just wanted to say that. Uh, maybe maybe we can do tomorrow. Uh, don't look at me. Tomorrow? Tomorrow? Maybe? Possibly. I mean, I do we do really want to yeah. rush somebody's farm? No. <laughs> what about, I mean, it's in public, right? The grave is public? You're gonna yeah. raid his grave? We're going to Oxford. Yeah, we're going to Oxford to go visit. Uh, going on the Tolkien pilgrimage. Oh, you, you'll easily find it. It's the grave with a guy inside of it. It's fucking spinning like a. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's super easy to find. It'd be super easy to find. Yeah. Uh, it, yeah. I That'd mean, be an amazing it's... photo with like yeah, the entire, everybody there with the grave in the back. Yeah. So if, pay attention to Twitter in the community section. When we get close to Oxford, we'll let you know. And I mean, I don't want to trample the man's grave. <laughs> yeah. It just reminds me of all those pictures of those people that go to Auschwitz and post smiling selfies. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like yeah, you guys yeah, are going to take a big group like fucking a flash, picture right or, or the, 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 fla- the flash brain. meme. <laughs> <laughs> the flash beam where he is doing yeah. that with the camera. There might be a park nearby. That There's probably a park more, in but... Oxford that we can go meet at. So we'll uh, we'll let you know. Okay. So yeah, tomorrow will be the day. Because this is that makes a little more sense. A load of men meeting in a park in London's normal anyway. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it usually involves a lot more lube, though. I was gonna say, is this like a truck stop? Yeah. Uh, uh, we're not of... quite. No. <laughs> More yeah, like a uh, seat in the toilet cubicle. Well, I mean, George Michael, George Michael, uh, kind of you know perfected it. Uh, yeah, in rest in peace. Great singer. I thought you were talking about groups of graping. That's what no, no, okay, just lots wow. of gay sex. <laughs> ah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's that's really mutual. Like they really want to have it with each other. You know what I mean? Okay, it's not like. Forcing yourself on somebody. There's a, there's a, there's a lot no, of it's stuff. all consensual, mate. All very, very consensual. consensual. Uh, speaking very of gay, gay sex, rolling the wretched. My part. Uh, a lot happened with the fellowship this week, so let's talk about it. I was wrong about Ryan. I thought he was going for a Brie Rachel love triangle, but he was only using them to get his love, uh, his love, Bob Iger. I guess Jeremy <laughs> was right. Ryan is always gay. 
Uh, I almost broke Twitter this week. What is sad is everyone, including Jeremy, missed the context of the rant as interacting with a man with tits. This <laughs> night that ends in Y. <laughs> 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 I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore. <laughs> Starfield is the true definition of an allegory for as love you as. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Perry that remix needs to become a single. Some people tried to cancel Gary this week and he has gained 3,000 new subs. Not sure libs know how to cancel. Not uh, <laughs> not too much. Uh, Gay Garrett wanted to replace Gary with Liam Nees, uh, Nielsen. Liam Nielsen. Uh, so uh, so disloyal. What? Just because that motherfucking Garrett who's upstairs right now votes for what? Dan Vosk. Votes for Dan Vosk. Doesn't like pineapple. Hey, subscribe to Dan Vosk. Whatever. <laughs> 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 Send your he promotes ass back his to friends more than he promotes I'm gonna his own Send family. your ass back to Crowder, dude. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> with a little bow and drop you off in front of his gay bar. I'm sorry, studio. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, saw Drinker and Shad playing with each other's swords in public. I it guess was England. A, uh, I think experience. Yes. I guess England has really got some loose laws. It is time to say hail FNQ, the Fellowship, Chad, <laughs> Baby Thor, and Hawaiian Pizza. Dan Bosk is still gay. Hashtag subbed and neurotic. So long, gay boys. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this absolutely is the biggest game of British or gay that oh, we've God. ever played. <laughs> <laughs> How did I miss? I missed the part. Thank you, X Ray Girl. I missed today's reading. Today's reading is Matthew 26, 25. Then Garrett, the one who would betray him, said, Surely you don't mean me, Gary. Gary answered, You you have said so. Can't wait to see Chrissy tomorrow in Sherman Oaks. Looks like she has been having a good time in LA. Who's Chrissy again? (laughs) (laughs) She's the bimbo with red hair. That, that, ain't, that ain't red hair. <laughs> right there. Uh, Pro Mental Studios for $99.99. I love Chrissy. Okay. Yeah. She's great. She, you know, she hasn't been viral in a while. She needs to piss off an entire country. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it was yeah, about she did around. that with Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> that, was that was like a couple weeks ago. Come on, <laughs> it's getting to the point where we piss off so many fucking people we can't keep up anymore. Can't keep up, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, we still got the whites on our side. Become a reply gal to Ian Miles Chong and just ask him to start commenting on his own country's politics. Maybe <laughs> once in a while, maybe. But you know. far be it from me to help him out. But Dan, that, that was your clippable moment right there. Just clip what Ryan said. Throw it on Twitter. Get you some more money. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dan's our favorite South American. He's the only one who likes us anymore. Uh, Dan, Ugh, I'm getting tired. How are you guys yeah, all getting down? a little? Oh, Dan, uh, sun's not, getting real low real there, low, guys. guys. <laughs> well, man, Dan for fifty dollars a silverback, baby. <laughs> As is about to say, you're boring. You're boring. <laughs> Can't see past your own fucking reflection. <laughs> I'm so sick of that fucking guy. I really am. I'm I just randomly put stuff, you man. in my thumbnail the other day. You did. Like, it was such bullshit. I, I talked about I talked about you for like ten seconds and then moved on to something. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Yeah, you need to put uh, Disa and Ass. You know, <laughs> this says and they're then, the worst. Put Michael Obama's face on a black Aragorn, and that is just <laughs> thumbnail gold. I think, uh, I'm sorry, yes. Michelle Obama. Did I say Michael Obama? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, we can't. Oh, and we, then, well, fuck. <laughs> Since you brought that up. Uh, I I do stand by you know he him pronouns. I think that uh, it's very we very much need to start using he him pronouns. Uh, so there you go, right there. God damn it, dude! These memes are so fantastic. Uh, oh. Not gonna leave that one up very long. Let's go ahead and move on now. Yeah. <laughs> he looks like oh. Wayne Brady. I know. <laughs> 
Big Mike. Big Mike. <laughs> God. Whew. Big Mike, huh? <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> Are we all going to bed yet? No. <laughs> Okay, Pro Mental Studios for $99.99. <laughs> Thanks for making every day better, all of you. Ah, uh, you make our day better too. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Patrick Ells for $50. I was surprised to see even someone like Brandon Tatum lend his support to Az. Even the normies are tired of the Alphabet Mafia's invasion of our escapism. Look, man. Who's, uh, I'm trying to, I'm going to be ignorant. Uh, who's, 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 who? Yeah. Well, Brandon is, that, Tatum, Tatum? is a political commentator. Okay. Brandon, okay. Tatum, listen, I'm gonna, is, I got, we've been is on this Brandon channel, Tatum. Officer Tatum. Yeah. Been oh yeah. Tatum. Okay. Yeah, now you're talking about yeah. Officer uh, Tatum. I, I'm, I'm gonna have to call out Brandon Tatum when he fucking talked about. It, he goes, I, I don't know this guy's name. It ain't important what his name is. Let's just. It's like, bro, all you had to do was give him a shout out. Hill versus Babyface. That's all you had to say. But he's like, I don't know this guy's name. This gamer's name. It's <clears> irrelevant. <throat> Let's talk about what the points he's making. I'm like, come on, bro. Just give the man a shout out. Damn, I like Brandon Tatum. I was like, when that he is said relevant. that, I was like, come on, man. You got to say the dude's name if you're going to play his fucking clip. True. I like Brandon Tatum, but that was I don't. No, it's all right. I'll, str I'll fall struck his video. <laughs> 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 it's, it's funny because it's funny because as literally, were you being serious when you said you don't know who that is as? Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, it's funny, like, he didn't know who he was, as is who he is. Right, but, but the point was, was as didn't bring him up, a super chat brought him up. Brandon Tatum decided to do a fucking video on as's video. All he had to do was, what's his name? You know what I mean? He even said, he's like, I don't know this guy's name. That's irrelevant. And I'm like, it's kind of relevant because you're fucking talking about him. You know? It's kind yeah. of relevant. It also says it in the background. It's not hard. Yeah, yeah. Right no. <laughs> it says eel versus baby face. <laughs> some guy who likes eels, apparently. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, some fucking eel guy, some eel YouTuber in the eel community, an eel Twitter. Maybe he likes shoving eels up his ass. <laughs> like I said, I like you know, Brandon. What Taylor. a direction that went. Me, you know, me, and, me and Ryan were on with him. Uh, we had a great. It was a great when? time on the channel. I don't. I, was, I it don't was know. Like two is. years ago, we were on with him and ABL. I don't know if it was that long ago. About a year ago. Wow. Yeah, I thought it was like a year ago. Yeah. Uh, I was surprised. Okay. Uh, G'day. Quickly out of uh, out of Vegemite is wait. Quickly out of the way. Vegemite is delicious, Thank and there is nothing you. wrong with pineapple pizza. You're complicit. Yeah, Gary, Gary sent a super chat to himself again. <laughs> However, Gary, you're overstepping with emu support. Love FNT and all of your individual channels. Many of my mates are now watching too. To be continued, says Andy for fifty Australian dollars. Um, blame ass, okay? Or Shad? Sure. Why did I say I always fucking mix you up. Uh, <laughs> you it looks so much alike. Aussie same Q, same country. And all, you're yeah. all from the same upside down world with giant birds overrunning you. <laughs> the only thing worth a shit about either of your countries is uh, Hobbit and Peter Jackson with their film, the greatest trilogy of all time. Wait until I introduce you to. Then it became a authoritarian nightmare uh, during COVID with your big tooth skeleton lady who fucking uh, ran the <laughs> New Zealand. Skeletor. Skeletor, yeah. <laughs> like Skeletor <laughs> fucked up horse. The worst description I've heard. The worst description I heard was she looks like Margot Kidder's corpse. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. God, the internet's so mean. Wow. <sighs> yeah. Um, Nick KXH for 50 British pounds. <laughs> Wednesday night was nothing short of amazing and surreal. Absolute joy meeting and chatting to so many like-minded people. Everyone was so friendly and helpful to one another. Cheers and hail to FNT and the fellowship. Nick, cheers to you. Thanks for coming. <laughs> the exalted patriarch has given 10 neurotic memberships for $50. Press the button, Nick. Chad, come on. I'm getting a little sweaty over there. I'm tired. I need somebody else to press the button. I'm, I'm, I'm exhausted. Oh, you're tired, eh? Midnight oh. here. God, it's like oh, Gary, Gary, I'm so late. You're fucking lost. You know, you're anything for you guys. You know, I don't mind sacrificing for the fellowship. Uh, my friends here, uh, Jeremy, Thomas, <laughs> Brian, Corey Black, 
Odin, Adam, Disparu, X-Ray Girl, Dad, <laughs> Chrissy, <laughs> Chrissy. <laughs> no. And and eel and eel and eel yeah. And eel. yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's not trying to turn into a rage monster right now. Yeah, I, I think while we're here, we like because we we're in Britain, we. British representation. I think I can qualify as a British person and just brew and good, good to have British representation. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Cinema Buff 2000. You're fucking boring! <laughs> <laughs> For 99.99! Hey, Friday Night Tights and Nerdrotic. What are your recommendations for French comics? Uh, U.S. comics are trash now. I'm transferring uh, to foreign comics, specifically from Europe. Start early, and uh, you know who is a better person than I would be? Razor Fist has done multiple Band of Zene videos that give you great recommendations that I have followed, but Elric is a French comic that's been translated over here and uh, well, made by French artists, right? It's freaking great. Uh, Blueberry is an old Western classic. It's brilliant. Anything by Mobius is fucking great. A anything. Uh, get some old heavy metals. Uh, I got The Killers. The Killer, which is going to be a Netflix movie uh, by David Fincher, which is in November. Right? November? I don't know if anybody's seen the trailer. That's based on a French comic. So uh, there's a lot of fucking good stuff out there. And I'm going to go to French comic stores. And I heard they're mind blowing. That's the only reason I'm going because of a smelly place. I don't care about wine or cheese or revolutions or anything. But uh, French comics are cool. Yes. Look at that. I agree. <laughs> How do I say this name? I mean, it's Australian. UX Gaelic? Gaelic. UX, uh, UX Gaelic for $319.99 in Australian. Wow. That's amazing. It is. It is actually. You're not retarded. You're not. Uh, thanks to Az for exposing. Can you say those. that in an Australian accent? I read it in an Australian I did. Accent. That was it. No, no, the whole thing in this show. Oh, no, I can't. That'd be terrible. Oh. You can read it, though. Thanks to us for exposing those well-hidden TDS grifters like the Ackman. Keep up the good fight. The tide is not turning fast enough. We must stand strong and defeat the cultural Marxists everywhere they show up. That's a pretty good Australian accent. I think I, yeah. I, think I, know. I think you got yeah. it. Yeah, I like Hugh Jackman was right, right next to me. Yeah. Uh, cultural default for fifty dollars says apes together strong. Hail! That's right. That's right. We're all apes. Self-evolved simians. <laughs> Deep Sidian. Uh, Black Aragorn. What's up, brother? How you doing? For fifty dollars on the stream live side says hail. I'm in the UK as well. In spirit, of course. I was going to say you motherfucker, you bet. Right. Uh, these internet wars just keep giving me more material for my manga. As has a pretty good idea of what he's capable of in the series. Anyway, here's 50 shekels and see you all in Wisconsin. See you hey, in Wisconsin. Gary, you said you wanted me to pick, press your buttons and now you're just hogging it. the buttons I'm and sorry. I can't even get in it's there. It's a bad habit. Well, I, I, like, I, there. I apologize. Thank you. <laughs> you know, I actually had, like, I was thinking, ah, uh, you know, he wants me to press the button. I'm going to press it like heaps just to start to annoy you him. Know, and then he starts pressing them more than even I was trying to. I, I could apologize to Az, but I used it on you. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ronan the Crusader for $50 on the Streamlab side. Wow! Yeah. <clears throat> 50. 50. Hail FNT and hail to the magnificent Silverback Az, you sexy Silverback. Uh, the pronouns discussion is super hot. That's right. But it is necessary battle to take the culture back. To quote Captain Picard, before his ruination, the line must be drawn here. That's this right. Line. No yes. further. Yes. <laughs> Until I do season one and two. Yes. Then, I, then I'll go over that line and that piss all over enough. it and yes. shit all over it. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. Chad, you're getting a little too excited with that button. I, I'm getting very uncomfortable <laughs> right now with that. Yeah. <laughs> you have no idea. He's got a raging Yeah, boner. no, this is... <laughs> it's pressing into your leg. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to take that button to HR. <laughs> hey, Ryan, you got to meet me with the button tomorrow. <laughs> uh, Brick Corbier for $100. Go. Give it a touch. Touch it. Can I, can I okay. touch it? Yes! Oh, oh, no. <laughs> Pronouns like he, she belong to me. 
<laughs> you do not refer to yourself with those pronouns. Those are what I use to refer to you. They like uh, they like all my speech belong to me and not you. I say no to you telling me how to speak as well as all have heard for years. No means no. Well said. And they're also something which is generally not used in your presence because they'll just use your name. It's considered rude yeah. to use pronouns rather than someone's name in the first place. Yeah. So you get, literally get to control people what they say about you when you're out of the room and then you're going to get angry if you find out that they didn't. It's ridiculous. Yeah. I'll just end up calling you fuckface. I mean, <laughs> a retard. Yeah. I know. It's it's hilarious. These people are getting offended because we're not, you know, calling them by their preferred pronouns. Yet they call us the most horrible things under the sun, like yeah. bigot, racist, and everything like that. It's like, you guys are just such hypocrites. I'd rather go by bigot or racist than fucking they, them, to be honest yeah, with you. Right. <laughs> Absolutely. It's way more shameful. Gorilla shaped man. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Better be in a noodle arm, bird face, fucking they, them, whatever. Uh, Ministry of Wrong Thing for ninety nine ninety nine. Pretty much do it. Calm down. I think they're overdoing the No, I think Adam should take over. <laughs> I'm not reaching over that. Has been fucking that button. Or, <laughs> sorry, Shad's been fucking that button so much. Now it's got a pregnant pause. It does, not- <laughs> it does have a little shine to it now. It does. <laughs> Pronouns are only used to ad- ad- uh, only used to address someone, not even around to be offended. Respecting pronouns is a cultural Marxist scheme to trick people to gaslighting themselves yes. during everyday conversation into affirming and complying with Marxist ideology standards of gender. Uh, that's why I, I totally agree with that, by the way. I'm going to give it that, that deserves it. Yeah, that's seriously, well read 1984. You need, to, you need to read that book. That was a good button press, Gary. Dude, when you hear this, though, th- this is what inspires us, right? Because none of you guys are falling for this shit. You're not complying. You're staying strong. You're not worried what like, people think. You're not going to get fired. For, for not using somebody's proper pronouns. You're, you're not. And, you know, if you're in a country that's going to make that outlawed, you might as well leave. It's pretty easy to get in our country right now. Just come through Texas south. Yeah. yeah. So uh, they'll give you a phone. But, uh, yeah, it's it's uh, the, the tide is turning. It's going to take a long time. But we are winning this. Like, people are, like, waking up. Uh, the more they push the boundaries, the more we're going to push back. Because uh, there's, you know... Most of society doesn't want any trouble and they're fine with a lot of shit. They're fine with you. You know what? You want to be a dude that dresses like a chick. You know what? If you stay out of our way, we don't care. have fun. Go ahead. Refer to yourself however the fuck you want. Most of us could give a shit. It's when you start compelling us to do things we yep. don't want to do, like taking mm-hmm. our children into a genderless bathroom, which, which potentially could have a lot of fucking weirdos. You know, it's not like we let our kids go to a bathroom alone at a fucking truck stop. All right. So imagine that, you know, 10,000 times worse. That's what we're dealing with here. And uh, unfortunately, you know, it's just within those communities. There's a high percentage of self-deletion and there's a high percentage of fucking weirdos and pedos. That's just, you know, are you you talking about the skeptic community again? Yeah, I am. (laughs) So, you know, uh, police your own if you don't want to have that reputation. Yeah. Police your own. Mm-hmm. Uh, never tell me the odds on the Streamlab side for $50. <laughs> Project for As and Mahler, As, you need to transcribe your rants and have Mahler read them. Call them relaxing rants with As. Oh, good. <laughs> That's brilliant. <laughs> I like it. Uh, hail to the fellowship chat, the one nine nine and the mighty silverback as hashtag never change, never change, buddy. Especially now, it's getting really late. Hey, Gary, sun's getting real fucking low, you cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, can it, see right through that window. It's been down for hours. You know what's crazy? Uh, is when you get old, you just start losing your hearing. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Dan Vask. Uh, Dan Vosk. I'm sorry, Vosk. According to Razor Fist. I'm never going to give that up. Uh, already. All right. Screen recording for his hundred. What, have, hundred. what do they call Don't call it a hundred. It's like a zillion yeah. reals or like, something. It's like $20. If that. <laughs> if that. <laughs> But it's, it's, a lot, it's a lot less than he's gonna make off my fucking back. That's what it is. 
Mauler, is that you in the chat? That's not Mauler. Is that our Mauler? I saw, Ma- I saw a Mauler, but I mean, I don't know if it's real or no. I don't. I, I saw a check see. mark at one point. Did you? Hi, Mauler. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Mahler's in the chat. It was Mahler. Mahler's in the chat. Hey, Mahler! Hi, Mahler. Mahler. Mahler, 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 Mahler. Hey, he's staying up late. He lives in the UK. Hey, he does, he's he's like, Mahler doesn't sleep. Well, he's an eldritch god. That's cool. Mm-hmm. I'm sure he's got all kinds of extra time. You know what? Like him reading as his rants would be kind of fucking funny. Mm-hmm. Maybe Ash should do that on real BBC as like a You're segment. You're so fucking boring. <laughs> <laughs> Let's you have nothing no. to say. Uh, no green rocks. Legion of Memers, fifty dollars on the Streamlabs side. It is truly an honor to see the shirts I sent Kenzo. I hope they fit you all. Uh, they, they, we got the shirt. I don't know if it fits. I'll find out tomorrow. Where tomorrow? And Kenzo in the intro. <laughs> well, oh, hey, uh, bye, no. Gary. Well, I guess. Bye, I guess. Did you get <laughs> really you fucking go. tired? Well, really? Like half the panel. No. Like half got the fucking real panel. Low. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what just happened really here? Low. <laughs> Five people are gone <laughs> just from one <laughs> Gary <laughs> Boomer <laughs> moment. <laughs> Gary is now Thanos. Did the laptop die? Did you forget to plug it in? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> You know that he's frantically trying to get back right now. Frantically. (laughs) (laughs) Or he's just still talking, you know. No, yeah, Gary probably has no idea (laughs) that it's happening. He's probably complaining that Shad didn't hit the clap button. Uh, (laughs) He probably read like five, six super chats before the. He probably doesn't know that he's out of the call yet. (laughs) (laughs) Somebody tell X Ray Girl. It it, it took him three hours to realize Chrissy wasn't here. So let's keep that in mind, okay? So we might be stuck for a while. Uh-oh. Man, uh oh. Uh oh, what? Well, what you Hold wanted on. to Let fucking go. Go. You, you know what? Here, I'll, I'll, I'll. They got the raided by stuff. the fucking immigrants. All right, listen, listen. <laughs> J, listen. J Mac dropped two, maybe three. I don't know if it doubled up, but I see a 50 gifted memberships from J Mac twice. Ooh. But it, I, it's actually reading three. So I don't know if that's 100 total gifted memberships or 150, but either way, J Mac. Thank you. There we go. Oh, here they are. Fucking here they are. <laughs> Would y'all go fuck real quick? Everybody. <laughs> what did you guys y'all do? Go? You go. I had to, real quick had to bang it out. Huh? Thanks, Jeremy. There were some lesbian cops at the door. We had yeah, to we had to get rid of the lesbians. <laughs> hey, thank you for the gifted memberships, J Mac. J Mac dropped a hundred, uh, either a hundred or one hundred and fifty gifted memberships. I couldn't Holy tell. Shit. Jesus. Um, J Mac dropped a shit ton of gifted members. I couldn't tell if he showed up triple or not. But J Mac, you should have waited until afternoon tea with us on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, as will be skipping afternoon tea. <sighs> I'll be, hey, I'm gonna come to your fucking house, motherfucker. On Monday, we can, we can talk about it on Monday. That's right. Talk about it. Let's talk about talk it. Talk about. We can talk about your love for man titties and pronouns. Yeah. And <laughs> Let's talk that. about more super chats. Let's talk yes. about Starfield. Hey, can we talk about the fact you said it was a three hour fucking show and we're still here, Gary? Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm going as fast as I can. If you guys shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, if you would stop <laughs> deleting yourself from the oh. damn stream, you know. Oh, I'm, we're sorry. Hey, it's been for 30 oh. minutes. Everybody else keeps bringing up dumb shit. Hey, comics, you want to talk about how they should read 1984 for the fifth fucking time? <laughs> sure. Like, I want to go to the stream. <laughs> So, Ryan, have you read 1984? <laughs> <laughs> Time's a charm. <laughs> <laughs> God no, damn it. Do these idiots on Twitter think calling us names affects us? <laughs> like we talk to each other. Do you know who we fucking are? <laughs> and I shouldn't even be here. I'm a Christian. You have anybody <laughs> that you should say to each other in private? <laughs> it's way worse. It's way worse. Yeah, Adam's really abusive. Hey, Jeremy, when, you, when I called you the other day, what, yeah. <laughs> when I said hello to you, uh, you said some gamer words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're watching Ryan Skull die in real time. I had to check. I wasn't sure if it was Melanie Mac calling me or if it was Ash. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's got to be one like or the Melanie, other. But I'm like, <laughs> so maybe she's got a cold. <laughs> <laughs> 
literally the first thing. Even COVID makes her sound like a dude and from New Zealand. As is going, oh. <laughs> I'm getting ready for like another stream. I'm like, As, can you hurry up? He's just insulting me. I'm like, bro, I'm literally getting ready for a stream, and all you're doing is calling me names. Like, what the fuck do you want? Uh... <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. How you doing, Ryan? <laughs> okay. Ready for the next super chat still. <laughs> no green rocks. We're halfway there. It was truly an honor to see the shirts uh, I, I made for Kenzo. I hope it fits you all and Kenzo in the intro today. Although I can't be there, I am so happy to see all the pictures slash smiles from the meetup. Hail FNT, the Legion of Memers, and this great fellowship. Hail! As and I just reposted our DMs on Twitter at one point about uh, Chris Gayrun. Uh, that was pretty funny. <laughs> it was word for word what we said in the DMs. We're just like, let's put them on Twitter. Fuck it. Uh, <laughs> well, I asked if anybody from the skeptic community uh, was marked themselves safe from ass because uh, they, they obviously were really upset about it. Oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry for their loss. Yeah. <laughs> what, their channels? <laughs> Well, it appears no, no, that dignity Sarkeesian, uh, and not make videos about her. They just wanted to have sex with her because that's clearly the only yeah. obsession they really had. And they had nothing else when she was gone. Uh, Quelndar on the Streamlab side for three hundred dollars. Damn boy, you are number six. I am not a number. I'm a free man. Hail as I missed the last three, uh, the last three shows. Been out riding my Harley with friends from Texas to North Carolina. What, what the fuck's wrong with you going outside with your friends and not watching the show? Feel a little betrayed. Be honest with me. And back all across the South. Been great getting out and meeting the real people who make this country work and been totally unplugged. It was glorious not hearing anything about politics or how it's invaded all of our environment. So I miss Az's rant, but I am behind you 100%, man. Same for Ripa. She hail said. 9 9. Hail to the end to the 9.9. Hail FNT and the fellowship. We love the 9.9. <laughs> Ladies. Josh Kelsey has donated uh, fifty dollars and walked the fuck out. Just said, "Here you go. Here's a fifty. That's Josh. That's Josh. That was a kid. Jerk off juggernaut for fifty dollars says F and T for president. Yes. The, en the entire okay. panel. Yes. Yes. Can we all agree the first thing we do is get rid of daylight savings time because it's fucking retarded. It is <laughs> it's fucking retarded. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Matthew Hammond on the Streamlab side for forty five dollars. This TV show recommendation. I finished a British sci-fi series called The Lazarus Project. I know what that is on TNT in the U.S. and would highly recommend it. It's only eight episodes. It has a cross between 24 and Groundhog Day. Sky in the U.K. has already renewed it for season two. Oh, there you go. Well, you know, they might show it over here in America because we're uh, we're looking abroad. Uh, the studios are looking abroad, not for abroad. Although we're always looking for abroad. Although our abroad's missing right now. Uh, we're looking abroad for TV shows, so we're going to start seeing uh, a lot of stuff from other countries because uh, writers apparently can get outsourced like any other job, especially when you fucking suck. Mm. Apparently, community notes have I, I need to confirm this is true, but I've been given a screenshot. Apparently, community notes have community noted act, the act man. Oh, shit. No. Uh, as as Nexus mods have confirmed that if anyone tries to remove the pronouns, they will ban that person. Wow. Yeah, they've done it before. yeah like yeah. I wonder. Mm -hmm. I, I don't yeah, know if that first. Hogwarts. Yes, I confirmed it. Yeah. They did. They, he got community noted, and this is after he tweeted earlier talking about community notes exposes so many liars, grifters, and so much uh, misinformation on this platform. It's unreal. That's literally what he fucking tweeted. Hang on. Put those I'm, images I'm, I'm, right next to each other. Let me see. Right here. Right here. So he tweeted. I'm sharing my screen now. Oh, no. So this is what he tweeted right here. Somebody can share my screen. Um, right here. Uh, community notes exposes so many liars, grifters, and so much misinformation on this platform. It's unreal. And then right above it, he got community noted. <laughs> <laughs> this is literally the definition of the act of ma'am. Oh, holy wow! Shit, oh. man! Like this is false. The community that starts. This is actually true. Uh, <laughs> what a clown! 
<laughs> Did he respond below? Uh, don't think so. Let's oh, okay. You oh. respond a lot. Hello, darkness, uh, my really old right. friend. Oh wow, I can see X-ray girls' personal well, there's notes. A, it's that was him. Oh. Him and quartering, I guess, made it. Look at that. Equal one thousand five likes. Look at that shit. Whoa. That's fucking wild. Um, that's one. Let's get this one over a thousand yeah, five likes. Right? Yes. <laughs> yes. It's only, it's only, it's only a three second bit, dude. Just press it, dude. Just comply, dude. Come on, dude. What's wrong with yeah. you, dude? You man, child, dude. Hey, uh, what's wrong with you? Hey, you uh, child, dude. You it, fucking it, ball, it, dude. Hey, you Such a small thing. It doesn't matter, you know. Yeah. And the next spots will ban people for trying to remove it. But it's not, it's not a big thing at all. Yeah, clearly. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Outcast exile on the Streamlab side for fifty dollars. <laughs> Says, what do we do in life? Echoes in eternity. They thought as stood alone. FNT and the fellowship said no. No, 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 no. Hail to silverback motherfuckers. I swear. I saw some people. You know what? This happens from time to time. I'll, I'll be quick, Ryan. Okay. Try. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Tired, Ryan. Uh, I just want to say I did see some people on Twitter talking about fracturing of this or that. Uh, this happens every time there, there's a little squabble like this. And uh, what happens is the people who stay true come out just fine. You know, the skeptic community uh, had some people that did make it, you know, mm -hmm. uh, Razor Fist, Chu, uh, Sargon. They're still around. Lauren Chen. Uh, they, they Lauren been, Chen. Uh, Lauren Chen, they, you know, they have been suppressed. They, they, these are people who are like uh, Razorfish should be well past a million subs by now, easily, <laughs> easily, and isn't. So I, I think he is suppressed. But there's people who stayed fucking true. So I don't mean to besmirch all of them. And you know, that's that's what will happen here. Uh, and it happens from time to time. Happens about once a year. Something like this blows up. Uh, and you know what? If, if you're being authentic, you got nothing to fucking worry about. Does Az look worried? As doesn't look, oh, he looks so cool. No, he looks tired. Yeah, he looks, yeah, I'm fucking exhausted, but don't worry about that. You like Margaret? Margaret, no, Thatcher. she, you look tired, dude. I before this show went out for a fucking walk in this scorching heat with the fucking humidity, okay, sweating okay. like a Mexican rate person. <laughs> in the, in the, in the... <laughs> dude. Um, boring. A, a, a boring. Mexican, Mexican raider of air, condition, uh, air conditioners. Of, uh, yes. You can have them. They no. make them. Yeah. You can put they them in your them. house. We, we've known this in Australia for a long time. I don't know. Like, it's I, not I, a big discovery. I love that the UK like imagines it doesn't get hot the same time every fucking year in this thing called summer. You know. Let's yeah, it's only a couple about, months. Let's only a couple about. weeks. Let's talk about it. Uh, uh, Smick ball for fifty dollars. <laughs> it's home from work. Smith ball. Home from work, sitting down with my pineapple and jalapeno pizza, you sexy motherfucker. What did I miss? Oh, nothing. It's been a quiet week. Our tunes for 50 British pounds says Morgoth's review. Uh oh. Uh oh. Not something. Oh, Jesus oh, no. fucking Christ. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to keep talking because they can keep hearing me. I got to talk about you. <laughs> Unplug me. Stop fucking around, Ozzy. Sit still. Uh, I, more I, I organized. Be organized. And it's just... organized. <laughs> oh, yeah. By, by the way, we plan all this in advance. Uh, secret DM bit. group on uh, Discord. Uh, giving, uh, Steve Bannon and the ghost of Rush Limbaugh is giving us all of our instructions. Uh, our tunes for 50 British pounds. Morgoth's review nails it. It's just X bro argument in an old video describing the mod. Uh, the motto or is that Mata and Bailey? Uh, Martin ba the uh, Martin Bailey. Martin, Martin Bailey, Bailey. tactic. Uh, also, as a video describing the hatchling argument, which I saw de deployed against as extensively recommended viewing for all. There you go. And I agree. There's a great book that came out a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> what? what was the name of that book? Uh, 1984. Not, you should read it. <laughs> no. Thanks for the recommendation. I appreciate it's it. 1972. <laughs> uh, Vil Snoopy for 200 Australian dollars. Read it. Uh, bribery one to visit Australia. Just don't. Just do not go to Sydney. Okay. I won't go to, <laughs> yeah. You come, know, if you go, if you go to Australia, come to Victoria. I'm fucking done with cities. Uh, the English countryside, though, as 
fucking gorgeous around Bath. Oh. Man. Oh, so you ain't, you ain't seen nothing yet. I can't wait to get north. Uh, Fabian Finlay for 50 British pounds. Wish I could have gone to the meeting to see you guys. But unfortunately, I had to spend all of Wednesday in the hospital having a blood transfusion because I have sickle cell anemia. Oh, that sucks, dude. Sorry. Damn. You know what? There'll be other meetups. Just get better. Okay. Yeah. Um, yep. hope you guys return to the UK and the next meet is not in London. Um, it won't be. Uh, I can say that because like 99% of the people there came from about an hour away outside of London. So now I'm a little more familiar. It won't be. <laughs> and you'll be better by then. And we'll be back. And maybe some other people will be there. Uh, the Ark Spartan has gifted 10 neurotic memberships yep. for $50. Yeah. What was that? Not like a personal attack or something. That's not, a personal, that's not an attack. He's talking about me. Oh. Yeah, well, they're not going to let you in the country, Ryan. <laughs> not if I don't get my passport renewed. No, they won't. No. Well, isn't I'm Michael? Not as, I'm not as sneaky as Blue Beetle fans. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Savage is banned, isn't he? From the UK, the radio guy. I don't know. No, we don't know. Uh, Robert McDonald for um, two is two part. I fucking love his burgers. Is it Robert Listen, McDonald? I is think. Robert, did I say I, Ronald? I think, Maybe I, said Ronald. I think no, this is Robert. deserved. I think this is deserved. I think there's some explaining to do. Dan Vask, I'm sharing uh, my screen. Dan Vask, you have some explaining to do. You have um, some explaining to do. Um, Let's right talk there. about Dan, it. Dan, can you explain oh, us what's going on there? Dan? Oh, oh, it's big Dan. Oh, oh, he's Dan. Dan. Mike. He's I Dan. Those seventy-year-old Christian ladies. Yeah, come on, Dan. <laughs> Got some explaining to do there, buddy. So we'll just leave it at that. He's doing what he has to do to get in the country. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is two-parter. Most people don't understand what BlackRock is. So when they are brought up, the average person just rolls their eyes about their power and call it conspiracy nonsense. Here's how it works. They have $10 trillion with a T under management. That's more than a lot of countries, most countries. Yeah. It's so they insane. that it would be a shame if a company was dropped from their pension fund folio account for not complying with their ESG DIE stance. Mob tactics using the money average Joe's retirement accounts. Yes, um, nice. but we're not financial analysts and can't tell you what to do. And they're not the only company. But just to give you an idea, they are the second largest shareholders, uh, second or third in Disney and Netflix. And those are just the two companies I checked. Mm -hmm. Disney, so Netflix, Warner Brothers, Universal, yes. all of them. They're in the top three. Or in the top three. Hmm. That might be talked about in the next video. Yeah, a little mm. bit. A little bit. Little bit. Uh, you know, uh, as is rant and talking to a lot of people on Sunday inspired my next video. Like a lot. Of, it, it's just, it's time we just talk. We cut the bullshit. Not that we are bullshitting anybody, but. Time to cut it again. Uh, Potato Radio for $50. Another reason Hollywood and the left hate AI. All the charting Trump raps like first day out, and I ain't saying she's a, a vote rigger. <laughs> saying it very slow. Careful. Funny super chat. That's a great name. Yeah. Those songs uh, are great, by the way. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah, those those are funny. Not as good as... Uh, Gary Chan as well. No, that's good. Uh, no, K-Man D for 50 British pounds. All right, bigots. Let's see how your pronoun, uh, you pronounce the name of my people for as this folk invade. Uh, I'm ready whenever you need help. Koamiha, <laughs> Kiva, <laughs> Sinead, O'Connor, Nami, Komi, Sir, Kwifa, Kwifa, Mipa. Mipa? Yeah, please. Hey, it sounds like what? lightsaber instructions. Uh, uh, it's too late. We've already invaded. When he's all. Fucking retarded. Uh, th not your language, though, caveman okay, Dave. Um, I'm talking about uh, the shit from Ahsoka. Thank you, though. Uh, I hope I pronounced that correct correctly. If you guys haven't been listening to me pronounce my last name for the last five years, none of y'all will get it. Okay. Uh, Steve Watson for 50 British pounds. Actually, there are white ginger Jamaicans 
White ginger English folk settled in the West Indies just like they settled in Maine and the Carolinas, etc. You're right. And dreadlocks are not cultural appropriation because white boys had them too. And girls. Uh, J Mac gifted 100 neurotic memberships for $500. I almost hit the wrong button button. No, you did yeah. hit the wrong button because we heard it. Yeah, we heard it. <laughs> Thanks for pointing that out. I really appreciate it. Yeah, anytime. Fuckers. The last time you did that was 1984. <laughs> 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 J-Mac, thank you so much that is rad a hundred uh, new members will be here to watch shad cope about emus that'll be great that's what everybody wants to sign up for right is shad i revealed the betrayal no. whatever what happened happened you lost to a bunch of fucking birds we haven't lost okay? gary the war's not over why do you think i can everywhere with me oh whatever we explain it in the video uh vinick Vinicius Haas for 50. <laughs> what? <laughs> this works. I would say Vinicius Haas. Vinicius Haas for 50 R's. Uh, says, come on, Gary. Not all South. Oh, it's uh, not all South Americans are pussies. No, just Dan Vask. <laughs> just Dan Vask. The drunk 3PO. The new drunk 3PO. Maybe he'll get ads on his channel. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, he's like drunk 3PO, but just less retarded. <laughs> <Yes>. Oh, wow. <laughs> Jay's up. Jay's like, I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> man, why you talk about me like that? Why are you, wow. why you talk about me? Oh, man. But Jay, it's because you're retarded that we love you. Yeah. <laughs> Forrest Gump of Geeks and Gamers. Uh, late to the, sh uh, to the show is gifted 10 erotic memberships for $50. Okay, last one. And then we'll go on for about 20 minutes as a goodbye. And oh, as as <laughs> uh, ben him for end this shit two already. Dollars, <laughs> two weeks to flatten the curve. What's the big deal? It's just another vaccine. It's just a mask. What's the big deal? It's just black. Say yeah, black girl. lives matter. What's the big deal? Just say your pronouns. What's the big deal? As last week, there are four lights. Hail. 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 Great way to end it. Guys, uh, you know, Gary, this was a really fun stream. I reckon I could go for another two hours. I could I easily. Could <laughs> oh, how fucking fun! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, you know, why don't uh, we got this room at, at Shad here. We can talk about wheel of time. Go for it. I'll take off for like an hour. You come back. <laughs> yeah, uh, the, rea the, the funny thing, I don't know if he'll come back. Like, I'm not like, sure. Right. He's <laughs> He's done. Uh, he's I done. don't think so. Bye, bye, ass. Oh. Bye, ass. He's gonna go. Uh, he's gonna go. Laugh out of the gym. Eighty four. So. <laughs> Talk about a really. Which you good should all read. <laughs> yes. Uh, we're gonna get the rest of the square. Probably, I'll be recording from some foreign country. So uh, either the UK or France, Paris, France. <laughs> My wife wants to go there. She's listening, so hey. He's oh. back. Oh, there he is. Oh. Hey, man. He's back. We thought you were gone. He came back. We're no, I, I only came time. back because of the fucking audience, not because of any of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, we figured about to start up a Starfield stream. <laughs> <laughs> that or a Boulder's, Boulder's Gate or whatever the fuck it is. Go fucking Boulder's, yeah. yes, Boulder's Gate. Yeah. Yeah. And whatever. Uh, gay. But why don't Always we just gay. play both of them? Fuck a bear in space. <laughs> <laughs> uh, comics, what are you going to do after you finish reading 1984? Uh, well, I, I have a video I'm going to be finishing and releasing tonight. So uh, that, that's what I'll be doing after 1984. How about you, Gary? Uh, I am not going to be reading 1984 or releasing a video tonight because it's really late. It's like 1245 a.m. Oh, yeah. sure <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, comics. Uh, Odin. Hi, buddy. Oh, hey. I'm not supposed to be here, apparently, but yeah, hey, I not. made a rosary while I was while we were streaming. So, you know, it's all good. I love y'all. This is awesome. I love it. Cheers, brother. Can't imagine why a Christian would be here. 
God, why? I mean, crazy. <laughs> crazy. You know, Melanie Mack, why does she come? Why do I stay? I don't know. Wait till they find out Christy's a Scientologist. Holy shit. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. Uh, Carter Black, upstairs. How you doing? I'm doing good. Uh, it was great meeting everybody at the meetup. Fantastic. Finally getting to see everybody in the UK. Uh, hearing all your guys' stories and all that stuff. Can't wait till next time. And uh, hopefully next time it'll be raining. And it won't be hot as shit. So uh, <laughs> I'll see you guys later. If you, if you want it not to rain, sorry, if you want it to rain and be cold, just come at the height of summer. Ah, <laughs> yes. okay. That's when you it need a, to. It was a scheduling issue then. Oh, so don't come at that. Well, do you call it? You don't probably don't call it Indian summer. Well, it might be. It might be a different Indian summer for you. <laughs> call it curry summer. Yeah, they, they call it Irish, Irish summer. summer. Or Irish summer. <laughs> right, now another country's going to hate us. Yeah, I Is hope there so. any countries that like us anymore? <laughs> That's, true. That's true. Oh, I think there's You've some like... have gone uh, from more countries European than Jeremy fucking really like right now. Yeah, I, I've got some, I got some fans of Germany. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for now. <laughs> Shit. I keep the name of the body, like wearing jack boots and goose stuffing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so what did that go? Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, Ryan. I guess we're on Ryan. Uh, uh, how many videos have you produced while you were on the show? And how many more? None, you- unfortunately. That's why I'm fucking itching like a goddamn addict to get back to it. Uh, <laughs> but no, thanks for having me. It's good. Uh, it's awesome to see everybody rallied around as for sure this week. Mm. So an important show. And I'm glad you guys had so much fun in the UK. Uh, hopefully next time I can make the trip, get the scheduling down right, and it'll be fun. So right. thanks for having me. It was good. Hey, thanks, Ryan. Thanks for being here. And uh, all of you were missed. Everybody brought you guys up. And it was uh, it was like Vegas levels of crazy. It was nuts. It That's was fantastic. Yeah. Absolutely. It, it, really it was crazy. Like, yeah, all these great fans coming to meet us. Like I remember getting there at 5 o'clock, and we went all the way to, was it 11 o'clock at night? And there was not a break in people just coming up saying hi the entire time. And it was amazing. Yep. In a different country, thousands of miles away. So that's uh, that's mind-blowing. It's mind-blowing. And thank you. Uh, and uh, we're still massive idiots. And we won't forget it. Don't worry. <laughs> or you know what? You guys won't let us forget it. My wife won't let me forget it. So We couldn't oh. stop if we wanted to. Being idiots? No, we couldn't. Yes. <laughs> that is true. Uh, thanks again, Ryan. Uh, Azzy Wazzy. Hey, can we talk about... Oh, fucking hell. coming up to you tomorrow, or is that a secret? Hey, that say a... what? What? Who, who's coming up to see you tomorrow? No. We can't? Okay. Never mind. <laughs> There's a private chat. Moving on. It's Moving Christy, on, It's Chrissy Ma. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Frank. <laughs> it just it just had to come to this. She's not she's a, it's not the rest of us. It's just a boobs, dude. What are you talking about? Why are you fucking mad, dude? It's just a vagina. What are you fucking, you fucking baby or something? Fucking... Um hey, yeah, look. You're looking. Oh, you want words? Okay. Um <laughs> look, uh guys like i said uh i i've never felt uh the power that we actually have uh here together uh and i think uh i think the word to use if i can coin a certain robert Ma burnett is uh is authenticity I think that's the word. It's uh, we are united with our authentic love of our franchises. We don't always agree all the time, mm-hmm. and that's what makes it great because that's fandom anyway. You know, uh, there is such an a, a eclectic group of people uh, within within the fellowship, and we all have the the franchises, the you know uh, the the characters that we've just loved for so long now. And we we just want nothing more than to have our entertainment and have our enjoyment return to us the way that it has been for so long uh, and the way that it can be. But we're fighting against filth and we're fighting against corporate filth. And uh, I think this week, sure, I think you guys have given us a lot of credit because obviously 
uh, it was the rant, but um, every single solitary person here in the chat, plus all the others, the wonderful channels, uh, you know, Raise the Fist, Eric July, you know, Robert Meyer Burnett, Chris Gore, you know, everyone, everyone. Uh, these are these are people who have been fighting vehemently uh, for for what we love, and uh, everyone is just as 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 big a part as as this getting out there to the uh, to the sort of viral um, degree that it did. And I think a lot of people, a lot of just regular people, a lot of normy people. Uh, have been just, uh, you know, woken up, not woke, but woken up. They've, they've been like, I have felt this for a while now. And uh, I think that's why, uh, you know, I just think that's why as a, as a fellowship, uh, we are just so strong together. Um, and whereas we see, oh, no, God, this is going on. Shut the fuck up. But whereas we see people, particularly content creators just fucking each other over to, to get themselves ahead um we just every single person here has had my back every uh, the people who aren't here have contacted me have made a video have gone to bat have raised their sword and shield and gone in there with these these fucking absolute fucking window lickers uh disingenuous they don't care about the franchises we care about they have no interest it's all self-aggrandizing it's all personal gain and i think that's what that's what binds us as a fellowship mm -hmm. is we all love these things we love lord of the rings star wars star trek we love our toys transformers lego blah blah we love these things and they do make mean something to us so when people call us man babies mm -hmm. and 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 all this kind of shit sure whatever you need to fucking deal with it um but uh this thing here these things here those things there those books by tolkien etc and these guys here and these gals here and you you mean everything and they mean nothing so thank you well said oh man there is, man Also, tits will get the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was gonna say. We need like we needed a soundboard oh, yeah. for just like day, day. Day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it gay is the only way I know how to be. Yeah. So. <laughs> or British. The chat gay or British rules. All I know is I'm gonna clip that out and put that on Twitter before Dan does. So. <laughs> <laughs> so far ahead of you. Dan's like, it's way easier on to another cut. nuclear rant. <laughs> it's way easier to cut out as than find another him to cover. You know. So I'm just jealous. I can't cover him, so I don't even know like cover he Tolkien. Him? Those are my hands. Uh, I have no fucking idea. He's what talking he's about on Dan, about but a church in <laughs> the song. Fucking him. amazing yeah, grace, you yeah. freaking idiots! <laughs> no, you're talking about pronouns, <laughs> you freaking sinners. I like I can't come why, why, why would Christians so ever use anything there? Then, like, <laughs> Jesus. Uh, remember, yeah. literally, had, yes. remember when he was in Orlando? We had to like, we had to like. I was texting around, I'm like, I think we need to end the stream. Gary's talking about some I'm weird talking shit about right Dan, now. Dan covered like his last song, you know, the one that went viral that got like oh, General Flynn fucking repeating him and seventy year old women throwing their panties, their Jesus panties at him. But, yeah, not him. Okay, seventy year old panties for Amazing Grace. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm going to hell anyway. So what? All right, <laughs> Jeremy. Oh, Jeremy. Oh, God. Uh, oh, bye. Uh, <laughs> I, mean, I, I don't know why As didn't end it anyway. Gary, it should, As should have been the final person. It would have been like the walk off home run. We could have ended it. And you're go, going to me. <laughs> bye. It says like at the top of the tenth, As it's a grand slam. Jeremy gets up. They actually hit it with a pitch. It's like, oh God. <laughs> yeah, I know. Still going. I what that show. means. No one. No one. It's like cricket, but not gay. <laughs> <laughs> Adam. 
tell the fine people where they can find you like probably not on youtube right now but uh no 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 the krigler show is actually working i'm, I'm actually good. gonna start how many strikes is the krigler do. show <laughs> 12. 12. Wow. okay yeah just 12, checking going on 12 actually going on 13 for my next one but uh yeah the baker's dozen you know we'll yeah, do a yeah. special stream for that uh, it's been a pleasure meeting all you guys hanging out with you shad and it's been great disbrew and uh, of course gary i, I can't wait the future of what we're going to do i wish we had more time at stone stone i uh, know forbidden frontier we'll, we we'll think of something got shafted there but yep uh yeah it's good to see all you boys uh especially you uh comments uh, <laughs> <laughs> you too, Adam. it's been a while man uh yeah it's great i had to head back tomorrow and uh and it went so fast so looking forward to the next trip yeah and, and we can go to the uh, comics, the little kitty book of 1984. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Get the 1984 coloring book. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Six crayons the thought of a 1984 coloring book is pretty fucking funny. In the honest. fucking stream! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Go. Cobra we're about to have a four hour three, three hour stream all right chat. gary said before the show three hours <laughs> and we're out <laughs> three hours three and hours we're max. out i love, so I set I love cobra what cast up based what on what gary right said now? what time is it right now d day cobra been, over there in florida what time is it four hours it's eight o'clock don't you fucking <laughs> stop this fight, gary. Don't you fucking stop this fight. whole night you guys, it's so late here. It is so fucking late. We're so <laughs> tired, but we're here for the audience, okay? That's right. I got four videos to make tonight. Still, <laughs> you got plenty of time. You can. You got four wanks and four videos tonight. Okay? I wish. You're real, Ryan. All right, sorry, Shad. We were talking about wanks, and we're going right to. to well, you. I apologize. I only have like uh, ten important topics to cover, and uh, to I really want. Not that, guys. It has been absolutely phenomenal meeting. You guys in real life absolutely amazing meet up incredible and uh, doing fnt just right here where i can press the buttons <laughs> no no it's been brilliant love you all and uh see you next time. every time shad says absolutely amazing the drunk 3po meme automatically plays in my head and i can't help it but, um yeah the medium was great it's great to meet everyone uh, it was um humbling and I would say unique until the next one. Hopefully I'm still around by that point. Um, and yeah, it was a great time. It's amazing to think that I arrived on Monday. It's already, uh, well, Saturday at this point, and it, it, everything flew by. But uh, go watch the Ahsoka review. I'll see you. Everybody's simping for you, X-Ray girl. And uh, it was uh, disproved quite the star <laughs> at the meetup, by the way. Quite the star. Uh, and it was it was great to see that you have legs. <laughs> I don't. They're simple. Oh. Say bye. Bye. Okay. Are you drinking? <laughs> drinking oh, again? Oh my gosh! She never stopped this woman. God, she just burped. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. She has the worst burp. Tell, tell her to brush her teeth, Gary. Yeah. Well, the, you know what? I know. I, okay. I know. In the UK, brushing t- teeth is like kind of strange to you guys but it's something we do in the u.s you know yeah he specifically brushes clean. his teeth As brushes, yeah. he puts five guys in his mouth <laughs> <laughs> dude i told on myself on that one that you good. walked right into that the <laughs>, laughs uh my integrity and my honor who gives a fuck there's none of that anyway so <laughs> i just ate five guys <laughs> well, it's a good practice uh, eating five guys or <laughs> <laughs> i thought she meant eating five guys oh my gosh on that note uh we're, we're gonna go now I, i'm okay. fucking exhausted i need to sleep oh. <laughs> fucking who? Fucking who? Let's talk. We're gonna do a full breakdown of 1984. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do the audiobook version of it right now. <laughs> <laughs> it up now. The traumatized version. Uh, do we have that video ready? Uh, no. We don't have our, uh, Can we just say bye? Yeah. Bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs>
Bye. 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 Have fun storming the castle. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> well, are we still here? Yeah. No. Everybody, shut up. Pretend we're gone. <laughs> Don't say anything racist. I'm no gamer it. words. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say the N word. <laughs> oh my god.